Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome to today's stream of Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Era The Woods. This is going to be the first time I come to you live as a person instead of pre-recording. This is actually me. I see you all right now. Um, I am excited to say that today's tournament is going to be the Donation Deck Tournament, and I want you all to know that every deck was completed, so I'm very excited to see them all in action. Today is going to be a very long and very different tournament. Oh, that's loud. And very different tournament, but I hope you're all ready. Now, I want you guys to know that I talk a lot of crap on the AI, and I will still do that today. So anybody that made a deck, I want to personally thank you very much for donating $100 to the charity way back when. It's been like three weeks now. And uh, I want everyone watching to keep that in mind, that everybody that was here, that is playing here today, donated $100. They literally gave their hearts out for the kids, and now I'm giving back to you. Also, if I make fun of your character, I'm making fun of the AI, not you personally. Without further ado, I would like to get into the intro, and then I'll see you later for the tournament itself. Thank you all for your patience, and I see you all in chat right now. Hi, Gecko Gug, Kyle, Stacy, Shadow Phoenix... And everyone else that's starting to, to go on there. So give me one second. That's, I'm going to make myself tiny right now. There we go. And... Anka D, a child of D. Anka was found in the woods when she was just a baby. Last year, she went missing for a couple of days. When she was found, she was holding a deck of cards. Cards that have never been seen. Cards that have never been seen.
everybody i hope you enjoyed our nice little intro to get everybody you know into everyone's decks and have you understand what today's tournament is going to be like i hope you're all excited i hope you're all ready i know there's some really fun characters you got to see i know there's some fun characters that are coming back to the series after a long time and i know that you guys care your own characters are in today's tournament so it should be a lot of fun for those of you that made powerful decks i hope you have fun for those of you that made weak decks at least you might be in the rest of the series so enjoy that fact and i wish everybody's character luck today but what we're going to do right now is we are going to randomize the bracket. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to participants. We're going to, I think it's at the top. Yep, shuffle seeds. We're only going to do it once. Sheeds, seeds have been shuffled. We're going to go back to the bracket. And the first fight of today will be Igor versus Saber Leons. All right. So I'm going to get that set up in the background. You guys can do your predictions now. We're going to start the tournament a little earlier than you thought. So I'm going to do... Uh, if I didn't... I, that means I didn't get the images. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's go find these characters. Mm, let's see here. I don't... Okay. You need to open up Master Duel. We're trying to play you. 
<laughs> I'm trying to open up Master Duel in the background, because usually I already have it all set up, but today's intro was kind of short, so I, uh, I didn't exactly have it all set up. Yeah. But that's okay, because we got a tournament to watch today. And it's going to be a big one, so I hope you guys have a lot of fun, and I hope you guys are respectful. Not to the, to the AI, you don't have to be the AI, but to each other. So let's go ahead and see what happens. It's going to be Igor, which is from Corpse King versus Saber Leons. Uh, let's see here. Because I had to add characters from my show as well, uh, Baldman's, not just the ones that they made. All right, Saber Leons is ready. It might take me a little longer to find your decks today just because there's so many decks to go through. Ah, uh, but I'm going to do my absolute best. I just ask for patience. Nothing more than patience. And I found Igor. So let's go ahead. Let's start this duel. Let's have some fun. And let's see who wins in the first fight. The first fight of today will be showing up right now. Now let me find these characters. <clears throat> Hopefully soon. So Saber Leones and uh, Igor. They should both be in here somewhere. All right. Igor is ready to go. Saber is almost ready to go. I am ready to watch. Let's watch this. So I don't know anything about most of the cards in today's tournament, so don't expect me to know what I'm talking about at one. Well, I normally don't anyway. So that looks like a monster with 2300 attack and it did 700 damage. That's the best I know about that. Torion to Reborn will make it come back and you take 500 burn for that. Now we're gonna see just how strong these characters can be. Let's see. We got another card. Blizzard Dragon can stall that monster if it needs to. Cold Enchanter is going to buff itself. That does work if it throws away literally everything. And they're putting it all on this one monster, Cold Enchanter. Cold Enchanter comes through and that monster says you die. And that means you've lost the duel. <laughs> Remember, today's tournament was completely randomized, so... You get unlucky if you get an opponent that just beats you. And we're going to use Preparation of Rights to get a Ritual. I do like Ritual decks, so I'm happy with that. And we're going to see what happens. And we got 2300 again. Oh, that's good to hear, Bernard. Very good to hear. Uh, well, we got 4600 damage. I don't think you have a single card in your deck that can help you come back. Uh, I don't know what that trap does, but I highly doubt it will matter. Gabe the Green, thank you so much for your kindness. I really do, really do, support, like, just thank you. you got, you're amazing. I want you to know that. And I know you're one of the donators, so I really want to thank you. And you didn't get him. Oh, wait, Ice Barrier again. Hold the, hold the line. Oh, that doesn't work, does it? <laughs> that was game number one. In game number one, the zombie deck seemed to take it. I'm just going to, yeah, that looked like a zombie deck to me. Thank you for watching my Tag Force series. I do appreciate that. I I'm glad you enjoyed the Tag Force series. And we're going to go ahead and go ahead uh, just, you know, see if it happens again. Obviously, the Cold Enchanter went kind of ballsy by throwing everything into one monster, but AI will be AI. Zombies have overrun the Dark Forest, yes. I had fun making the woods intro. It was a lot of just putting people's faces, but I like, I, you know, I, I found some good music for it, so life was good. And we have ourselves a sword. Swords will make it so the duel will not go by fast, but yes. And we're gonna see TT could work real well with that other monster. It depends on how long they uh, how long they save the TT. Oh, Ice Master's too early. You needed one more monster to get up to Ice Master. Come on, where's your other monster? I'm starting to feel like we're watching Alexis uh, during our. Do you guys remember when we were doing the what was it called? Sartorius thing? The light arc. The White Dorm arc. <laughs> and yay, Ice Master gets special summoned. And yay, you can just do this. Now we have a counter. And no trap card that I think we've seen before. Yup. And the trap card does its job. So you are going to need to TT now. Yeah. I know some of you are worried about a jump scare, but I, I held back. I made sure not to put in an actual jump scare. I'm not cruel because I myself don't like jump scares, so I didn't want any of you to have to suffer one. Uh, these monsters look pretty strong and all, but, uh, oh, they're not summoning. And because they're not summoning, you're not going to be able to TT nothing. That's a shame. That is a big shame. You got a monster card? That's not a monster card. Where's your monster cards? But where's the monsters? And there's a... T 
Is it not worth a TT to you because it only had 300 attack? The AI says it wasn't worth the TT because it only had 300 attack and who knows what its effect might be. And that, yeah, no, no, no. That looks like it's over. Unless the opponent decides to summon a bigger monster. Uh, yeah, there we go. This is what we're waiting for. What does that do? Blizzard. With our Blizzard spell card, we're going to be able to negate preparation of... Oh, no, that didn't negate it. It just stopped it for one turn. Understood. Isn't it Tori Answer Reborn? No, there's a TT right here. That's a TT. Yep, I remember. Ex oh, there. Call, call the Haunted will help. At least you'll have a monster card. You're not going to lose the duel. It's going to be fine. And we're going to try this again, but this time it's going to work. And we're going to see just how powerful... Oh, no, nope, you're going for game, but Call of the Haunted will save the day. We got ourselves the Ice Master, which could definitely hold the field by itself. And now they're scared. That's the good news. Now, Saber, it's about time you drew one of your monsters. Yes, that's, uh, that's a trap card. <laughs> that's not a monster card. That's a trap card. That's a deck. And that is it, everybody. The first person to leave our tournament, but did make a deck that is worthy of the series, is Saber Leon's. Don't worry, Saber. You're still here in our hearts. And great job to uh, Igor. Good job, Igor. So let's go ahead and let's uh, get rid of these faces. And let's see who's up next. So getting back to our bracket, we are going to see who is up next. Oh, I didn't start the tournament on this side of things. Let's start the tournament for real. Now the tournament has started. And Igor shall move forward. The next duel will be Ar Astra. I think a if I get the names wrong, I'm sorry. Astra Solaris versus King. All right. King's an easy name. I like that. Astra Solaris. It's a good name. And the only reason it's hard for me to, to read it is because it's so far away from the screen, but it's okay. Let me go find King's deck and let me get this duel started. Like I said, I might need a little extra time finding decks today just because, uh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, random gamer with the massive 4K. I appreciate that. That's amazing. Literally, that's amazing. But like I said, I apologize if it takes a little longer to find the decks today. There's just so many of you. It turns out, if you guys are curious, we had 41 donation decks. 41. Which means we raised $4,100 in just single donations. Single $100 donations. Other than the people that gave $300 apiece. But you know how that is. Uh, but that was crazy. We had an amazing Battle City tournament. I don't know about you guys, but Battle City is my, has been my favorite tournament so far. So far, Battle City has been my favorite. And why can't I find King? Don't worry, I made all the decks. You have nothing to worry about there. It's just my eyesight. It's the only thing stopping me. Okay, king, 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 king. I know I made all the decks, so I'm not worried about that. I just need to find you. There, you bottom right. You were in the bottom right corner. And that's why. Whenever they're in the corner, I always miss them. It's very easy. So let's go ahead and start this duel. Thank you all for your patience. I really appreciate that. <clears throat> and we're going to see what happens between these two characters. Obviously, I'll look for their faces as soon as I can. King is uh, on your screen now, I believe. And nope, that's Kari. That also, that looked like King from far away. King is on your screen now. And uh, Astra Solaris will be on your screen very soon. There we go. Now let us begin. Nova Summoner versus Gemini Elf. That monster looks pretty big. That monster has 2,100 attack, and the Gemini Elf didn't stand a chance. And Nova Summoner goes in with 1,400 damage. Now, I'm going to tell you all right now, I don't actually know uh, some of these monsters and spell cards in this Astra Solaris' hand. I know Nova Summoner, and I know Polly. I'm excited for Polly. Oh, uh, please, Polly. Gemini Elf isn't strong enough. Please, Polly. Come on, where's the Polly? Damn it! Ah, the... Oh, wait! Magician Circle! That could be really good. Yeah! King has created the lock! And with the lock, they are safe. Oh, is that Swordswoman? That, that card is Sword... What is this card? Majesty... Majesty Hyperion is Swordswoman. That's good to know. But the lock has been created to stop ma her majesty. All right. The lock is here. But will the lock be enough? 
to buy them time to uh, find a monster that can defeat Majesty. All right, Harpies destroys the back row, so I'm sorry, but there's no back row for you. Again, we're just going to attack. We don't have... I don't know what that monster is either, but it's gone now. It's dead. Hyperion, you can attack the face down even if you can't attack the lock. Uh, this card gets the field spell, which is pretty important for this deck. I'd say in this tournament, I'm not going to lie, the majority of decks were fairy decks. It turns out that most of my fans that were willing to donate $100 really wanted to make a fairy deck. I got nothing wrong with that. That's awesome. I just want you to know that that was the norm. Most of you were fairy decks. All right. Attack goes through, and there goes a Karibo card. Bye, Karibo cards. See ya. All right. So what are you going to do? You have the lock. You're waiting for the fusion. That's what you're doing. You're waiting for the fusion. And fusion set. So you have two polys in your hand and nothing else. There's two polys in the hand and nothing else. That's really bad. Luckily, King is uh, staying alive with the triple mag magician's Valkyria. That's the only good news. All right. Wait for the fusion. Wait for the fusion. A set? No, that's not going to work. The triple lock. Anything could happen. Oh, that's not going to let you fuse. Attack goes through. It's Mass Dragon. That could help with your fusion. And the special summon is Mass Dragon. And the Mass Dragon gets... Mass Dragon. Sure. That works. Now you need to do something. Fuse. Yeah, you have the fusion, but we saw that coming. But I saw you fusion sage twice in this duel. That's what I'm talking about. Holly, one more time. And here it comes, everybody. Using Gemini Elf and Gemini Elf, we are going to create the ultimate monster. First of the dragons. And with first of the dragons, we're going to destroy the Hyperion that should have been in defense mode. And then we're going to have to leave the other monster alone just because it's a little problematic. It's too problematic. And we're going to get rid of our cards to bring back the card in defense mode, as I said earlier. It's good to put it in defense mode. So now first of the dragons needs to find a way to buff itself because it's in a bit of a rough spot right now. Yes, two elves together creates a dragon. Well, technically four elves, yes. Four elves equals one dragon. Do the math. You'll figure, you know, just do the math on paper. You'll find the right answer. It always leads to dragons. Dinosaurs? Nah, dragons. Just Axe Rex Raptor. All right, Solaris, you're fine. You have the defense. You just need to find a way to beat that dragon. Everyone's decks pretty much built some stone trap that can destroy anything. Pretty much everybody, including this deck, I believe. We're going to throw away a card, and it's gone. And there we go. You have taken over. Attack goes through, and the monster is dead, but the lock remains. You need to kill three monsters, which you know what can kill three monsters? A dark hole. Oh, or they could do it themselves because the AI doesn't want the lock anymore. They want to win. So the AI has belie believes they can win without the lock and is going in for damage. Hyperion is finally gone, so they don't have to worry about the you know deflected damage that they've been taking. Pot of Greed is one of the best top decks I've ever seen. That Pot of Greed will get you two new cards. Uh, we're going to throw away this just to get the Hyperion back, just to be annoying. Dark Magician isn't strong enough, but who knows? Maybe, just maybe, there'll be a way. Dark Magician Girl, that's an amazing combo. I love to see it, but it's not going to be enough. Double Dark Magician Girl, it's awesome that you have all these cards. I'm not going to lie. I'm very excited to see all these cards. But they're doing... The, the defense is 27. You're not strong enough. Don't you get it? Don't you get it? You're not strong enough. You need more power. That one's 26. You lost, wait, Dark Magician's in the grave. We're getting stronger. We need more Dark Magicians in the grave. We need more! Give us more power. All right, now go kill that thing before it gets buffed again. You don't want to deal with that. The Dark Magician girls are getting stronger. 500 damage comes through. A set comes through. Hyperion remains on the field with 2,700 D. Oh, that's a bad top deck. You never want to top deck those, but that's why you run that spell card, so you can get that instead. Air Knight has some use, but not in this current form. Also, I'm going to say like four of you put Air Knight in your deck, which I thought was hilarious. It turns out a lot of my fans that were willing to donate like the card Air Knight Parsha. And I got nothing against that. I like it too. Dark Magician is now on the field. That monster is going to give you an Alexandrite Dragon. Beautiful card. Polymerization is here. And it's time to fuse with the two monsters, Dark Magician and Alexandrite Dragon. We get Amulet Dragon, the boss monster. And with Amulet Dragon, we're going to throw away not two, but... 
Give it a second. A shit ton. A shit ton of cards. And with 3,900 damage going the wrong way, you cost yourself the duel by buffing yourself too far. The king has fallen in game number one. Yep, you went too hard with that, uh, that effect. Really cool card, though. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into game number four. Or, yeah, the next duel. Game two. Sorry, game two. We'll see if Astra could survive. Yeah, that would break my heart if my favorite card lost to... Or my favorite... Yeah, my boss monster lost to a magic cylinder. Just, just hurts. Hurts to see it. It's like one of the AI tries to use my clown deck and they just mess up. Just breaks my heart. Hey, Dummy Gamer, thank you so much for subbing. I appreciate it. And we got Future Fusion. And we got Monster Reborn to steal the opponent's monster to make sure they have no revival next turn. Which is an interesting choice, but I don't know if I recommend it. All right, King, let's see if you could do a little bit better in this duel. Your opponent did not get Sanctuary in the Sky, so a lot of their cards aren't quite as good. So you don't have to worry about that. Future Fusion, we're going to get Amulet Dragon. Dark Magician and Alexandrite are in the grave now. Magic Karibo in attack mode is a very bad sight. Yep, that's a very bad sign. They also put a zero attack point monster in attack mode because AI will be AI. Anybody that watched my Tag Force tournament, did anyone see that? Well, it wasn't a tournament where I had the Master Duel uh, do Chaz and them fighting to see who will be my partner in Tag Force. And it turns out that um, Chaz was an idiot and put three Ojamas in attack mode. It was the most heartbreaking thing I've ever seen. Future Fusion did come through, though, and it did work out. Dark Magician and Alexandra Dragon do create the Amulet Dragon. Total drama. Thank you so much for subbing. Gift in the sub. Very kind of you. Very much appreciated. And Fusion Sage. Are we going to fuse again? You got two? Your mom let you have two fusions? Let's find out. No? Nah. All right. Attack goes through. Amulet Dragon beats the Air Knight Parshaft. Please put the zero attack point monster into defense mode. You're making me very sad. Please, thank you. Why was that ever an attack mode? So, next turn. That card's very nice, but without Sanctuary in the Sky, it's not going to save you. You needed Sanctuary in the Sky. So, yep, that's uh, that's game in my opinion, as long as the AI doesn't attack in an incorrect order. Never mind, that should end the game no matter what. And there's 500 deflected damage, the risk of putting weak monsters in your deck. And 3,000 direct Amulet Dragon ends the duel. We have our first game three of the day. I'm, I'm very excited because today I'm not expecting to see many game threes given how different the power levels are. So when I do see a game three, I'm going to enjoy it. So King Astra, I'd like to thank both your decks today for giving us game three. That means that these decks were properly leveled against each other. I'm excited for this fight. All right, let's see. What do we got here? Nova Summoner is a great start, in my opinion. There's the trap card again. That card will be, hel uh, be helpful later. I feel like most decks that run these kind of stuff need Hyperion to do something. Their basic stuff aren't as strong, especially without Sanctuary. The, the, some of the basic stuff's okay if you have Sanctuary, but if you don't have Sanctuary, it doesn't do nothing. Field Spell Reliant decks will always suffer this curse. All right, Nova Summoner comes through. Nova Summoner's holding the field. Can you top deck a level five monster? Cards from the sky can help you. You disagree. Gotcha. It is good to get rid of that. You don't want to get locked again, even though you did win the duel that you got locked. Come on, Astro, what you got? And we got Alexandri Dragon. Alexandri Dragon goes right there. I don't drink coffee. I only drink water. It is my only drink. All right, Agent of the Whatever is here. Wait, which one is this one again? Uh, Mystery, Agent of Mystery, sure. How did the decks submitted look? How many fit into the era? I would say a lot of people actually tried to fit into the era. So I would say I have a lot of uh, decks I can use in future stories, which I'm excited to do. And then some decks didn't, and they will be happy to, you know, be shown in today's tournament and get to hopefully show off some good combos for the future that we might get to see eventually down the road. Sanctuary in the Sky is finally here, but it might be too late to the party. You do have the field spell, which is the good news. The bad news is, does it matter? Pot of Greed, it might. Okay, Pot of Greed top deck. This could decide everything. You know what? That's not terrible that you got that card, but you need something a little better than that card. Did you just draw two of those back to back? They were next to each other in the deck. 
Oh, Dark Magician is here! Dark Magician comes to save the day. Zeraldi's is in trouble. Oh, man. Am I going to give idea? Nope. You're just going to have to wait until they appear again in a series. And I'll let you know where or when. They'll just appear one day. All right. Zeraldi's is back. That card special summons. That card throws away a card. And we have our first Synchro Summon of the day. And the first Synchro Monster is Angel of Zera. And Angel of Zera does defeat the Dark Magician. Without your fusions, this Synchro is too damn strong. Hopefully King will get their fusions. Hopefully Astro will hold the field. Either way, this is exciting. The first Synchro Summon saves the day. There it is, there's Hyperion. And with the Hyperion card, this duel just became 10 times harder. And 2800 goes through, things are getting desperate for King fans out there. A dark hole is necessary. Will they draw it? Future Fusion might be too late to the party! Unless you got a floater like Mass Dragon, Mass of Future Fusion probably won't happen. Okay, Zero Attack, you're lucky that the opponent was that- Oh no, he's not dumb! He's using the Deflected to win! The, re the Reflected Damage is gonna win him the duel, that was the one time that works! And that is it, everybody! The winner is Astra Solaris! All right, Astra Solaris. B E A beautiful. It was a great deck, King. I want you to know that. That deck is something I can reuse because it was fun to watch and it was not super busted. So don't you worry. I'm excited for that one. Now let's move Astra forward. Anything that goes to game three is going to excite me. The next duel will be Fyrus versus Gecko Hibiki. Fyrus and Gecko, let's see how you two do against each other. Let me go find Gecko right now. Let me go find Fyrus right now. I found one of you. That's the good news. Now, where's Fyrus? Where are you? You're in here somewhere. Don't you worry. Yep, there you are. Right next to King. Alright, let's start this duel. And let's see the action. Fyrus versus Gecko. Gecko Habiki is on your screen. Fyrus is on your screen. Let's watch. And Sanctuary in the Sky. Like I said, a lot of you guys like fairies. Also, on the first turn! What the hell? You actually got it? Archlord Zorado is here. Digiboy, thank you so much for subbing. I appreciate that. Uh, but good luck, because you're fighting Stratos. And that's double. Yep. Good job, Gecko. And using the power of Honest Neos, any elemental hero could beat even an Archlord. And 1800 attack comes through. And Mass Change comes through. And the power is here. Diane wants this. And the monster is here. Beautiful. All right, let's see what you got. Dark Hole! The top deck of top decks! With the top deck of top decks. Oh, God, they're bricked. Yup, that makes sense. That, that makes a lot of sense. That, yeah. That's a shame. <laughs> that's, a, that's a damn shame. Uh, hopefully you draw something that can beat 19. Didn't think so. Maybe a Nova Summoner, though. That'd be hype. If you get a Nova Summoner, you're going to be in a good good spot. The Double Thunder King is here. That actually works. Wow. And now if you have a Tribute in your hand, you can use it. Oh, wait. does this? As long as it's a Tribute Summon, it should be fine. Yeah, it's a Tribute Summon. It's Air Knight Parshath. I already told you about Air Knight. But it's not strong enough. It's not strong enough. Harpies, that's very smart. Without Harpies, a lot of these cards all. A lot of these cards can't do nothing. And that's a hero monster, so that's the end. The hero monsters are going to go ahead and get the damage in. And with a little extra damage, we're going to end the duel. Game number one goes to Gecko, the Beaky. Now let's go ahead and move on to game number two and see if Fyrus gets lucky. Because honestly, after seeing that deck, Fyrus is going to need to get very lucky. Luckily for you, Fyrus, 
your deck is already, I can already tell it's a deck I can use in the series. Don't worry. I can already tell based on its speed. It's around the same speed as what a lot of the decks I build are. Okay, Sanctuary once again. Shining Angel, good start, good start. The hand seems like it's cruel. The hand is very cruel. There's a lot of, there's a lot of potential in this one hand. All right, attack goes through. The only good news is that uh, Sanctuary in the Sky protects you. And yep, that was expected. We're gonna do this now. And yep, we're gonna do this now. And it's okay. Nova Summoner wanted to die, I'm sure. I don't know what uh, Divine Wind does, but you know, hopefully it's okay. Aaronite Parshath is here. That's the good news. The problem is you didn't realize they had form change and it's not your fault. It's not your fault. Aerodai Parshath is gone, and Diane is the perfect choice because now you get a Stratos. And Stratos is like, hey, I got, ooh, 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 ooh I got a card. And good luck to you. Draws one card. That's pretty handy. That's a pretty handy effect. So what are you going to do? You're going to set Cry. Understandable. I do that too. If I were in this situation, I'd be crying. All right, this card lets you do this, and then Royal Decree says no. <laughs> and then Royal Decree literally says no, you can't do anything. So what are you going to do now, now that you've lost this? Radio Jewel lets you heal. That's actually not bad. At least you're healing. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get two monsters. Shadow Mist is like, wait a minute. What if I gave us this? And attack goes through. Warrior of Zerid didn't stand a chance. Diane destroys a monster, which means we get another monster. And that's four monsters attacking for the end of the duel. I'm afraid this duel is over. With Honest Neos, the duel is honestly over. Well, that was a quick one. <laughs> Gecko Habiki will be moving forward in the tournament. That looks like a scary deck. That looks like a very scary deck. So let's go ahead and let's move forward into the next duel. Let me just find Gecko's face so they're not floating there. All right, Gecko, let's take a peek. And for those of you that did write an intro for your character, if they become a recurring character, I'll be able to use those, so don't you worry. Gecko Habiki moves forward. The next duel will be Alex versus Drake De Arc. I'm gonna assume that means dark. I'm gonna go with dark, Drake Dark versus Alex. So let's find these two characters and let's see how they do against each other. All right, Drake Dark and Alex. Drake, Drake, Drake. Alex, Alex, Alex. Okay, why can't I see you? Found Alex. That's the good news. I found one of them. Bad news is, didn't see the other one yet, but it's okay. We'll start from the bottom, work our way up. I found them. All right, we're good to go. Let's watch this duel. The duel has begun, everybody. Drake versus Alex. Alex is ready. Drake is ready. I am ready. Where's the Exodia deck? I don't know. I do not know. Marauding Captain with Landstar is a great start in my opinion. You could also use Rose Warrior, but it's your choice. And that's the kind of thing I would do. Using these two cards, we get ourselves Goyo Guardian. Goyo Guardian is going to be stopped by a Magic Cylinder, but hey, it at least did some damage. All right, you gotta love Goyo Guardian. Big fan of that card. And Ape Fighter is here, but it, you're up. Yorogito's effect is so smart. And Ape Fighter beats the Goyo by 100 and gains 300 attack. That is pretty freaking good. Now, what are you going to do? Harpies is nice to get rid of the problem. Yep. Ape Fighter will get weaker after a while, so you just need to be patient. If you're patient, it will die. All right, Heart of the Cards comes through. Pot of Greed, that's pretty good. And Pot of Greed gets Reasoning. We're going to Reason. Anyone that watches my Tag Force series sees me use this card all the time. Whitehorn Dragon is here! And Whitehorn Dragon gets rid of Harpies for a permanent 25. Armageddon Knight throws away another monster. And we got Burden of the Mighty. You'd be surprised how many of you put Burden of the Mighty in your deck. I feel like you guys are addicted to it or something. Like, you you crave that spell card. I'm not going to lie. Like, at least 50% of the decks, people put that in their deck. They love that spell card. It's weird. You guys are weird. 
All right, Pot of Greed comes through, and we have a set, and we have a trap. All right, attack comes through, and it will be stopped for now, but there's just too much damage on the field, and it seems like the first win will go to Drake. The first one for now. Both decks look like they could fight each other. It's just that Drake got a little luckier with that uh, Yurigito play. So we'll just keep moving forward. Let's go ahead and get into game two and see what happens. Yeah, a lot of people had close ideas on what they wanted spell and trap card wise. Monster wise, you guys started to vary, other than fairy people. Anybody that wanted fairies, you're about the same. You're all about the same. All right, we have ourselves a set, which is very good. And we have Pot of Green. Swords is nice. Swords is going to get uh, Warrior Lady flipped. I like to use it like that, too. Burden is here, and that's a brick. And I see a Harpies in the hand, so that's not good. Harpies comes through. Harpies is going to blow up the field. And we're going to see what happens here. We got two monsters just going in for, you know, some nice damage. Nothing wrong with that. What are Alex and Drake's boss monsters? I'm afraid I don't have that much memory, so unless you watch the intro, I can't help you. <laughs> and I don't remember them that well because there were 44 decks and they're all made in one, well, at the same time, so yeah. Thank God someone didn't remember the intro. See, look at that. My fans are helpful. You guys are very good at this. My memory doesn't last that long. All right, well, we got trade in. Trade in throws away a monster, gets you two more. And we got Monster Born. What a combo! That was a beautiful combo to watch. And with that combo, we got ourselves that card. Dark's, uh, whatever its name is. Mystic Tomato comes, or Mystic Plasmic Zone comes through. And Doom Caliber says you better not try to activate effects. You better not. If you try to activate effects, you will die. I wouldn't recommend it. Supply Squad is nice. You can activate Snatch Steel because that's an effect that isn't a monster effect. And with the Snatch Steel, the duel has turned around. And the winner will be Alex. So I'm excited here because we got ourselves a game three. That makes a lot of sense, Bernog. So we're going into game three, everybody, which makes me happy because that means at least these decks were, you know, around the same level. And that's good enough for me. We'll see what happens here. All right, we got uh, Landstar, Tore Apart, and Blade Knight. Supply Squad's going to be right there. Blade Knight's ready to hold the field. 1,600 attack is a... You're very brave to think that can hold the field. This isn't Duelist Kingdom. Ape Fighter is going to go in, but at least Supply Squad will give you something for your trouble. You need to top deck a Marauding Captain right about now. I would recommend this. Top deck Marauding Captain. Top deck Marauding... No, that's not Marauding Captain. You're going to need a Marauding Captain. Yay! Yeah! My powers work on other people's decks! Ha-ha! <laughs> Marauding Captain Top Deck comes through. Comrade comes through. It's time for the Goyo Guardian! And with the Goyo Guardian, Drake Dark is in trouble. Alex goes in and eats the Ape Fighter. It's on the wrong side of the field. Uh, now let's see. The problem is I'm not looking at Drake's hand, so I can't help them. I can't use my powers when I don't know what they're doing. Mystic Tomato gets rid of Ape Fire. No, it doesn't. It tried, though. It tried, though. Swords! Yes! Swords will hold the field. Now Drake can use this time to try and get a more powerful card. She's going to need it. She is going to need it. Maybe a tribute. Maybe a something from their extra deck. I do not know. Just something to help out. I you know, Look, you already saw this. You need more than one monster. You already saw that. You don't have more than one monster. That's really bad. That's really bad. You had five cards in your hand at the start of that turn, and you don't have two. Oh, my God. Well, Goyo Guardian is gone, but it will be for the boss monster. Alex's strongest card, the Colossal Fighter. With 3,200 attack and Torah Parts extra effect, it's going to be hard to deal with it. Reasoning is a good idea because you are very hungry for monsters. Cyber Jar is very sad to see. That is not what you want with reasoning. I've done that before. It breaks my heart, too. But you get a tribute out of it, and it it's not strong enough, but it's pretty good looking. What is this? Van Dalgion, the Dark Dragon. 
Okay. Van Dalgion is here. It will not be able to beat Colossal Fighter, but maybe with some effects it can be helped. No. And you forgot about Scrap Iron. Yes. Okay. Trap. Premature. Interesting. Cyber Jar as a choice. Yep. I want you to know, Drake, whoever you are, um, the, the deck you made just premature Cyber Jar, and you should be upset. You should be very upset. <laughs> I would be so mad at my character if that happened. I would have been... I, I, I would be fuming. I would actually be fuming. It could cost you the duel. Because now you don't even have the ability to bring back your powerful monster. And what else you got? Trade in, you're going to need it, so that's a good idea. What else you got? One trap. That trap's going to have to be God tier. Not going to lie. So, here we go. The whole duel will be decided by this turn. The attack goes through. Armageddon didn't stand a chance. The attack goes through. And since Torapart activates, you can't stop it. The winner is Alex. Alex shall be moving forward. Drake D'Arc will so, see you some other time. Sorry about that. That was fun, though. Both characters were well-balanced and we were able to take us to game three. So I always enjoy that. A well-balanced uh, opponent is fun to... Uh, or a well-balanced duel is fun to see. So let's go ahead and move forward in the tournament. The next people that will be fighting in the tournament... Let's see... Alex, just one. Will be... Bernog versus Rodrigo. All right, Rodrigo versus Bernog. Let's see what happens. Let me go find these characters and let me uh, get their decks together. Rodrigo is ready. Oh, wait, I uh, I would like to say there is something special about Rodrigo's deck. And I might not mention it until after the first duel. But Rodrigo's deck does have something very interesting about it compared to every other person's deck. So I would like to mention it if we get to that. So let's go ahead and start this duel. And let's do this. All right, Bernard is uh, ready. Rodrigo is ready, and we'll see what you what, what happens. All right, we have a bunch of sets. It's not. It has nothing to do with a monster card. It has nothing to do with that. TT TT is very good. It'll stop the opponent from being annoying. And you got Phantom Cross to the graveyard, which is perfect for a Phantom Beast deck because I've used one in my second season of Tag Force, which does buff Gazelle, but Negate Attack will hold it. And we have ourselves a set. Very nice. Cyber Dragon. Cyber Dragon. What is that? Okay, I'm just going to say it now. They drew two Cyber Dragons in a 60-card deck. Rodrigo's special thing is that deck is 60. There are 60 cards in Rodrigo's deck, and they drew two Cyber Dragons. I call bullshit. I call bullshit on that. Rodrigo's cheating. Rodrigo is cheating if you literally drew that. And with a triple fusion summon, we have the boss monster. And the boss monster is Guardian Chimera. So good luck, Rodrigo. You're in trouble. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye, Cyber Dragon. Yep, unless you were able to draw a power bond, there was no way you're coming back. Goodbye. Do I have a character? No, no, no. I'm not in my own series. No way. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get into game number two. We're going to see how Rodrigo does in Duel 2 with their 60-card deck, which I'm going to tell you right now, Rodrigo, it's very hard to win duels with a 60-card deck, but you know, you're brave, and I appreciate that. You have great cards. I'll give you that much credit. You have great cards. There are some really good effects in that deck. You didn't draw many that time, just Cyber Dragon. That was the only thing, but uh, we'll see. Luster Dragon with Fighting Spirit is quite nice. Luster Dragon goes in. And now Shining Angel will do its job. Yeah, the AI can't play my deck, therefore I can't put it in. And Shining Angel, we're obviously going to fuse into Guardian Chimera. Guardian Chimera is here. And with its power, we're going to see how you lose. Fighting Spirit will uh, not be able to save you this time. Yep, attack comes through. Negate attack will try, but it will fail. Because it only stalls for one turn. What you need is Mirror Force. And we draw. And we cry. If you set, you sweat. 
And the attack comes through. Guardian Chimera will destroy it. I'm surprised they actually used the higher attacking monster this time. Um, I, I don't know what to say, Rodrigo. Other than a mirror force, you're going to die. I love Cyber Dragon. I can't believe it. I can't believe you top decked Cyber Dragon so many times. No, Arturo, you have not come up to bat yet. You have not fought yet, but your time will come. And Horn of the Phantom Beast on Giant Rat versus Seven Tools. Yeah, baby, Seven Tools. All right, Seven Tools does its job. You did some deflected damage and you bought yourself another turn. That is the only time you're ever gonna see that Seven Tools buy yourself a turn. And Shining Angel goes through. So the only top deck I can think of is Light Hex Seal. And it's not gonna save you, it's just gonna do damage. So Pot of Greed is really your only top deck. Uh, you know what, with Cyber Dra you summoned that in the wrong order. And I'm sorry, Rodrigo, the AI did not do that correctly. They should have Synchro Summoned, but they messed up horribly. Welcome to hell. <laughs> Welcome to AI hell, where no matter what you build, the AI will do it wrong. All right. Goodbye. And that is it, everybody. The winner is Burdon. So let's go ahead and get back to our bracket. Rodrigo, you're brave for at least trying the 60-card deck. I want to give you credit for that. I do want to give you credit for that. And Bernog, there we go. So let's go ahead and let's get into the next fight. The next fight in today's tournament will be Johnny Swag versus Anka D. So Johnny Swag will be the first person, the first donator to ever fight a character from our actual series. I hope you have fun fighting a character from our actual series, Johnny Swag. Not many of you will be able to get this honor today. So let's go find Johnny's deck and let's see what happens. Now, funny enough, Johnny didn't actually build their deck. They asked me to build their deck. They just told me to use Magician of Black Chaos, the ritual specifically. That was the only orders I was given. All right. So I hope it does well. For your sake, Johnny. For your sake. If it doesn't, then I apologize. But there's nothing we can do about that. All right. Manju is here. And it's... Well, no, you still get the effect. So this is still very valuable. Granted, Anka does like getting cards banished. So she's doing her job. Advanced Ritual Art will help. And they have it! Here we go! On the first turn, Johnny is going to summon the all-powerful Magician of Black Chaos. Should have saved that TT. The second you saw Manju, you should have saved that TT. 2,800 damage comes through and two traps on top of that. All right, that's fun. <laughs> that's fun that that already worked out. Uh, oh, Chaos Scepter! It's banished! It's banished face down. That card is gone for good. Johnny, there's a wide open field. Pot of greed, top deck, and Breaker can break the trap card. Breaker will break the trap card. And Gravekeeper's Retribution will not activate. That might not, a Grave Robber's Retribution will not activate. And Anka D is in a lot of trouble. A Magician of Black Chaos deck is making her sweat. That's not gonna help. D don't do it, Anka! Don't do it, Anka! <laughs> Stop trying to banish people. Oh, she loves that. She loves that. And it looks like Magician of Black Chaos with Illusionary Gentleman will go in and win the duel. Johnny will win duel number one. We are going to be moving into duel number two, and we're going to see what they can do against Johnny's deck. Anka, I wish you luck. You didn't really have a great hand in that one. I'm not going to lie. At least you got some remove from play stuff, but you messed up your timing with TT. I have no clue, Arturo. We, we randomized the bracket, so we have we don't know where anybody is. Breaker the Magical Warrior is here with a massive 1900 attack stat. But this time, I'd say Anka D has a much better hand. Much better hand. Granted, none of her cards can defeat that by battle. So she's going to have to remove it from play. DD Assailant could do that job. DD Assailant will do that job. We got rid of Breaker, and then we're going to set some stuff up. We have Macro Cosmos, which is very nice. It's going to make it so even Skulls and Traps get banished. And no, you're banished. Rick is soon. Rick is almost up. 
Oh god. Yeah, so for those of you that are curious, I actually have a lot of friends in real life that also donated or made decks or took my dad's donation. And uh, I'd like to say that they're going to be fun to watch as well. It should be fun. Alright, Shining Angel is right there. Neo is gone. Yep, Narciti. Looks like Anka's controlling the field this time, and now she can even use Dimensional Alchemist to get even more value. I would recommend using Dimensional Alchemist. Dimensional Alchemist will banish another card in order to get 1800 attack. 1800 attack goes through, and there's not much you can do about that. So, what else you got? Yeah! Alright, Johnny! Now, Johnny, if you don't top deck one of your ritual support cards, you're in trouble. Oh, dear God! I believe Johnny has top decked only ritual cards at this moment in time. DD Warrior loves it when there's an open field because they don't have to banish themselves. All right. My dad is in the tournament? No. <laughs> My dad is not in the tournament. My dad uh, gave the donation decks to people he actually knows, which are my friends in real life. Alright. He used to buy us pizza for our parties when we were back in middle and high school. Uh, we have ourselves a set, and it's all up to a trap. And there's the boss monster. I'm not joking. That is the boss monster. And Apprentice saves the day! Johnny is still alive! Johnny is still alive! All right, Apprentice Magician gets one last card. The last card is Apprentice Magician. What can Johnny do with the final turn they've been granted? This card throws away dimensions to bring back dimensions. That's really scary. Anka's boss monster holds the field. What will you do, Johnny? Oh, you cry. You set cry. Very nice. Very nice. And DD Survivor is the perfect card for this situation, so that's the end of the duel, pretty much. Unless that's an old Vindictive you can get. Let's see. Magician of Faith is also nice, but it's not going to work in this situation. Set Cry is correct. Attack comes through. Illusionary is just barely not strong enough. 16 is 100 too little. And the winner is Anka D. She managed to control that duel and never let the Johnny get a ritual card. So we're going to have to get into game number three and see if Johnny can get their ritual. They did in game one. In game one, Johnny Swag dominated with that ritual. In game two, Anka dominated with that spell trap support, keeping the Dimension Warriors on Earth, the DD stuff on the field. Again, Anka's getting her banished stuff. But this is a pretty good hand. I say pretty good because they don't always use TT correctly. Game three means this is good. Yes, game three means this is a good duel. And because you're going to game three with a character from our actual show, it's a perfect example of a good deck we can reuse. I understand that. I just feel bad for you that your your deck didn't get uh, used correctly. Oh no! They destroyed Chaos Scepter! Magician of Black Chaos is gone! Oh yeah, that's a shame. And it's gone. Sorry, Johnny. <laughs> Sorry, Johnny. Yep. That is uh, that's a real shame. That was a great play by uh, Anka D there. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, what are you going to do? Now that you've lost your boss, what are you going to do? Magician of Faith, okay. The good news about that is you can get back Chaos Scepter. I don't think she's going to kill it again, though, so you're going to need to try something else. Would I change the character to fit the setting more? I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. It depends on the bio. It depends on stuff like that. All right, Banishment goes away, so at least you got rid of the Banishing card. You just need to find a... You don't have any monsters. That's a really bad sign. That is a really bad sign. All right, and this card is back. After losing Magician of Black Chaos, I don't like your odds, but DDC up, DD Warrior Lady's like, we're leaving. This could be Johnny's last turn. Johnny, this will be your last top deck. Where's your Monju's? Where's your Senju's? I gave you everything. Where are they? You had them in the first duel. Oh, there we go. Okay, there's Senju, but do you have it? You have to have the spell card or the duel's over. The duel is most likely over. I mean, I could end the duel right now. Yep, it's over. It's over. Unless that trap finally activates. I'm sorry, Johnny. It didn't work out. It worked in game one. It didn't work in game two. Anka D is still one of the strongest characters in the underground. So, she made it through. Nice try, Johnny. Nice try. So, let's go ahead and let's move our characters. Uh, yeah. Let's let's get to the next next fight. Anka D has one. 
Johnny, you can go take a nap now. <laughs> you can go take a nap. Your deck was almost good enough to take down one of the strongest underground duelists. So Johnny Swag will be losing. Anka D will be moving forward. The next duel will be Kari versus Ferris Paulo. Kari versus Ferris Paulo, everybody. Let's see who wins this duel. All right, Kari, Kari. I liked. I I, I will admit I liked Kari's deck. I liked the Kari deck. Did you find yourself, Arturo? I hope you don't have to wait too long. All right, let's go. All right, Ferris Paulo. All right, one for one will begin the duel and we will get a Karibo card. Monster of Born will revive a Karibo card. Everybody say hello to Curry Babylon. A card that I didn't really know about until I saw it in the Poke Duel game. We are going to activate Polymerization to fuse two monsters together, Prisma and Shadow Mist. Create Sunrise. Sunrise is now on the field. Sunrise will now, oh, hold up. One of this is gonna happen. All right, Stratos is now in the hand. Sunrise is going to get you Miracle Fusion. And we're going to summon Shadow Mist, and we're going to use Miracle Fusion to put together these two monsters. These two monsters will create the Shining. The Shining is very powerful, and the Karibos don't really stand a chance against this much power. And there goes your Transcendent Wings, which wasn't going to work anyway. Very weird that they attacked in that order. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I understand maybe you want to get rid of a trap card, but Transcendent Wings was had no value the second there was no hand anyway. Mass change number two, Stratos comes through. Stratos is going to get uh, popping effect. Detonate is gone. Sunrise will pop the face down. The face down was a Karibo looking card. And the attacks are too strong. Game number one goes to... Oh, that card has an effect I did not know about. I hold back because I look, we're, we're in an era where I don't know the cards. And here we go. Game number one, as I was saying, goes to Ferris Paulo. All right, let's go ahead and try this again. <laughs> Ferris Paulo, your deck is doing quite well. Uh, Kari, you need to do a little better. I need you to get the exact Karibo cards you need. Because if you don't get the exact Karibo cards you need, you will lose. You are going to lose. Also, that hand is pretty good. E emergency call, Rota, and Pot. That's not easy. Supply Squad is very good. That can help. That's a what? That's a pink curry, though. Everyone say hello to Curry B. Curry B is about to get Dark Hole. No, I'm joking. That would be hilarious, though. Uh, Blaze Man is in the hand, which means Pot or, uh, Polly can be in the hand at any time. Ocean is in the hand. You gotta love the Ocean Man. Pot agreed. We'll get to even more monsters. Miracle Fusion is here. You need Polly. You disagree with me. But Shadow Mist works because you can use Miracle Fusion now. Miracle Fusion will be used. Using these two monsters, we are going to summon the ultimate creature. Their name being Escort. Really? You know, I didn't expect that. Oh, it's gone. I didn't expect that monster in the first place, though. You did. I was right. They Dark Hole Kirby. Oh, my God. The AI did that. I love it. I love it. They actually Dark Hole Kirby. Well, there we go. Let's see what happens. Monster of Born will steal a monster. Oh, no, they love Kirby. That's their favorite. So we got to see Dark Hole and Monster of Born be used on a single monster. Curry Babylon is here with 1800 attack. It's going in. 1800 attack is adorable given that it can barely match a Stratos. Speaking of which, Stratos is here. Stratos gets Stratos, but there's no fusion stuff right now. No mass change, no nothing. All monsters. And we got Glow Up Boom for our Synchro Summon. Everyone say hello to a level six Synchro named Wolf. Hey, it's freaking Nino's card. Nino's card is now on the field. Pot is gone. You lost Pot Agreed. That's really bad. All right, Pot Agreed is gone and Glow Up Bloom is gonna do 100 damage. And Nino's card holds the field right now. Yep, Nino's boss monster, which is pretty valuable. That is only gonna work if you have monsters in the grave. Oh, and now Stratos. Yeah, it works now. You could use it. Go ahead. 
Miracle Fusion will be used, and we're going to put together two Stratos to create the ultimate creature. And the ultimate creature being Great Tornado. With this, we can put that glow up bloom to 50 attack. Perfect. Karibo will stop the damage. Good job. If you're going to use Karibo, that's, yeah, that's what you need. Supply Squad makes this deck like 10 times better, by the way. You need Supply Squad if you're going to run this Karibo deck. All right, you've lost too much Great Tornado, but Glow Bloom's also quite weak. All right, what are you going to do now? Set Cry, yep. Even with 400 attack, it's too much. <laughs> Even 400 attack is too much for your monsters. And that's three oceans. And that's Prisma. Beautiful. Now, it's not going to count because we saw an ocean get searched earlier, but still. Supply Squad uh, comes through. And Great Tornado's a coward. But in defense, though, Karibo will never defeat it. Kari's, Kari's fighting for their goddamn life right now. Mass charge doesn't matter when you haven't used a single mass card. Attack goes through. That Karibo card is gone forever. Supply Squad activates. Very good. That Kari Another weird looking one. I'm just going to assume it's called something else. Karibo is on the field. And this card says, wait. Karibo is on the field. All right, we have two Karibos on the field, which is very fun. We're going to see what they can do. We need a multiply. Harpies is nice to just, you know, get rid of the mass charge. You don't want that to happen. And three Karibos are crying. They will not be able to protect themselves. Monster Reborn time. Monster Reborn comes... Oh, no, we're not going to reborn anything. We're just going to start attacking. We're not even going to use Great Tornado, even though you can defeat the Karibo cards with Great Tornado. And all the Karibo cards have been defeated. You did get Detonate, but that card is only as valuable as the Karibos you have on the field. And since you haven't multiplied and you already used three Karibos at once, Detonate has lost value. Even Curry Babylon has been stolen, which is very sad. What will you do? Graceful Charity. Old school, but it'll do nothing. You throw away your spells and traps, which is why I didn't give any of my AI decks Graceful Charity. Because all they do is throw away spells and traps that you probably needed. Harpies comes through, and Harpies will destroy everything you own. Detonate and Acid Trap Hole, or not Trap Acid, but the other Trap Hole is gone. Wing Karibo saves the day. Wing Karibo buys you one turn. And with this one turn, what will you do with it, Kari? What will you do? Oh. It needs to be another Wing Karibo, just to buy you another turn. Ocean Man is going to put Stratos back in the hand so that they can summon it again. Stratos gets a, another Prisma, of course. Attack goes through, and it's a Karibo of uh, white this time. Clear Karibo says, wait a minute. I won't allow this. I draw one card. It was not Karibo, apparently. You have one turn left. You have one turn left before the six monsters just destroy you. Dark Hole is probably your only hope. Or Regeki. Yep, I, I forgot people did put Regeki in their deck. And, or Regeki, and Regeki goes and does its job, and yep, we got the Skilled Brown Magician. The Skilled Brown Magician will hold the field with 300 attack points, because, you know, when you have 1,300 life points left, putting a monster in attack mode makes sense. A monster with 300 attack specifically. And that is the end of the duel. The winner is Ferris Hollow. So, at least Karibo fought that time. Karibo fought back, but it was fighting a mountain. A mountain of monsters. So, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next duel of the tournament. The next duel of the tournament shall be... Let's move Ferris Paul forward. Malm versus Zephyrus Chan Channeler. Yeah, Zephyrus Channeler. Malm versus Zephyrus Channeler. So let's go ahead and see how these characters do. We're going to watch these go at it. We're going to see what happens. Yeah. Zephyrus is ready. Mom will be ready very soon. And I am ready. Let's watch these characters duel. Rhoda is here. Rhoda gets Elemental Saber Makini. A-Forces is here. We have ourselves a set. Yep, Charmers do like to set themselves, don't they? Hita may not have been your main, but honestly, I couldn't tell what would be. You, All your cards had basically the same stats. 
And it was the only thing I could find on short notice, because I couldn't cut out a picture for that. What's next to the names? The donators. Any The things that are in brackets are the donators. The names are what the people told me to put their names as, and the donators are uh, the names in brackets. And you could still win Monster, which is that card, which is hilarious. The Charmer has done its job. The Charmer has done its job. And now it can use its effect if it wants to, if the AI even knows how to. Also, the boss monster has been stolen. I don't even know if that is the boss monster, but yeah, Elemental Saver, whatever your name is, has been stolen. And also, we Tribute Summon. And now we do big damage. The Charmers are doing very good in this duel. Hopefully, Element Saber can make some sort of comeback right now. Uh, whatever that spell card... That spell card is a paragraph. What the hell? Yup. That's... That's brutal. <laughs> that's brutal. That spell card is literally a paragraph. All right. Well, we got a bunch of spell cards, but they're not going to do much. And there we go. The monster is gone. That's true. You'll never see a, a in any other series. You'll never see a charmer actually do its effect. Field spell has been activated. Given that's an ultra rare, I'm gonna assume this field spell is actually good. Aina is here. That that looks like a child holding a shield. I'm sorry. Am I wrong? Is that just that's just a child holding a shield? She looks like she's five. All right. And that's a lot of damage. So yeah, I'd be scared. I'd be very scared. Harpies is very nice, though. Harpies will buy you something, hopefully. No. No, it will not. You didn't draw any monsters to work with this. You're in trouble. It sucks to have your trap in a nice spell. It doesn't matter. None of this mattered. The second you saw Harpies, none of this mattered. All right, go for it. Yeah, battle phase is skipped for now. They cannot attack. That card can do it, though. With United We Stand, we have ourselves familiar possessed. I don't remember her name. What is, is she area? Area. Yep. Look at that. I'm, I'm doing it. Area has done it. However, this card has an effect as well, and it's just going to put itself in defense mode. Okay. A lot of level 5 monsters, but they're not being summoned. The attack comes through. We're going to destroy a big monster, and all we have is a set. That's not a good sign. Mom, you need to do something. You're in some trouble here. A trap card, of course. Oh, yeah, there's the boss monster. That actually is the boss. That's the level 9 monster. All right, everyone say hello to Elemental Grace Doriato. And with there, we... Oh, God, it's getting worse. Oh, my God, what a comeback. This Morphing Jar is a great comeback. The attack comes through. United We Stand is gone. Attack comes through. Attack comes through. And the damage is good. Okay. Okay. Mage Power is beautiful. Mage Power is going to make this dark card very powerful. The monster effect needs to change it. Yep, that was a good play. And you saved uh, your character with that. Perfect. 3850. And Wind is here. And what does that do? Wind was selected. And that's that's why. Elem oh no! That's why Wind was selected so much! Oh my god! The Mistress is so powerful! The monster is face down! Cyberjar is unironically in attack mode! And the damage is too good! With 2750, Mom has made a comeback and won the duel. We were one attack away, but the monsters saved themselves by putting themselves face down defense mode. And that is it. Let's go ahead and get into game number two and see what happens. That was a great duel. I enjoyed both characters' decks there. I don't understand one of them. I can at least understand the Charmer crap. Very simple, very easy to understand. The other stuff, I don't. The par there was like paragraphs there. I'm not reading shit. All right, let's see what we got. Pato Greed. Very nice. Field Spell, which I had to ask my friend what that card was because I couldn't find it. All right. Luckily, my friend actually works at a Yu-Gi-Oh card shop, so he was able to be like, nope, I got it right here. He whipped it out. Yeah, thank you again, Jeremy. And both characters got their field spell, but Magic Hammer says no. Ah, I would have kept swords. Not going to lie. I would have kept swords. Ah, that makes sense, Shadow Phoenix. Oh, they started with two. All right, two field spells. 
And we're going to use this to special summon Lapalia, even though you can't attack this turn. Uh-huh, Lapalia Mana is here. With 2800 attack, that's pretty scary. That card gets special summon, and we're going to throw away more stuff. And we got the little shield person back in the hand. Oh, I guess you don't have to skip the battle, whatever. Area's like, oh no, if I had survived, I could have stolen you. And 2800 damage. Beautiful. You need a dark hole. I'd say a dark hole would be good, since he threw away swords. And here comes a trap card. And there comes another trap card. And that card pops. But that's about it. Two charmers standing side by side fighting for their goddamn lives. And Field Spell gives you another card. It's Lapalia. Lapalia is going to go ahead and send two cards away. And that Field Spell negates it. I did not know that. But they wanted cards in the grave in the first place, so it makes sense. They're all becoming fire for some reason. This monster still found a way to special summon itself, so there it is. Can't attack just yet, though. Charmer Girls, you need to do something. Charmer Girls plays this spell card to, in order to buff themselves. Trap card says, what if I just did this instead? <laughs> okay, that's a much better effect than what you just attempted, but hey. At least you're trying. Come on, Charmers. Do something. Element Savers versus Charmers was one of the funniest random fi fights we could have gotten. Okay. Field Spell says no. Harpy says yes. But Harpy says yes. All right. Trap activates. Trap gets another monster. Monster activates. Fire was selected. God damn. It keeps going. Fire was selected. They're addicted to fire, I must say. Whoa, that's a lot of complicated stuff. I can't keep up. Tribute. We got ourselves Lapalia Mana. Lapalia is on the field. And that's it. All right. Charmer, this is your last turn. Do something. Yes, Mage Power is the right card. Okay, by banishing this, we get back the spell card. And then we, we hide in defense mode. Very, very understandable. Field Spell activates again. Field Spell gets Makani. That's the wind one. Okay, okay. I'm starting to think the Charmer deck just got super lucky in that first duel. I I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with they got super lucky, the fact that that duel was as close as it was. Because this doesn't seem very close anymore. Game? <laughs> I'm just waiting. Game? You want to you wanna do something there? Wind was selected. Sure, sure. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. What else do you got? A dark monster. Sure. Fire was selected. You're really mixing it up, I must say. Fire was selected. So a bunch of wind and a bunch of fire. Look, I have no clue what's happening. This isn't my time period. All, the, all, all I see is them skipping their battle phase when they already had enough damage. That top deck might change everything. You skip too many battle phases, in my opinion. You have Malehu now, sure. How do you win? I want to know, Element Saber deck, how do you win if you skip your battle phase every time? Does anybody know the answer to this? I, I, I don't know how they win. If you never attack and you don't run any bird, how? Okay, we got the Dark Charmer now. They can win through deck out 100%. They 100% can win this through deck out. We'll do a deck count. You guys curious? They're down to 11. They only have 11 cards left, but they can't attack because they keep using the field spell. All right, wins here. Finally, a monster with some attack points. Mage power is here. Okay, you bought your opponent enough time to do this. Is this the flip face down effect? Yes, it is. Just to make sure they don't die. Very nice. All right. 
You're not- now you're not strong enough, so now I understand if you use the field spell. Oh no! No! Now that- okay, now this makes sense in your mind. And you get gravity by me. Do you see the problem? You're gonna lose by deck out. Heart of the cards. All you have to do is hold the field now. You have gravity bind, you have everything you need. All you have to do is hold the field for 10 turns. It's not that bad. And that card is, oh, I just realized two of those cards are level three, but they can't beat this card. Even if two of those are level three, they can't beat this card, so it's fine. Pot of Greed, it will not take 10 turns. A forces, nope, it's over. That's the end of the duel. Oh wait, no, 4150, wow. You're, wi you're still in the duel by 50 attack. You are still in the duel by 50 attack. That's wild. That is actually wild. And spell card activates. We throw away a card, we get another card. That card will probably buff you. We have another trap card. Very nice. And this, it's, you're putting a lot on Wynn's shoulder, I must say. Wynn is holding the field. All it has to do is stall. We can go to game three. Oh, nope, that didn't work. Yep, apparently they could have done that the entire time. Attack comes through, attack comes through, and in one more duel, you are through. Alright, or one more attack, because this is a game two, actually. Damn. Oh, that's not good. Yep, that is the end of the duel, I am afraid. Sorry about this, Zephyrus Chandler, but Malm is the winner. Oh, wait, this card has an effect I didn't know about. You know, I stand by it. Mom is the winner. And that is it, everyone. Mom shall move forward with something called Element Savers. And nice try. I, I enjoy the fact that you tried to make a Channeler deck and that the AI wasn't complete trash with it. It at least did get its Charmer effect off once. That was something. So let's go ahead and let's see what happens in the next duel. It was almost a win by deck out too, so that was pretty close. Uh, Mom, go ahead and move forward. The next duel is going to be GG Gamer versus a greedy guy. And which is a very ironic name when you gave $100 to charity, but still. <laughs> a greedy guy versus GG Gamer. Let's see who wins. A greedy guy is ready. GG Gamer is not found. Oh, ready. Found you. Now, GG Gamer, your deck was also one of those interesting ones where you kind of asked me to freestyle it other than using a couple cards. So I really hope it works out, but it's it, it was kind of tough to work around the cards you talked about. But I did my best. So let's, uh, let's put you guys on the screen. Yes, GG Gamer is over here. And then the character over here will be... Oh, I forgot. It's uh, a greedy guy, right? Yeah, a greedy guy. Hey, Dark Necrofear already? I mean, not going to be able to use it, but there it is. Destiny board time indeed. Harpy says no Destiny board. Get it out of here. A great start for GG Gamer. GG Gamer has misjudged, which is hilarious. Upstart Goblin may not even... Oh, wait, that card is going to try and banish itself. But Misjudge is judging it and says that it may. By banishing itself, Destiny Board will return. And we're going to Upstart Goblin. Ooh, that's rough. All right, a greedy guy has Dark Sanctuary. We're going to throw away a Karibo card. We have Pot of Duality. And with this, we can get the Trap card. With this, we get Karibo. Wing Karibo will hold the field. All right, Miss Judge, you got a lot of work to do today. That's all I got to say. Hey, Luminous is good. Double Miss Judge. All right, double the judgment. Yo, get out of here, Dark Sanctuary. You don't get to do crap, but Wing Karibo will hold the field. All right, Wing Karibo, make sure you don't take any damage. Monster Reborn steals Wing Karibo because they want the extra 800 damage for next turn. Makes sense. Of course. 800 damage makes a lot of sense. And they're going to end their turn because Karibo in hand is better. Makes sense. And Hoshin again! Here they come! Wing Karibo with a massive 1300 attack. That didn't work. Alright, well... 
tails. Okay, head. That means if, if basically because the AI always chooses heads in this case, if it's heads, you burn. If it's tails, you don't. So the weakest attack got through, and the strongest attack didn't work so far. Up, oh, Sphere Karibo. All right, Sphere Karibo, what are we doing? Damn. Wait, does that still work? No way that still works. Oh, it doesn't. Okay, it does not still work. 2800 attack. It did go through. This damage will be stopped, though. Karibo says no. Karibo says no. All right. Wing Karibo having 1300 attack is quite the sight to see. Dark Necrofear, you need one more Karibo, I believe. You need one more Fiend in the grave. Thunder Nyan Nyan! All right, why is Misjudge still in defense mode? Is it stuck there forever? I do not know. Thunder Nyan Nyan will... Oh, Wing Karibo is going to take... Yeah, that's not going to work out so well. Ho Shin again. Ooh, that's not good. Okay, the weakest attacks hurt you. All of the attacks have hurt you. That's three for three on this one turn. And this Karibo's like, hey, wait a minute. I don't know about that direct attack. Hello there. And there we go. That Karibo saves the day and heals the friend. While also getting a tail, so it didn't matter. Tails did not matter. All right, that should be three fiends. So Dark Necrofear now has value. Ooh, not what you want to talk today. Dark Necrofear does have value. And honestly, you're going to die. But Dark Necrofear wanted to die. This was all part of the plan. Because now, Thunder Nyan Nyan is on... Oh, what the hell? Dark Necrofear got negated. <laughs> and it picked the wrong target anyway. Dark Necrofear got negated and the attacks come through this whole duel. Honestly, the only reason it's still going is because Dark, San er, Dark Sanctuary is cheated. Miss Judge has negated Dark Sanctuary. The attack goes through, but it has to negate it every single time, and it can't. And that one fails. That's another heads, by the way. We need to start keeping count of these heads. That's a Tails. That's 2,800 damage. One more attack like that, and the duel's over. Thunder Nyan Nyan goes for game. It's over! Duel number one goes to GG Gamer! Alright, GG Gamer has taken game number one. A little unlucky, greedy guy. We'll see what happens in the du in duel number two. It's all up to the flip of the coins on both sides of the field. It sucks that you lost your Dark Necrofear's effect. That is a good hand. You already have Destiny board. You have Battle Fader, Potter. It's a great hand. It's a great hand. You got way better odds this time, a greedy guy. Way better odds. You got double Destiny board. All right, let's see what we got. Pot of Greed. You need Harpies on the first turn again. I'm not going to lie. Reflect Bounder comes in for 17. No matter what, the attack's not going through. Battle Fader is here. Dark Sanctuary is like, hey, I have an idea. Let's not do any burn. Yeah, Reflect Bounder against normal opponents, a pretty nice card. Against a Destiny board deck that doesn't even attack you, probably not going to do anything. They drew all three Destiny boards. I'm sorry, that's natural. You can count that. You can count that. They drew three net Destiny boards. Now we have a card called Chicken Game. And with this, they take a thousand burn and end their turn. Chicken Game says a thousand burn. Bolted Kong is here. Sphere Karibo does his job again. Honestly, Reflect Bounder in defense mode is the right place to put it. You do not want it in attack mode. And Destiny board is on Finn. It has spilled Finn. Two more and it's over. If you don't draw harpies, you're gonna do you're gonna die. We called the DEA on you. Heart of the cards, you need something good. The misjudge is very good. Alright, Volted Kong with a massive discard effect. Yo, that was big. And sadly you didn't hit the A because it's right there. You didn't hit the L because it, yeah, it didn't matter. Miss Judge is gonna try and stop it. Miss Judge failed to stop it in one turn, the duel's over. If you could stall for one turn, the duel will end. We Karibo! Oh, you had flute anyway. Miss Judge! Miss Judge says no flute! You, if you didn't top deck Wing Karibo, you would have lost. Wing Karibo is about to save the day. Unless you draw Harpies, the duel is over. DD Warrior Lady be damned. The Karibo will be going to the grave. And the monster says no. Wait! This decides the duel! 
the winner is a greedy guy. A greedy guy has well, actually, yeah, a greedy guy has won. It's time to use the destiny board to spell out death. There we go. That is it, everybody. We're going into game two. The Wing Karibo top deck was hype as hell, greedy guy. You got so lucky that Miss Judge couldn't stop it. So here we go again. Game number three. I've enjoyed this match, by the way. The fact that these two are actually back to back, I enjoy it. A greedy guy versus you. This time you didn't start with triple destiny board, though. So how are you going to win? I feel like your deck relied on that. Voltic Kong, which was one of the cards you told me to put in specifically. And I tried to build around it. All right. Lots of God in this hand. Lots of Kongs in this hand. But granted, you just did 4K to yourself, so I don't know about that. You did 4K to yourself in order to stop 1,800. Nope, oh, you didn't stop shit. You lost the, you're going to lose the duel. <laughs> I'm afraid you're probably going to lose this duel. All right, attack comes through. Volta Kong discards two. And you lost nothing. Uh, the only thing they need to hit are the spell cards, right? Or the field spells. Those would be good to hit, too. Karibo will not stall enough. But flu? Yep, if you can get Wing Karibo. I, I mean, that works. Because because they went for double Karibo, it works. Because now they have a guaranteed Dark Necrofear the next turn. They have a guaranteed Dark Necrofear. You, nope, they lost. Okay, if they summon a monster, you lost because of that. God says no in chat, everybody. I think God just cost you the duel. I'm sorry, a greedy guy. You were a little greedy with your gods. Oh, wait. No, you're fine. Copycat has nothing to copy. You're completely fine. You are fine. Dark Necrofear Clutch. Dark Necrofear Clutch. The Karibos are saving the day. Dark Necrofear is now a possibility. And Dark Necrofear can win you this duel because it's just that good of a card. Do not pot a duality whatever you do. Holy crap, you would have pissed me off so bad. Thank God you did not do that. Dark Necrofear is here, and with its 2200 attack, it's doing its job. And that's Dark Hole. So if you normal summon a monster that isn't Copycat, you win. Thunder Nyan Nyan! The winner is GG Gamer! Alright, GG Gamer will be moving forward. A greedy guy, nice deck, very nice. It's kind of what Bacor is going to become anyway, but it's a pretty nice deck, except for the Karibo part. I love that. I love that addition to it. It, it really makes sense to get uh, the Fiend Monsters into the grave. So let's go ahead and let's, uh, yeah, let's move on. Let's see what happens. The next duel will be Amy versus a main character, Zachary D. Amy versus Zachary. Now, granted, Zachary has not been seen in a little bit, and he's only been in one tournament before this, so we don't really have much information on Zachary. But Amy is also brand new, so let's see how she does, if I can find her. All right. Let's start this duel. Amy versus Zachary. Zachary is on your screen. Amy is on your screen. Let's watch these two duel. That is correct. The one tournament he was in, he won. Victoria is here. So technically, he's an undefeated character. Dark Hole comes through. We're going to destroy Victoria. Now we're going to summon Geico. And Magic Cylinder says no. Very good timing for that Magic Cylinder. You don't want to get your monsters banished. All right, let's see how the AI works with this. We have ourselves a set. Setting is smart. Setting is safe. Monster Reborn is scary. Oh, we're going to Synchro Summon immediately. Kind of an interesting play. Synchro Summoning into the Chaos Beast. Okay. I wouldn't have done it, but okay. Yes, now I would have done it. Now I see why you did it. Monster Reborn comes through, and we're going to get this monster. Zachary D, D is doing exactly what he did at uh, Duel Academy. The calculator did not calculate that happening. And that's 5,300 damage. Amy, you need to top deck something. That was pretty brutal. And Nova Summoner is here. Nova Summoner destroys itself on purpose because... It can summon Aeronite Parshath. Aeronite Parshath defeats Victoria in order to draw a card, and hopefully that card is a trap. It is not a trap. 
Chaos Sorcerer could simply banish for game. Or Karma Cut. Yeah, you, no, either way, it's a win-win. And that's 3,000 damage right there. And Chaos Beast goes for game. And game number one goes to Zachary D. Zachary D has won. So we are now going to be moving on to game number two. And we're going to see what happens. Yep. Daigo has not attended Duel Academy for quite a while to the person that said, why hasn't Daigo stopped Zachary? Daigo has uh, gra graduated a long time ago. He was in the Pro League, if you might remember. Mystic Tomato is there. All right. Nova Summoner is there. Karma Cut is going to stop this. So instead of going for the battle of, let's see who has the better floater, we're just going to banish the monster completely. And we have a Harpies or a TT. Harpies it is. And with Harpies Feather Duster, we hit Magic Cylinder got hit. Oh no! With Magic Cylinder getting hit, this is going to be kind of a brutal duel. Zachary D is doing what he does best. Anka D already continued in the tournament, so Zachary winning would be fitting. Snatch Deal! The best card in the game! And it's gone. But Zachary has no hand. Zachary is bricked. Oh, wait, that gives him a card. Shit. Shit. Well, he won't top deck anything, so don't worry. Mm. In time, that could be a problem. Depending on what he chooses. Nah, that's fine. It's just Geico. You can handle Geico. Very weird choice. I would have chose at least Chaos Sorcerer. I don't know what he's choosing. Yeah, that's a very bad choice, in my opinion. Future! Do you have enough time? If you could stall for two turns, you could future fuse and win this duel. Karma Kai, ugh. <laughs> I don't know about those odds anymore. The calculator is dead. Amy's in a lot of trouble here. Amy, what are you going to do? You need to stall for future fusion. Dark Paladin would be awesome to see. I love Dark Paladin as much as the next guy. No! Geico was the right choice! Geico, how did they know this would happen? Geico was the right choice. They don't have Karibo. Amy is gone. Zachary D, goodbye. Yeah, Zachary D brutalizes Amy. That's a quick 2-0. All right, well, we'll be moving Zachary forward. Amy, thank you for showing up. At least you attempted Dark Paladin, which I really enjoy that card. I just didn't get to see it because Zachary's a monster. I apologize. So let's go ahead and let's uh, move forward in the, yeah, in the tournament. Zachary D shall move forward. The next duel will be Mr. Gannons versus the Monad, which I hope I pronounced that right. Mr. Gannons versus the Monad. And thank you so much for the sub, Mr. Gannons. I appreciate that. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I didn't make I I didn't make anybody. I said anybody can use whatever deck they wanted. All right, where is the Monad? The Monad is ready. Mister Gannons is ready. Let's do this. And that's an interesting start because we just saw those cards. I swear to God, we just saw the, saw those cards in the last duel. Dark Hole immediately. All right. Dark Hole immediately from Mr. Gannon. You have three of those thanks to Search. Dark Sanctuary, of course. Marsh Macon in attack mode, of course. One Trap card, of course. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, it's the 10,000 Dragon deck. I should have known. The attack goes through. Magic Cylinder says no. It is the 10,000 Dragon deck, which is super funny. Magic Cylinder says no to Collapse, whatever your name is. And uh, also Heads is always the choice, so. But luckily Magic Cylinder already stopped the attack, so it didn't get to go through twice. Marsh McCon can hold the field in defense mode now. Oh, no, Raigeki, we're keeping it in attack mode. I apologize, the AI wants it in attack mode, so it's gonna happen that way. There we go. Marshmallow Kong goes for 200 damage. It knows it needs it. 
Let's see if Mr. Gannons wins this duel by 400 damage, because 400 life points is what he just took away. We're going to throw away... Oh, we got to summon two monsters now. Dark Sanctuary and Fairy Box, of course, of course. And Heads was always, will always be selected. Heads did its burn. However, because it has zero attack, doesn't that mean that Dark Sanctuary gets countered now? It does. Yes. Very good. All right. Tails does not work, which means you keep the attack, which means now. Wait, Tails was selected. Wait, it knows how to pick different choices? When it's player one, it only picks one choice, but when it's player two, it picks everything? Good to know. Uh, 500 heal for Mr. Ganon's. Fairy Box does 500 damage. Shiny Angel is on the field. Why are they all in attack mode? Why are they all in attack mode? Future fusion could be extremely valuable. It's time for this monster to be summoned and these monsters, and that's that's it. Everyone say hello to 10,000 defensive monster. What? <laughs> what? What, are you scared? Is 10,000 dragon scared of a little box? You summoned a monster with 10,000 attack points and you're scared of a little box? Is that is that is that it? That was your chance to attack Marshmacon. It, it only had 200 attack. You had game. Why are you hiding? You had game, sir. Five God Dragon is weaker than 10,000 Dragon. All right. Eclipse Wyvern times three. Why not? Does it pop back row? Because that's kind of what it needs to do right now. Nope. 10,000 dragon hiding in defense mode. Not something I expected to see in today's tournament. All right. That gets back the Eclipse. That's fine. Eclipse gets special summoned. I guess you're not afraid to use that. Uh, I don't know what that is, I'm afraid. I don't know what that is, I'm afraid. Oh, now you're willing. Okay, so you just you just wanted to not win the duel. Because now, even if you attack Shining Angel, you can't win. Rick or Mr. Gannon's has given themselves over 10,000 life points. That's 500 burn. Tails was selected. Okay. Marsh McCon. Why are you attacking the defense monster when you could do so much damage to yourself? And that's the end of the duel. 10,000 dragon did 5,000 burn to itself. <laughs> 10,000 dragon did 5,000 burn to itself. Great job, dragon. Let's try that again, Monad. Let's try that again. At least you got out your boss monster, but you need to you need to pop spells and traps first. You need to pop the spells and traps. Yeah, someone do clip that. 5,000 burn is pretty funny. 5,000 burn from Dark Sanctuary is pretty funny. All right, Upstar Goblin's going to heal uh, Mr. Ganon's, which I do not recommend. Terraforming gets the field spell. Person outside with a motorcycle almost hits my house. Two trap cards. Okay, okay. That's right. <laughs> Five gods. Oh my god, the eclipses. The eclipses. All right, the eclipse wyverns are here. Eclipse wyvern. Yep, we're going to throw away the vandies. We get the eclipse monster again, and the eclipse wyvern uses its effect to bring back this card. And we tribute for this card, not like it can do much. And that card is going to do something. Oh my god, there's like a billion effects in this deck. And we have ourselves a light monster. Attack comes through. Let's see if they get... Oh, doesn't matter. None of this matters. Blazing Mirror Force get wrecked. All right, with Blazing Mirror Force, you both take 2250. That, car, that part doesn't matter. You can ignore that, even though they did get it correct. We have ourselves Eclipse. Very nice. And we're just going to set. All right, Mr. Gans, this this is your time for Marsh Macon to attack directly. I, okay, well, apparently you didn't draw any of your monster cards. Only spells and traps. That's fine. <gasps> the Harpies! Will it matter? The Five God Dragon on the field when Harpies gets top decked. Is it possible? Ring of Destruction is... It doesn't matter. Is it possible? Harpies activates... Oh, Rick, I was so excited, but it didn't happen, so don't say anything. <laughs> 
and there's the game winning attack 1800 it's over game number two goes to the mona that harpies was the best top deck i've ever seen i was very uh, you rick you and i both know what we were hoping for right there but it didn't happen we gotta try again all right Monad will try again. Interesting. They're really going to try and summon 10,000 dragons. The question is, will uh, Mr. Ganons be able to draw? Oh my god, upstart into upstart. Eclipse Wyvern holds the field with 1,600 attack. Well, how will you answer? Mr. Ganons already has their field spell and a lot of back row. Which, after watching this deck, you probably should be afraid of that back row. Ring of Destruction happens quite early and does its damage. Eclipse wanted to die, though, because now it can do this. That's a lot of, like, tribute monsters in your hand. I don't know if that's a good thing. Again, they get it correctly. And by getting it correctly, you take 800 burn. That's pretty brutal. Marshmallow on an attack mode. That's exactly what Rick wants. This is what he, this is what he begged for. This monster activates its effect. It special summons two monsters. And by doing that, it can normal summon this monster. And the Eclipse throws away another monster. And that monster will throw away another monster. And that card go go to the hand, dear god. Attack goes through. Let's see if you take 28 or not. Fairy Box activates after the fact, so you might not take any damage. Depending on how this works. Tails was selected. It was okay, so you're not going to take any damage because you have zero attack. Dark Sanctuary can't do half of zero. Oh, that was the one time they got it wrong anyway. Oh, it's the Jar of Aromas. Isn't that fun? The Aroma Jar is here. Shouldn't I have eight decks? No, no, no. My personal thing is not going to be a thing. My personal donation does not create dono donation decks. The people had to donate $100 themselves to get them. Or $200 or $300 the way it happened. Because it, like, it turned out like three people donated $300. A very large amount. <laughs> all right. Heads comes through. and Wow. That's the first time they both failed. And all it did was the worst thing possible. Everyone say hello to a brand new monster. Its name is Mimicking Maneater Bug. A card I considered giving to some insect duelists. Thank you, Nightburn. All right, attack goes through. We get rid of the nice defensive monster. And we have ourselves Globa. Of course, why not? And the Aroma Jar is doing its job. Oh, don't worry. I would never, never put Mr. Ganon's deck in the main story. Any deck that's idea is essentially stall is not going in my, a main story. Hell, any deck with stall really can't be in the main story. I wouldn't put it in it. All right, the healing uh, comes through. You know, why don't you get 10,000 Dragon and attack Marshmallow on? Just do it. Find a way to do it before, the, before they heal too much. This is your only hope. 500 burn. Oh, your, your opponent needed that. MST on what, though? Yeah, you know what? Yes. Hit the field spell. That field spell is so annoying. Hit the field spell. At least Fairy Box costs him 500 life points. What, what's the negative side of the field spell? Does any... Oh, the last card in Mr. Ganon's hand was, was the second field spell. It was the second field spell. This is the saddest thing I've ever seen. The baby monsters are beating the opponent. The baby monsters are beating the opponent. And Future Fusion comes through. Eclipse goes through. We're going to go ahead and get a monster back. Future Fusion might be too late to the party, but we'll see if he gets there. It just depends on if he does 2,500 burn to himself. Oh, there it is. There's the ace card. Cauldron of the Old Man. Eclipse is trying to hold the field, but the mimicking man ear bug is too strong. The fiber jar is too strong. Why even have Marshmallow in attack mode if you're not going to attack with it? It's just sitting there. This is the most evil deck in the woods. We'll see. We haven't seen all the decks yet. A lot of people are in round two. The least amount of characters were in round one. 
All right, future fusions there. 500 heal again. <laughs> Mr. Ganon's is at 10,600 life points. And the burn comes through. That's 600 burn this turn. Marshmacon does no damage to itself because for some reason it doesn't. And again, Aroma Jar goes for 500. Like, I understand why you don't attack with Globoss, but why is Marshmallow in attack mode if it's not even going to attack? And if you weren't going to set it in the first place, why is it in the deck? Also, five gods here. Five god dragon, you're about to either end this duel or <laughs> give yourself a chance to win this duel. All right, we have a set and a set. That's a lot of healing going on, and Five God was unwilling to attack. Cauldron's at, what, 900 burn now? It's getting worse. Oh, hello there! That's the end of the duel, everybody. The winner is Mr. Gannons! All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next fight. Feels bad to be the Monad right now, but don't worry. That person donated $300, so they still have a deck left in the tournament. There is still a deck left. So, we are now going to be moving on to the next fight, which is the final fight of round number one. The shortest round of the today's tournament. The next fight will be Daigo Sorano versus Black dawn now we have no idea we have no idea yeah you can do whatever you want to drama we have no idea if daigo can handle what black dawn is bringing but we're gonna find out together daigo serrano has not been seen in a very long time and it turns out he's been in the woods why is he in the woods i mean you probably could put that together yourself you don't even need help on that one all right Daigo, Daigo, Black Dawn, Black Dawn. There we go. Doo -doo, doo -doo. I can't find Black Dawn's deck. There they are. They're in the corner. All right. Let's watch it. It's time. Daigo Serrano versus Black Dawn. I'm looking for their faces as we speak. Black Dawn is ready. Daigo is ready. I am ready. Shining Angel to start the duel. Giant Trunade is not going to do much except buy you one turn. Royal Decree will buy you more, so now Giant Trunade is worth it. Uh, but since you drew two Mass Dragons, you can't really do the floater battle, and yet you want to floater battle. As long as you end on Twin Head, I guess it's okay. All right, Shining Angel comes through. Mass Dra like I said, you're, they're going to have more floaters than you. You have a Mass Dragon in your hand. You're not winning this fight, so you need to pick powerful cards. All right, Shining Angel once again. M Element Dragon, interesting, but there's no correct elements on the field, so that's not going to work. Marshmallow, of course. Yes. Many people thought Marshmallow was a good card. I mean, it still is for the invincibility, I guess. There is no Royal Decree! It was defeated! Yes! Without the Royal Decree, there's nothing that you can do. Because that Royal Decree is one of the best cards in your deck. Alright, that is pretty game-changing. Not summoning Horus level 6 makes no sense. You could have at least destroyed the face down that way. Very strange play. Marshmallow on an attack mode. Now summon Horus level 6. They've messed up. They've messed up. Put it on the field. Okay, well, you're an idiot. Yep, Daigo, you're being kind of dumb. Swords, you know what? It's Swords. Swords makes the AI dumb. We already know this. All right, Black Dawn, I don't think your deck's doing anything, even though your whole deck is based around one certain summoning style, and it's not doing it. Oh, that's three Horus level sixes in there. Oh, imagine having three in your hand with three tributes on the field and being unwilling to use a single one of them. You had three chances to get out Horus level eight a long time ago, and now you got to take on the Scrap Archfiend. And the attack comes through, and Element Dragon is dead. You already had three chances to get a, to avoid this problem. Oh, well, there's a good card, too. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Explain to me, Daigo. Explain to me why you're refusing to summon the monster that could summon a bigger monster that could beat Scrap Archfiend. I'd love to hear your theory on this. Or are you just waiting for Royal Decree? Because you had three chances anyway. You didn't have to wait. 
I've never seen him do this before. This is the first time I've ever seen Daigo not use his monsters. Like, at all. He's refusing to use any of his monsters. He's not even trying to evolve Horus level 4. The AI has broken, I guess. The AI just, its brain is not working today. Mass Dragon will get another monster. We have Element Dragon. You have a tribute right there. You have Royal Decree protecting you. There's no bats. There's no downside to this. You summon Horus. And I think Daigo's a little drunk. This is the only time in our series that he has refused to summon a monster. Every other time he summons Horus. But today he won't. Coral Dragon. Why does that game affect? I'm going to assume it has a good effect if it does that. Yep, that's a pretty good effect. And, oh, it's a tutor. And it's a tutor? What the fu Holy shit. That's a tutor? And Stardust Spark Dragon. Sure, why not? And you got Monster Aboard. And you can resummon Coral Dragon. And Coral Dragon is here. That's a lot of damage. All right, Daigo, because of your mistakes, you've lost. I I don't know what to tell you guys. I actually don't know what to tell you. He's never done that before. Not once in his life. Yeah, no, I understand that that could be the reasoning that the AI just can't think. Um, but the AI has been willing. I've seen AI be willing from the losing side with less monsters to summon a weak monster to attack a face down monster with zero attack points even when they have no other monsters to protect it so when they don't do it at all blows my mind all right let's see what daigo does this time giant true nate is uh not gonna work but it's not fine it's fine you just set twin head or summon element dragon Daigo, what's happened to you, man? You used to be the guy. But then you just... That last duel, you threw. We watched you throw for multiple turns. You will lose Twin Head. And unless you draw Horse Level 6, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. Ugh, even if you do draw Horse Level 6, it's going to be pretty rough. Let's see what he gets. UFO Turtle's not bad. You know, you can buy some time with that. At least he could try to buy some time. And that, that'll be good. Black Dawn, you're doing great, by the way. Very happy to see that. Barrett tortured his brain. Honestly, I think he did. I think that is uh, that is canon. Because he did something to him. All right, we're going to draw a card. Morphing Jar is probably a good idea. Let's be real. I, that was not a good idea. You should probably save those. Why? What? Sir? Thank you. Oh, Element Dragon. That's why. I got it. I figured it out. Well, Boku says no. Well, Boku says no. Set Morphing Jar. You disagree. Okay. All right. Now what? Harpies. Uh, you still have to deal with Element Dragon. Oh, but you... Okay, I get you now. But you made it weaker. Not weak enough to kill both, but you made it weaker. So, Horus, uh, is it your time? MST, you can get rid of the last problematic card. I would set that Noble Man, because you know what you're about to do. I would really set that noble nobleman. I have a question. Can you make a deck list of the characters from each tournament you made? Absolutely not, Daniel. Absolutely not. No way in hell. Absolutely not. Alright, Mystic Tomato comes through. And that hand is much better, but it probably won't work because you won't be willing to attack Mystic Tomato with Horus Level 4 in order to evolve it into Horus Level 6. Let's see if I'm right before I judge him too harshly. I was correct. The AI is doing the worst it's ever done. And Black Dawn summons Tuning Wear, but honestly, you're fine. Oh, yeah. See, that's more what I expect the AI to do. What it just did there, that's more what we expect. Mass Dragon is here, but he needs more Mass Dragons. He needs one more. There we go. Now you can summon Horus level 6, and there's no reason not to. Can anybody think of a reason not to right now? I can't. So let's see. Will he do it? Thank you. Oh, my God. Look at him. There's the Daigo. There's the son of a bitch. You should have played Bolts of Destruction. You were going to get level eight. He doesn't understand. He doesn't know what he's doing. At least he can negate all spells now. But monster effects still work. Thanks for following, by the way. I appreciate that.
Also, that's a massive synchro summon, so it might not matter. You might just die anyway. Oh, it's already level 6. Never mind. Oh, it's Coral Dragon. That pops a card, right? So yeah, you're done. Bye, Daigo. <laughs> Bye, Daigo. You're gonna die. Alright, Horse level 6 is gone. Monster Born... Uh, Horse level 8 is gone, I apologize. Uh, Monster Born is going to get out another Synchro Summon. We've got a level 8 Synchro Summon. What's level 8? Stardust Spark Dragon, sure. Stardust Spark Dragon is going to get... Uh, 2400, the game-winning attack. Game-winning attack goes through, and Daigo is through. The winner is Black Dawn. Black Dawn, great job. I feel like game one, you kind of got a freebie, but game two, you definitely won that. So let's go ahead and let's move on in our tournaments. Hey guys, you said you wanted main characters to lose. There you go. A main character has lost. Now we're going to go ahead and get into round two of the tournament where even more decks have been hiding. And the start of round two will be Laser Mike versus Igor. Laser Mike versus Igor. Let's see who wins between these two characters. All right. I am looking for Laser Mike, and then we will start the duel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Laser Mike is ready. I am ready. Let's do this. All right. Igor is ready. Laser Mike is ready. I am ready. So this hand, I don't... I, this is a deck I don't know at all. So I'm afraid I cannot really comment on it. Graceful Charity, that's a card I know. That is a card I've seen before just because of uh, ABC stuff. Yep. Swords is a very valuable card. It makes the AI not play Horus. Crazy effect, I know, but... It specifically says on swords, do not play horse. That's the only thing I can think of. <laughs> what, what happened with what happened last duel? Diddy Warrior Lady comes through and Honest says you're going to die. And that is correct. You are going to die. That monster wanted to die though because it will just come back. Good to know. I didn't know that. So that Honest was wasted. Trap card shall activate and it's gone. A lot of tributes there, but I don't think uh, your cards wants to be activated. We have ourselves a set. Sure, sure. That looks like the monster I made the boss on the cover, just because it was like the highest level thing. Shining Angel is here with one of the Wyvern cards. And the attacks go through and they're successful. Very nice. So are you going to activate any cards in your hand or are you just going to sit here looking like nothing? There we go. All right, at least we summon that and it's gone. They both had TT though, because look, one has it in the hand, one has it over there. You could special summon one union monster from your hand? Like what? Another one? You had two? Your mom lets you have two of those? What the hell? All right, what else you got? 1200 attack, okay. Is that the one that makes you a token? Yep. And that's it for that. So that uh, ABC stuff ain't working so well. Must uh, must not lie to you. Not working so well. And we're going to activate a spell card by throwing away this card. God says no! Before the spell could activate, it will be saying no. And you will be getting stopped. All right. With the power of God, all you have is a token, which is very sad. And your opponent, Laser Mike, has Morphin Jar! New hands for everybody! And the new hand gets the Field Spell. And the Field Spell gets a Assault Core, a 1900 Beater Monster. A Assault Core will be getting TT'd, though. Alright, TT is going to hit it. Union Hanger has no effect to activate. And this lets you special... Oh, no, it lets you search. Alright, you have an Assault Core in your hand now. And a Trap. But you have a brand new hand there, Igor. All you got to do is summon. 1800 attack goes through. Beautiful. And more sets. Beautiful. A Assault Core is strong enough. And now it has a unionized attachment, which I don't know what the attachments do, but it's there. 
That monster will just summon it again. Call of the Haunted comes through. Call of the Haunted summons this monster. We have a tribute. There's two of them now. Attack goes through. Otis says no. That almost uh, ended the duel right there, so thankfully you did that. A spell card will be obtained. And we have another 2300 beater monster. Don't worry, Procoli. You've only missed ha uh, the first round of the tournament, which was not that long. All right, we throw in away one of these, and we're going to summon the ABC Dragon Buster Boss Monster. What does ABC Dragon Buster do, though? Other than 700 damage and have 200 better stats than the others. It's a quick banish effect. Gotcha. Quick banish. Good to know. So it's basically a better version of VWXYZ, and with 200 more attack and defense than XYZ Dragon Cannon. Good to know. Preparation of rights. Okay, we're going to use this to get the monster card. And we got ourselves the ritual spell, which the AI refuses to use. I guess it did attempt to use it once, but it uh, did not work, thanks to God. Cyber Jar in attack mode, a classic uh, staple of Master Duel. And that is the end of the duel. With 1,400 life points, Laser Mike has won. Now let's go ahead and uh, get into game number two. Sorry, Igor. It's not working out for you. It's not working out. The Cyber Jar beatdown works every time. Pot of Greed's a really good start, though. The TT can help you out. Let's see what else you get. Magic Cylinder can help you out. There's some value here. Laser Mark starts with a Assault Core. It's gone. And two trap cards. Those two traps might make the difference because let's see if this monster gets summoned. It's the invincible monster, right? Yep, that's the one that I think is invincible because it came back the last time it got destroyed. All right, 1,800 damage is not enough though. What else you got? Just some set. Okay, not, not the best. Not the best. And attack goes through. Magic Cylinder does its job. 1800 damage, very nice. Shining Angel is here, and that's a lot of deflected damage. Laser Mike has taken some damage here and has left themselves open. Oh no, I hope the opponent doesn't ritual summon. Oh wait, the AI refuses to. <laughs> and the attack goes through. Shining Angel will get out another monster. It's DD Warrior Lady. DD Warrior Lady will at least be able to banish one of these annoying cards, but we'll see. Shining Angel is here as well. 300 damage to itself, but it does get rid of the monster. And there's 700 damage again. Lots of deflected damage in this one duel. Yeah, welcome to my world when I have to do deck building. Breaks my goddamn heart every time. Every goddamn time. Harpy's Feather Duster comes through. And will destroy the opponent's magic cylinder. Morphing Jar is big. That is a big game changer. Morphing Jar gets the union. This is what happened last time. A Assault Core has been searched. A Assault Core is on the field. Union Hanger is going to give him an attachment. And that's a lot of back row. That is four back row. You could preparation of rights, not like you're going to use it. Yep, not like you're going to use it. You know another thing that the AI refuses to use? They refuse to use monster-specific fusions. Like, uh, they won't use the guy, the Fierce Knight fusion. They won't use the Blue Eyes Ultimate fusion. They won't use the Ghost fusion. They, they refuse to use fusion cards. All right, a Assault Core returns to the field, but that's the same monster, isn't it? Don't you want a different monster? Like, like that one. All right, just to let you know, you can summon your boss whenever you want. Or, 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 you could throw all of this away in order to destroy three defense mode monsters. Understandable. You're at least going to fuse on main phase two, right? That's a lot of deflected damage. Thank God, they know how to fuse on main phase two. It's okay. It's, it's at least willing to do that much. It could have been much worse. That could have been much worse. It could use Miracle Fusion, but it can't use most of the other ones.
All right, God says no. Solemn judgment, there we go. I have no clue, dummy gamer. I have no clue. Just know that if they are if they are special looking fusion cards, the AI typically won't use it. There are some they use like Miracle Fusion, but most of the time they say they just don't. And there we go. Oh my god, that's a lot of good stuff right there. Are you going to use it to special summon another one? Okay, we're going for the Banish effect. How often can they... It's once per turn? Okay, it's once per turn. That's fine. Is this going to be enough damage? No, you've almost killed yourself. You win! Igor, all you have to do is attack Morphing Jar and you win the duel. All you have to do is attack Morphing Jar. Go into attack mode! You can do it, Igor! You can do it! No, Igor! You need something stronger! It, it's right there! Your victory, it's right there! All you have to do is 100 damage! No! The Morphing Jar! In 18 turns, the duel is over. Laser Mike has won. Igor has disappointed. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next characters. It looks like Laser Mike will be moving into top 16 of our tournament. Top 16. So let's go ahead and let's see who's up next. The next duelist in today's tournament will be... Let's move Laser Mike forward. Caesar versus Random Gamer. Caesar versus Random Gamer. Let's see what happens. I wish you a lot of luck, Caesar. I respect your deck, but goddamn, do I wish you luck. All right, let's see here. Random Gamer is ready to go. Caesar is going to be ready to go. I just need to find their deck. Yep, Caesar is ready to go. Let's go ahead and see who wins. Random Gamer is ready. Caesar is ready. I am ready. Zombie Monster banishes itself to get Zombie World immediately. Makes a lot of sense. Harpy's Feather Duster comes through. Harpy's Feather Duster will destroy. We have ourselves two monsters already on the field. Amazing start from Caesar. The best Harpy's Feather Duster you're ever going to see. And we have the field spell. Very nice. Looks like Random Gamer's going to need to make some plays now. And it will. They will. Putting that back in the deck to set that card. And they're just going to set. Okay, not as good. Not as good as you'd hope. And we got one of these cards. And we got three monsters now. Interesting choice. Terrible choice, but uh, interesting. Grandmaster goes in for 21. And Caesar is one turn away from victory. Pyramid of Wonders can try to stall. But go oh, nope. Dark Bribe says no. You ain't stalling for crap. You're not going to give your monster one turn of or one attack of invincibility. Oh, wait, that might have been better. Oh, no. Well, hold up. Oh, boy. We got a synchro, everybody. There's no other reason to do this, right? We have ourselves a synchro Shokun. And the synchro monster shall be the Immortal Dragon. With 2,400 defense, you're going to struggle. And now we're going to get a level... Wait, level 9? There's a level 9 synchro? We have Red Eye, Zombie Dragon, and it does some damage. Okay, you need Shogun. Oh, it's level 10. Okay, level 10, good. DD Warrior Lady, oh my god, wait a minute. With the DD Warrior Lady, wait, that card has an effect too? Sure, sure, Caesar wins duel number one. Number one goes to Caesar. Let's go ahead and let's do this again. Immortal dragon to zombie? Gotcha, gotcha. A lot of tuner dragons I'm learning about. All right. 
1-0 in Master Duel. That's right, Caesar. You're 1-0 in Master Duel so far. Pyramid of Wonders is here. The monster to get Zombie World is here. I wonder, will you get Harpies on the first turn again? Because I believe that's what gave you so much momentum. Let's see if you get lucky again. Holy shit! He Wait, this guy's actually doing it! This guy actually gets Harpies! He's got Rhoda! He's got Zanji! Zanji is here. Zanji goes for 1800. I feel so bad for Random Gamer. Your heart must be broken after losing all your support twice. Gozuki can at least use its effect though. Gozuki gets rid of Plague Spreader in order to combo. This is the best play you've got. And it will Synchro Summon. So this is good. This is good, Random Gamer. Your deck has more speed than the, this uh, old school deck. So you're good there. Doom Kaiser's going in for uh, damage. And as long as there's no Grandmaster, Xi'an's not a possibility. The Shogun is not coming. So you got nothing to worry about. Yep, exactly. When they set, they sweat. The zombie is here. Doom Kaiser holds the field. You can Harpies for safety. Life is good. Harpies for safety. What card did you just hit? Call the Haunted. Not the craziest hit in the world. All right. Now, what else he got? Just setting and sweating. Yep, setting and sweating. Mizuki's very good top deck. All right, Mizuki is here. The monster is dead. Most of the six sands are going to the grave. 2,400 damage will be dealt. What the hell are you going to do now? You need a dark hole, in my opinion. No. Getting the double harpies may have been lucky, but it turns out as long as your opponent synchro summons, you're in danger. And we have the red eye zombie dragon. Mizuki combos. And we have Gozuki. Gozuki combos. And we have Plague Spreader. Plague Spreader combos. And we have ourselves a Synchro Summon. Level 8 this time. And the level 8 Synchro shall be Skeletal Dragon. And Skeletal Dragon will get rid of the monster, banishing it. And the attack is good. The attack is good. And the game winning attack is good. The winner is Random Gamer. We're going to game three, everybody. Let's see who wins. Will it be the OG Six Sam deck or the faster Synchro Summoning Zombie deck? Let's see what happens. Heart of the cards. Interesting cards to draw. No zombie world this time, but you know, you got that weird new monster. Gozuki combo, very. Ooh, that, never mind. You got your zombie world. You still made it happen. Okay. How will you answer, Caesar? Your opponent has started very good. With Zanji, the zombie version of Zanji. All right. Two traps at least, but they're not going to last, I'm afraid. Zombie Master is good. Harpies comes through. The trap. Oh, nope. Dark Bribe says you're not touching my other trap. Apparently, it has a lot of value. That other trap is very valuable. And you know what's going to happen. Zombie Master into Gozuki. Oh, no. We're, uh, no, I was incorrect. My apologies. Plague Spreader comes through. Plague Spreader is going to get out a Synchro Summon. A level 10 Synchro Summon to be exact. And the level 10 Synchro Monster shall be Red Eye Zombie Dragon Lord. Gozuki is going to use its effect once again in order to summon that card. And TT. Wow! That was the most patient TT from the AI I've ever seen. The best TT in the game. And with that, we summon Iroh. And Iroh does 1,700. With one more trap card. I am, I am very surprised the AI waited. They waited for that TT. Interesting. Random Gamer's in a little bit of trouble now. And that's two, but there's no Shogun, so there's nothing to worry about. Iroh has an effect. It popped it without letting it flip, so there was no effect activated. And they attack again, apparently. Wow, that was fair. <laughs> that's a lot of fairness right there. All right, heart of the cards. You need Goku. Oh, Plague Spreader into a revive, maybe? You don't have that. I know, the AI actually being smart blows my mind, too. We have ourselves uh, Stand Reunited. Breaker the Magical Warrior could actually break some stuff if it wants. Plague Spreader goes away, and it looks like there's a chance. 
It's over! Wait, spell card. I knew it. I was going to say that spell has to do something, right? Wait, has Breaker attacked yet? No! It's over! Caesar will move on to top 16 in the tournament. Sorry, Random Gamer. Didn't work out. Old, as old school as six amps can be, and with a little extra fun stuff in there, it's still one. Sorry, Random Gamer. Level 10 doesn't beat perfectly timed TT and perfectly timed Harpies. All right, let's go ahead and let's move on in the tournament. The next duel will be Rika versus Astra Solaris. Rika will be a new character since uh, they were only in round two. Astra, we've seen once before. So let's uh, give a good look to these characters and see what happens. Rika versus Astra. Where? Okay, where was Astra again? I, I don't remember. My brain no good. Oh, found it. All right, let's do this, guys, and let's see what happens. Astra versus Rika. Now, Rika, I believe this is Squall's deck. All right. There we go. And we have ourselves the Dragon Lords or whatever. They're doing their job. I wish you a lot of luck, Astra. You're going to need it. You are you are going to need it. Or Dragon Rulers. Yeah, that's the, that's the name for them. And we throw away two more. Random Gamer, thank you so much for helping us reach our goal by gifting 150 subs. I know you didn't just gift 150, but your gift sub was very kind. And we have Sanctuary in the Sky, which is a great start. Mystical Shine Ball, which is interesting to put on the field. Uh, we throw away an Agent card. Master Hyperion! Hyperion has been obtained, which is pretty valuable. And we even have a Trap card. Kitty girl, what's up? Come on. Come hang out. Yeah, I love you too. How are you doing today? How are you doing today? All right. Well, Divine Punishment says negate that effect. Whatever you just tried to do, no. Granted, Dragon Rulers will just activate 10 more effects, but nice try anyway. All right. And Dragon Rulers activate this in order to get out the card that can defeat Master Hyperion. And these two cards activate their effects, and we'll see what happens there. Get ourselves a monster we can normal summon, unless you just use it for its effect. And Rusty went away. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to see. We got ourselves the water version now. Looks like Master Hyperion doesn't stand a chance. And it's gone. Master Hyperion has fallen. All that's left is a shine ball of mysticness. And we got an agent card to get another Hyperion. Oh, no, it gets any agent, agent card. It just did not want Hyperion, apparently. And we're going to go ahead and do that. And we're going to go ahead and do that. And nothing? Okay. Dragon Rulers, get ready to resubbin yourselves. Oh my god, what do you want? I left you food. You have plenty of food. You just want love? You just want love. She just wants love, everybody. This is Roxy, girl. You know Roxy. How are you doing today? You doing okay? Watch the duel. Look at these people. They're playing with Dragon Rulers. All right. What else you got? You need something way stronger. Where's your Hyperion? Play Monster Reborn. Oh, there's Hyperion. I mean, it's the wrong one, but hey, at least it's something you can special summon. Oh, there's Monster Reborn. Hey, I was just talking about you. Now we're going to throw away some cards. We're going to get ourselves uh, another monster. Oh, I'm going to be kitty. And there it is. Roxy, do you have anything to say? You want to talk to the fan? You want to be quiet? She's happy. She's happy. Master Hyperion has been stolen. We normal summon the Dragon Ruler Man. And the Sanctuary in the Sky is holding on for dear life. Did Roxy make a deck for the tournament? No way. No way. My cats will not be in the tournament. Just like how I am not in the tournament, we will not take place. Only the people that donated the big bucks. They get to they get to be in the tournament. I remember Cat Chan, and eventually we'll get to Cat Chan. Getting closer and closer to that time period. 
not counting today's tournament, which is taking place in its own sort of reality. Which, for those of you that watched the intro, kind of got that idea from. Alright, well, we're going to go ahead and banish for this card again, but we're going to start doing damage, so it's not going to work out so much. Mass Dragon, you could just normal summon that. You don't even have to do what you're about to do. Alright, Redox is back. There we go. I, like I said, you can just normal summon that. Hyperion can't stand up to it, and a lot of monsters are going in. Master Hyperion, the stolen, has been used. And that is it, everybody. The winner will be Squall in duel number one. Great job, Rika. Alright, let's go ahead and let's get into duel number two and see if Rika can do it again, or if Astra Solaris will make a comeback. Too many decks for me to remember? Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. I don't remember crap. There's just too many. All right. What do we got? Nova Summoner and a set. But no Sanctuary in the Sky this time. That's a bad sign. Sanctuary in the Sky kind of gives your effects some meaning. Or gives your cards some meanings. All right. Well, Blaster's here. Hi, Blaster. We're going to summon Tempest next? Nope. Blaster's good enough, but Nova Summoner wants that. Hey, thank you so much for following. I appreciate that. But Nova Summoner wants that, because now it could just be used to special summon. Oh, you're very easy today. Usually you just sleep in the corner, but today you're awake. Why? Why are you so awake? All right. Now let's see if this person can get Master Hyperion, because if they don't, they're going to lose. Master Hyperion is their only hope. All right, we're gonna get a special summon him right now for sure. We're gonna throw away a couple cards. Yep, goodbye. Tempest returns and Tempest can do the job. Blaster and then we'll search out two monsters from the deck, very easy. Ow, okay, Roxy. Rox Roxy, that's the microphone. Ow. Your claws are digging into the shirt. I am not made of fur, I have skin. Skin does not do good against claws. I know cats have the fur and it kind of helps, but I don't have that armor. And this shirt is not good armor. Alright, we're gonna just live like this, I guess. If you can't hear me, I don't care. <laughs> Tempest, here we go. Roxy has taken over the channel. She is in a very good mood. She's very happy. Yes, that is a microphone. I don't think they like that. I don't know if you could rub the microphone. They might, they might make a noise. I don't know if that makes a noise for the people at home. Alright. You, you have a bed over there. You can sleep in your bed. It's way more comfortable than trying to balance on my chest. My chest is not, uh... It's not making noises, thank God. My chest is not going to be very comfortable. I promise. I promise. It's not going to be very comfortable. Roxy, I can't... I can't see you. What's happening? <laughs> What's happening in the duel? I can't see. Is it Dragon Ruler special summoning themselves like four times every turn? Let's count. Everyone start counting. I heard a noise. That's one. What else? What else is happening? That doesn't sound like the summon noise. Nope, only one. I only heard one. All right, 1,600 damage. That's good. I can see the top of the screen. The life point says 34 now. Oh, and there we go. That's how you rip my chest. Okay. Whew. Cats are painful. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and summon uh, Blaster to the other side of the field. And this agent card is going to get uh, another agent card. And unless you're willing to crash... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. And that is probably the end of the duel, I'm afraid. I'm afraid that Astro Solaris, you did get a win today, but I think that your win streak is over. They can even Dark Hole for game if they wanted to. You could Dark Hole and just summon and you win. Alright, that's going to be the end of the duel. The winner shall be... Raika. Good job, Raika. Now let's go ahead and let's get into the next fight of the tournament. Let's see who's up next. So the next characters that will be performing in our tournament of the woods will be... Oh, man. 
Uh, Gabe Green. The next character will be Gabe Green. And Gabe Green will be fighting Gecko Hibiki, a character we did already see fight. All right, Gabe Green and Gecko Hibiki. Let's go find those characters right now. Where are these people? Now, Gabe Green is not dueled yet, so that means that uh, we don't really have much information on their deck. And uh, Gecko has dueled, and by the last name Hibiki, you can already guess which deck they're using. All right, all right, all right. Gecko, Gecko, where are you, you son of a bitch? And not you, Gecko, but the, the deck itself. Where are you? Gecko, Gecko. Gecko. Yep, found you. Okay. Top, bottom left corner. Gotcha. Gecko and Gabe. Both of you are G names, so I should be able to find both of them next to each other. All right, I found Gecko, and they're good to go. And I found Gabe. All right, we're good to go. Thank God. Hot Agree comes through. We have ourselves a set and a cry. Set cry, very understandable. And there's another monster. And there's another monster. That's a lot of deflected damage that didn't need to happen. And all you have left is a Rota. What are you going to do with the Rota? Command Knight. Okay, here we go. Premature into Command Knight. And then you beat the Thunder King, which means you can start Synchro Summoning later. This is good. This is exactly what you wanted. All right. Great play from Gabe Green. All right, Rhoda is nice. What else you got? Skyscraper, what? Okay, with Skyscraper, we defeat the Night Greffer, whatever its name is. And that is gonna be it, Three, triple traps. You need hero signal. You need hero signal. Oh, God says no, everybody. Call out your God emotes, where are they? Attack comes through, let's see if the trap is. Not hero signal, of course not. God may have said no, but your life point said please no. And we have another trap card. And we have another monster. And we have a mirror force. And they're gone forever. Yep. Yep. Welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh. All right, what else you got? Pot of Greed. Pot of Greed is a card, yes. And we have Harpies to destroy one trap card. And that one trap card is Spirit Force. And 1,300 damage goes through. And we're going to Mass Change. And we get Diane. And Diane will do 28. Oh, never mind. That's busted. It's only once per turn, right? Please tell me it's only once per turn. Oh, Form Change isn't, though. And that's the end of Duel. The winner is Gecko Hibiki. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and get into game number two and see if Gecko will do the same thing or if our buddy Gabe here will get a little luckier. Yu-Gi-Oh, where dreams come to die. No, they come to, they, they go to the woods. That's where they end up going. There's no death in my stories. There's only the woods. And what lies beyond them. All right, Pot of Greed comes through. And we got ourselves a lot of power here. And we got ourselves a lot of power. That's a 3K beater. And Honest Neo says, I don't care. 3K is not enough. <laughs> 3K is not enough. That's a lot of attack points to just be saying no. One card is better than all three of yours. Monster Reborn will steal the monster. Oh, no. Honest is in the grave. Might as well just use that. Yep. The Murder Mystery. Oh, no, no, no. The guy, he died, but... You don't end up, it's not death. It, you just you just go to the woods. And then what comes beyond? And that's 5,000 per game. The winner is Gecko Hibiki. Gecko, you'll be moving into top 16. All right. Now let's go ahead and let's see who's up next. The next characters that we'll be fighting. 
uh, in our tournament will be Dummy Gamer versus Alex. We have seen Alex duel before, but now it's time to see what Dummy Gamer can do. Very funny name, by the way. Dummy Gamer is a funny name. A couple people use Gamer in their name, but that one, that one I like. That one is funny. All right. Looking around, looking around. Dummy's in here somewhere. Given that this is a longer tournament, I'm doing my best to save my voice. I'm doing everything I can to not get super crazy. That way I can make it to the later rounds <laughs> without without having a no voice. I kind of messed it up after Battle City. I really messed up my voice after Battle City. So let's see. I'm having trouble finding Dummy Gamer, but they're in here somewhere, so don't you worry. My speed is just too fast. There they are. My speed was just too fast. And Dummy Gamer will be finding Alex, so let's go find Alex now. I think that is Alex. Okay, I found Alex. We're good to go. Oh, Battle City was 100% worth it. I mean, hell, Battle City is the reason we're having our tournament today. The woods would have never happened without Battle City. And it would not have happened without the people like you. Wait, wait, wait what's that old PBS thing? Ah, uh, crap. There's the old PBS lines. It's like... Without people like you or contributors like you, thank you. It's I, I can't remember. It's so it's been so long. It's been so long since I watched PBS. I used to watch that uh, from when I was one to when I was nine because we didn't have cable as a kid. All right, so I need help. I know Dummy Gamer is one of these. I think it's the one we're watching, and the other person is Alex. There we go. Alex. There we go. Look at the thousand dragon. Yep, I see it. I see it. Without viewers like you. Thank you. Thank you, Reaper. See, that's that's my memory that I lost. I need that back. I definitely need that back. Dummy Gamer, your situation seems to be very nice right now. Thousand Dragon now has 2100 attack and is a massive level 7 monster. You gave your character a name? I, I just must have missed it somehow, Rodrigo. I'm, I apologize. That's a shame. If I, if I missed anything, then I do apologize. Apparently, there was a lot of trouble with social media. Like, Twitter was terrible. Never got notified of anything. Like, never. And uh, apparently, Twitch chat does... Or, Twitch whispers only work sometimes. Because sometimes, they'll just ignore whatever you put. Also, Thousand Dragon wins the duel. The winner is Gummy... Uh, gummy? <laughs> gummy Gamer. That's also a good name. Dummy Gamer. All right. Let's go ahead and get into game number two. There we go. If your characters stay in the series, yes. But I will not confirm whether or not your characters stay in the series. You'll just have to w randomly see them appear someday. Supply Squad is a very good start. I think this is a much better start for Alex here. Twin-Headed Behemoth comes through. Twin-Head's gonna not even come close to destroying that monster. But Raigeki will. Raigeki sure as hell will. All right. Twin head, you're just going to need to sit there and look real powerful. That's all I got to say. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, Anime Max. I hope you have fun today watching uh, our Woods Tournament. The Immortal Bushy. I know that card. Or Bushy. That card is pretty uh, helpful. Power Pro Night Sisters is back. Very defensive cards. 2400 defense seems like way too much. The attack goes through. Supply Squad comes through. The attack goes through. 1,500 damage. Anything else? The Immortal Bushy is that right? Geki! Oh, my God. And that is it. The oh, God, it's over. Alex is going ham. We got ourselves a level 6 Synchro. It's the Goyo Guardian. And with Warrior returning alive, we got the Landstar. And with Landstar, you got no chance. And Mirror Force go. Yep, Mirror Force saves the day. But Supply Squad wants Mirror Force. It begs for it. Twin Head's like, don't worry, I won't leave you alone. That's the one Twin Head you're going to get in this duel. We're going to summon another Twin Head for 2,500 damage. And by one twin head, I mean one twin head effect. 
All right, you're at 4K, Alex. Come on, you can't lose this duel. You can't lose this duel. Where's the synchro? Snatch deal, wait a minute. Is that allowed? That's a synchro! Everybody say hello to the level eight boss monster. It's time for the Colossal Fighter. Alex brings out the strongest card in their deck and it tears apart the opponent. That dragon just got its wings ripped off by Colossal Fighter's giant hands. That's a hell of a card though. Yep, Dark Hole says no. <laughs> and Dark Hole says no. Dummy Gamer, you got a monster right there. Let's see if you're gonna summon it. Oh, finally! It turns out they will use it. The Ring of Destruction uses Destruction Dragon. Destruction Dragon pops the card and the damage is good. 1,000 life points remain. Thank God they know how to use the card. Interesting that we don't get to see what it is. Alex, I'm afraid this might be your last turn, so make it count. Supply Squad. Synchro Summon. Oh, Goyo can beat it. It needed. It doesn't have enough attack. It has enough defense. Oh, Guy Knight the Force, sure. Guy Knight could do good too. Guy Knight does do good. And Destruction Dragon has been destroyed. The question is, will you be able to do enough damage? A thousand burn is all you need. Does Thousand Dragon do a thousand Tyrant Wing? Oh no! It's not enough! It's only 22! Uh oh. Gaia. Valkyria. What? What? Sir? Sir? Oh, he's getting Colossal Fighter! He did that on purpose! He Synchro Summons Colossal Fighter from the grave! It looks like he did that, that's why I'm saying it. Colossal Fighter has returned! Alex isn't leaving! It didn't activate the effect. I don't know. AI is going to be AI. Attack goes through. 3,100 attack. This entire duel will be decided by a top deck. Dummy Gamer, what will you draw? Oh, shit. All right. Heart of the cards time. Let's see what happens. The top deck of the gods is here. You need a trap now, Alex. You need a damn trap. Whoa, wait, no, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, that'll do it. BLS will do it. Thousand Dragon be damned, BLS will do it. All right, that was fun. <laughs> that was fun while it lasted. We're going to game three, guys. We're going to game three. Tore apart is here. BLS is like, I can just win by doing this. And game winning attack goes through. That is it. Uh, I don't know about that, Alexi, but they did put burn cards in their deck. A couple people did. So we're going to go into game three. We're going to see who wins. Alex and Dummy Gamer have pretty even decks. You know, both their decks can do some stuff. But sadly, Thousand Dragon only activates effects its effect when it feels like it. Because it did in the first duel. Second duel didn't feel like it. All right. We're just going to go ahead and summon set. Bracelet Charity will begin the duel. Alex throws away Junk Synchron and Supply Squad. Supply Squad will be played. Dear God. <laughs> Holy crap. What Harpies and you win the duel, dummy gamer. But there's no Harpies here. And Fang of Critias, everybody. It's time for Tyrant Burst Dragon, the boss monster. The boss monster goes in and it's too weak. Yep, that makes sense. Oh, that was nice while it lasted. Tyrant Burst Dragon just did not do it. MST can pop one of those cards. Burden would be good to get rid of. Yep. Burden of the Mighty is gone. That's four powerful monsters on the field. Scrap Iron says no. All right, Tyrant Burst, you're kind of just going to sit there. The Raigeki of all Raigekis! Everything is gone! 1,200 damage will be dealt. That is brutal. That is a brutal way to lose your cards. Twin Head becomes back. Oh, you could tribute. Thank God Twin Head came back. You got your tribute summon, but we already know the face down. That was a weird choice. You didn't have to do that, but you did it. <laughs> And defense mode. See, it didn't matter. Scrap Iron would have stopped the attack anyway, but still. Interesting. The Fang of Critias gets the final dragon. That's all three. 
We got to see Mirror Force Dragon. We got to see Tyrant Dragon. And we got to see the other one. Oh my god, he can negate it? Destroy all your cards your opponent controls? Mirror Force Dragon just activated its, its effect. Whoa! Mirror Force Dragon wipes out the field! Mirror Force Dragon has done it, everybody! Oh yeah, we're missing Crush Card. He does have that. He does have that. Good point, though. BLS the top deck of top decks! Oh my god! The top deck of top decks holds the field. BLS saves the day. But it can't target Mirror Force Dragon. Mirror Force Dragon's like, do it. I want you to do it. Target me. Come on, I'm right here. Target me. We have ourselves a set. Curry Bandit. Hey, speaking of uh, the other card. All right, we got rid of the Swordsman card. Supply Squad's like, thank you. Curry Bandit is here. Curry Bandit's like, I have an idea. Ring of Destruction. I would get Ring of Destruction. Yep. The game agreed with me. Yeah, I don't know how bit, how long this standstill is gonna last. I think uh, I think it's not gonna work out so much. When with Ring of Destruction, oh, ho, ho, duel's over. Yep, that is the end of this duel. Ring of Destruction will deal with BLS. The other Ring of Destruction could do whatever the hell it wants, as far as I'm concerned. And there we go, three thousand burn both ways. Mirror Force Dragon does uh, have a chance now to just go in there. Warrior returning alive? No way. No, don't tell me. Marauding Captain will be used. Marauding Captain gets Rose, and that's a level 7 Synchro Summon. The level 7 Synchro Monster needs to be pretty damn good. Its name is Driven Daredevil, a card used by an anime character. Driven Daredevil will have to hold the field with its minor 24. No! Heavy Storm says no! Heavy Storm makes you lose! The Kaiser, the Tyrant, the freaking Dragon. Mirror Force Dragon wins the duel. The winner is Dummy Gamer. Both characters did really good today, but Dummy Gamer will be the one to advance into top 16. Both characters did good, though. Respect to everybody. All right. We're going to be moving back to our bracket. The next people that will be fighting are... Jonas versus Bulbmins. Jonas will be taking on Bulbmins in the next duel, and let's see how these characters do. All right. All right. Where are you, Jonas? Venture. One of the best characters I've ever seen written. He's in here somewhere, don't you worry. I've seen him. Yep, there he is. All right, we're good to go. Let's see what happens. Who will be the winner? Will it be Jonas or Bulbmans? I, I honestly, the AI decides. The AI decides how good or bad a duel is going to be. All right, Jonas is ready. Bulbmans is ready. And let's see. Rota. Tuning and one for one are all good starts. Quick draw is a smart choice in this situation. One for one is interesting. Quill Bolt was a great choice. Quill Bolt special summons itself. Doppel, Doppel Warrior special summons itself. And we have an early synchro summon. Level five. We have Junk Speeder. Junk Speeder is going to get Topple Tokens. And we got a Gent Synchron, a Junk Synchron, and a Quick Draw Synchron. Junk Synchron is going to get a Special Summon. Junk Warrior, sure. And Junk Warrior is going to get a nice buff for 2800. Junk Speeder's effect activates, it outspeeds the opponent apparently. And that is a very good turn. 
Also, quick draw. Also, we're going to throw that away for a jet. I would have kept that other card, because if they have Raigeki or Dark Hole, you just messed up. Monju. All right, we're going to go with Monju. Monju gets Shinado. You got to love Shinado. Advance Ritual Art, the strongest ritual card to ever exist back in the day. Not anymore. When it comes to a base attack, this was the beast. Shinado, king of a higher plane, and it will defeat the Junk Warrior. The only problem is that uh, we still got to deal with the rest of this crap. <laughs> but Shinado is a good top deck. Junk Synchron is a very good top deck. Junk Synchron will bring back a Doppel, to uh, Doppel Warrior to get more tokens. We have ourselves a Synchro Summon. This Synchro Summon will be level 6. This is called Stardust Assault Warrior. We're going to get another Synchro Summon. We have TG Hyper, Li Hyper uh, Librarian. Kind of a weird timing, but you know what? It works with uh, Mr. Quick Draw over there. I would have done, I would have done him first, get Hyper Librarian first, but whatever. And Junk Berserker, sure. You can make whatever the hell you want, game. I don't care. <laughs> Junk Berserker is gonna throw away a card to nerf the opponent's monster because they weren't gonna beat it otherwise. Yep, has zero attack now. And that's direct attacks. That's game. The winner of duel number one will be Boldman's. All right, let's go ahead and move into game number two. Sorry, Jonas, didn't work out for you. You at least got to summon Shinado. That was pretty cool. Now, in game number two, how is this going to work? Pikmin power. They do work with your Pikmin. Bulbmins are your friends. I had to cut out his leaf, but you can see the back attachment he has. Potter Greed was thrown. That sucks. And that's fine. Quick draw will just sit there, waiting. Monju again. Okay, what are we getting? Advanced Ritual Art, so we have no clue. It's happening, though. The Ritual Summon comes through. And with these two monsters, we could summon the almighty level 7 legendary Flame Lord. And with Sanctuary, that's one spell counter. We need more. We need more. That's only one spell counter so far. Tuning wear does work. You can synchro whatever you want. Level 7, level 6, your call. Level 7 it is. Junk Berserker is a good choice. It can defeat the legendary Flame Lord. That's also good. This works. Double Summon is interesting because you get Junk Synchron now. You get Tuning Wear, which can get you a level 5, and you refuse to. Strange, but whatever. And now you're going to need to think of something else. Legendary Flame Lord's cool, but he didn't get his three counters and didn't have a chance. Okay, that's not a good sign. Not a good sign for Jonas here. One for one is useless. No Synchro again. Very strange. Warrior of Zera is dead. Oh, it's only level one. Good point. Good point. Thank you. That's fine, though. Rhoda comes through. Warrior of Zera will work if you happen to have the other Zera card. It does not. They do not. They do not have the Zera card they need with Sanctuary in the Sky. How about now? Wait, one for one? What are we going to get with that? Okay. Here we go, everybody. It's time for the... It's formula, right? It'd be formula. The Formula Synchron. Tuning wear is going to get you a card. Formula is going to draw you a card. Jet's going to do something too. All right. We get that card. We get to draw a card. We get that card. Junk Converter is going to use its effect to get Junk Synchron. Quick Bolt. Uh, Quill Bolt is going to come through. Doppel is going to come through. We're going to Synchro Summon for level 5. We're going to get Hyper Librarian, which makes sense if you plan to Synchro Summon a little more. But how will you do so? Is that level 4? Level 5? Level 5. And the level 5 Synchro is Junk Speeder. Hyper Librarian's like, thank you for that. Junk Speeder's here. Quick Draw and Jet are here. Tuning is here. 
Synchro Summon again. This time we're going to make... Is it going to be Formula Synchron? It's going to be Formula Synchron, isn't it? And we got another Formula Synchron. What more do you want? All right. A billion for uh, Formula Synchrons are here. Right. Oh! Excel Synchro! The massive, the ultimate shooting Quasar Dragon! The strongest card in Boldman's deck, the boss monster. And it's going in for game. Attack, attack, Quasar attacks, Quasar attacks. That is it, everybody. And Boldman's has summoned Quasar for the first time in our series. All right, there we go. That was 8,000 damage from one monster. Let's, uh, Jonas, I hope you enjoyed your, your tournament. I'm sorry, the randomization just did not, you know, did not like you. Your deck is weak enough to be in the series, though. I could I could tell. It's weak enough. You remind me of a Slifer Red from Tag Force that I've dueled a couple times. He's one of the better Slifer Red duelists. All right, let's go ahead and let's move on to the next uh, fight. Baldmans will move forward. The next fight will be Yayoi Hazama versus Bernog. All right, Yayoi Hazama versus Bernog. Let's see. Yayoi has not fought yet, so we'll see what their deck does. Bernog has fought, and we got to see some of their combos. All right, I got one character ready. Yeah, Yoi Hazama. Gotcha. And let's do, uh, let me, let's see what's up next. Yeah, Yoi, let's see how you do. Oh, that's not Yao Yoi. This one's Yao Yoi. Bernog's on the other side. There we go. And we're good to start. Let's see what happens. MST comes through. They could have fused, by the way. They chose not to. They chose not to first turn fuse, which is very heartbreaking. Sometimes the AI will not fuse on the first turn. Sometimes. Oh, speaking of the devil. There we go. And that's going to cost you, buddy. The damage goes through for 3,700. That is quite a lot. Monster Reborn. Okay. So what you could do is you can Monster Reborn Gazelle and play Polly. I recommend it. No! Why? Why? You have everything you need. Just play Paul. Oh my. Okay, this works too. This works too. Weird way to do it, but it works. All right, everyone. Say hello to the all-powerful... Chimera, the flying mythical beast. It can even defeat the Thunder Nyan Yan. All right, Thunder Nyan Yan comes through to take on Yaoyoi Hazama. Hazama, think of something. Yes, <laughs> good thinking, but you still have to deal with the next turn due to future fusion. Also, that card will just summon two more, so nice try. We'll summon one more, nice try. Attack goes through and goodbye, Gazelle. You at least get your future fusion off, though. King of the Swamp. Beautiful. Beautiful card. Love it. 10 out of 10 cards. Chimera, the Flying Mythical Beast, is here, and it will attack, and it will destroy. Very nice. Oh, it doesn't destroy. What the hell is that other card? Uh, I don't know what that is. Too long of a name. That name is too long for me to want to read it. Alright, and we got ourselves another Gazelle, but Gazelle is not strong enough. Magician's Valkyria is here to protect friends. King of the Swamp is gone. Alright, think of something, because you're in a lot of trouble. That card is good early game. Late game, not so much. Not so much. Alright, you're going to need to top deck one of your best Phantom Beast cards that isn't a tribute. You lost the duel. <laughs> That's the boss monster. 
The boss monster is here. Nice try, kid. Get wrecked. Oh, that's the tribute anyway. Yep, there's the tribute monster. And first duel will go to Yayoi Hazama. Cyber Jar! Yeah! Cyber Jar in attack mode. Yayoi Hazama ends this duel. Awful lot of gazelles and burfamets that duel. Not many of the other phantom beasts. Alright, let's go ahead and see what happens next. Yeah, there you go. Giant Rat's pretty good. The rest of them are whatever, but Giant Rat's a good start. Yeah, they love attack mode Cyber Jar and attack mode, uh, what is it called? Marshmallow. They never want to use Marshmallow's effect. There it is, Chimera time. And it's time. Three different monsters in the hand. You, the fuck? Why would you keep the tributes? Why would- that is the worst play I've ever seen. Luckily, this monster is strong enough on its own. But, why would you keep the tributes? Pot o' Greed. Attack goes through, Shining Angel's like, that's okay with me, I can just do this. Haha. -ha. Alright, what do you think now? Fisher? Yeah, I think Fisher. What else do you think? Grave Robber? Yeah, I think Grave Robber. Pay 2k for Pot of Greed? I'd do it. I'd do it in a heartbeat. I'd pay 4k for Pot of Greed. That's right. Luminous? Yeah, that's good. What else you got? Herald? Yep, that's good. And that is beautiful. You lost uh, half your life points in one turn. What are you gonna do, Mr. Phantom Beast? Come on, Bernard, do something. Play a card. Yeah, that's good. That was a good top deck. Holy crap. Alright, that was the game-saving top deck right there. Unless they tribute summon. Oh, no! The top deck of Harpies! It changes everything! And that is it! Oh, my God. That's so brutal. That's so brutal. Oh, why would they do that? You. Oh, my God. That was so stupid. But it doesn't matter. That does not matter. Shining Angel can crash. You should have crashed. You needed to kill that sage. No, the game says you wouldn't have Bernog. The game would not have. The game says you did not future fusion. And it's playing exactly how their owners would have played them. 100%. Totally not the AI just being horrible. Alright, you could tribute something, but it wouldn't be strong enough. Oh, speaking of not strong enough. I, I think that's it. I think that's good enough for you. I, I think you had fun. Um... But it's not... Oh, wait, there we go. Tribute it. That was the best play ever. It is now strong enough. With 2,500 attack, what will you do, Yayoi Hazama? Really good play from Bernog right there. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. That's... Yeah, that's a game-ending play because swords will make the AI play worse. They'll do something crazy like summon Burfamed in attack mode. Alright, what else you got? They're just waiting for their boss or Dark Hole. Sure, Dark Hole's a thing. Alright, open field. 200 damage is all you need. 2,000 burns, not enough. And if you control no effect monsters, special summon me. That is it, everybody. The 2,000 burn was not enough. The winner is Yayoi Hazama. They will be moving on to top 16. Pretty close duels, though. Pretty close on that one. Alright, let's go ahead and let's get out of here. Now, let's see. We have... Oh, Yayoi is owned by Vox Gaming. Vox Gaming, great job. Um, The next duel will be Kurt Alien versus Onka D. Onka D, one of the characters we actually know about. Kurt Alien, a person that is brand new. Because they were made by Kurt 50 Alien, I think. Something like that. Close enough. Good luck, Kurt. Good luck. You're going to need it. Anka already rocked one of our players. Johnny Swag didn't stand a chance. He actually did. Johnny almost won. <laughs> Johnny went to game three. He almost did it. But Anka found a way. All right. Let's do this, guys. Anka versus Kurt. I like the Phantom Death. I like Phantom Beasts. Alright, 
where is Kurtz? There we are. I found you, Kurt. Oh, I found you. All right, Kurt is there. 1800 attack is here. Oh, don't you worry. There are XYZ decks, and some people we've already seen have had XYZ monsters. They just uh, didn't summon them. Oh, Banisher says Alien Kid is gone for good, and 1800 damage is brutal. This is one of the few duels where she did not get her dimensional stuff or her macro cosmos, but Banisher will do the job. Ooh, that's good if you had any monsters in the grave. Kurt, I don't think you're going to have monsters in the grave. I think you're in trouble. I think you're in a lot of trouble. I think Anka D is going to hurt you. That's the same card twice. That didn't work. You're getting hurt. That's 3,600 damage. Kurt, you got one turn. Make it count. Ooh, that's a heartbreaking hand. All right, everybody, let's go. There is a deck with links in it, yes. And attack goes through. And attack goes through. And you are through. Let's go ahead and see what happens in game number two. Unlucky hand. Unlucky. Also, Anka D said no. She banished all your stuff. Welcome to hell. <laughs> Welcome to the woods. Let's try this again, Kurt. It's going to be fine. You're going to get the stuff you need. Just stop her from banishing you. Well, she has Macrocosmos and Banisher, but you'll find a way. I know you will. All right, Banisher is there. Macro is here, so now we're going to start banishing stuff. Alien Hunter can match Banisher. That's not good enough, but hey, there it is. DD Assailant is good enough, though. Oh, what is this trap? Whoa! That trap is good! We'll take it. Even if it only buys you time, that is good. Another Alien Hunter. Perfect! Chop her down. Hurry! All right. Very good card right there. Shining Angel cannot do it. Shining Angel's only good for later. The burn has begun. Dark Hole. Now it's 200 burn. 1,400 damage comes through. And that second uh, counter. I have no clue what those counters mean, to be honest. We have Alien Kid, Special Summoning Alien Dog. A dog and his kid makes so much sense. That's a lot of counters on one monster, and it's so weak. Shining Angel didn't stand a chance, and it looks like uh, Kurt Alien has a good chance here. That's pretty good. DD Warrior can at least get rid of one monster, and that'll let you do 300 burn, Anka, if you get rid of one monster. The dog is gone. Sorry, doggo. All right, three counters now. Kurt's got Alien Ammonite, and that's a good special summon for Alien Dog. And we have the boss monster, everybody! The strongest card in Kurt's deck. It's the Cosmic Fortress Golgar. Gar, whatever. And with that, those traps are back, which means no more banishing. And now we're going to destroy one card. Magic Cylinder gets hit. It could have done 2,600, but instead, Kurt has won. Kurt is going to game three. There we go. That was much better, Kurt. Much, much better. All right, let's go to game three and see if you could take out Anka D. All right, patience. Let's see. We have the Code Ancient Ruins. A good start if you aren't fighting a banishing character. Oh, wait. You're fighting a banishing character. This is not a good start for you. Dimensional Prison comes through. Shining Angel. Here we go again. All right. I would have let Alien Greed die for the top deck. You might want to pot. It's a Jar of Greed. You might as well take the Jar of Greed. Heart of the Cards. What are we going to draw? We draw Alien. Oh, nice. The kid. The kid dog combo. Alien Kid with Alien Dog working together to do big damage. Oh, and the kid... Oh, no. The dog's alone now. It's like Fry all over again. That's sad. Oh, man. Morphin Jar is good, but you could just Alchemist this card. Yep. Alchemist is like, I have powers now. And the power says I win the fight. That's sad. And we got two of these. 
I have no clue what that trap does, but it keeps counting. And that looks like alien... Uh, actually, I don't know that card. What is that? Alien Psychic. Okay. And it's dead. Apparently, Alien Psychic is worth a dark hole. <clears throat> but it's gone. And now we have DD Warrior. I did. That's three counters now, whatever that may whatever that means. Hey, Kurt's bricked again. Kurt, what did you do to your deck? Decks aren't made with bricks, they're made with love. What's wrong with you? I'm making fun of you, I'm sorry. I'm gonna make fun of you more though, don't worry. I gotta do it while you're still in the duel uh, in the tournament. And that's a lot of power for Necroface. Necroface hits pretty good now. All right, it's okay, Kurt. This is what you do. You top deck Alien Almanite, and you lose. This is probably the only chance you got. You got one trap. You got one trap. Good luck to you. Make that one trap work. Did you just summon Morphing Jar in attack mode, Anka? I swear to God, if you win with that. It's over! Anka D knocks out another person. That breaks the hearts of many. Oh, they had to Dark Hole because Alien Psychic Effect was that good? Damn. Too bad they they did Dark Hole. And that is it. Kurt has fallen with Johnny Swag. Both of you are in the same section of the woods. That's a shame. Now let's go ahead and let's get into the next fight of the tournament. Anka D is moving into top 16. The next duel will be Ambrosia. I believe this is Corpse King's last character versus Ferris Paulo. Last character from Corpse King versus Ferris Paulo from Skyrus. All right, Skyrus, Skyrus, and there. That's everybody. Let's do this. Ambrosia versus the uh, Ferris Paulo. Ambrosia is ready. Ferris Paulo is. Somewhere. Where are you? I'm looking for Ferris. He's in here somewhere. Don't you worry. Looks like we're fusing already. I'm missing a fusion. What is it? Invoked Mechaba. Invoked Mechaba is here with three trap cards to protect it. Luckily, you have Blaze Man, so make that work. Also, trap card says you take burn. E Emergency Call. If you had a regular poly, this hand would be good. But you disagree. Miracle Fusion. I don't know if that was worth it, buddy. You just fused two dark monsters together. Alright, Escuriato. And they're tied. We got ourselves a, a good old-fashioned stalemate. Graceful Charity. I wonder what they'll keep. They kept Delinquent Duo, which is very funny. Not very good against this deck, I'll admit. <laughs> Delinquent Duo works against a lot of decks. Not this one. Not this one. Why is that in defense? Oh, it's because it got weaker. Yep, that would happen. Magic Cylinder is here. Stratos is here. Stratos is going to just pop a spell card. Harpies is gone, which is good because you have a freaking uh, Magic Cylinder in your hand. And what are you going to do now? You're in a little bit of trouble here, Ambrosia. Ambrosia has a spell card. Spell card... Uh I don't know what it did. <laughs> I honest to God. Oh, just synchro. What the hell? You can get a synchro as an attachment? That's allowed? That's allowed? What the hell? That's crazy. And we got ourselves Zorora, the Magistus. And Zorora's effects. What the fuck? That just seems so weird to me. Fusion monsters as, as equips. Synchros as equips. What the hell's going on here? All right, well, that's a much better uh, much better play. And it looks like they're afraid. They would have polyed otherwise. They're too afraid of whatever the hell that monster does. <coughs> Mass change number two. Sure, we could try that. Poly goes away. And we summon Divine Wind in defense mode. Sure. It looks like Ferris Paulo is scared now because they're not doing anything. Prisma is gone. Blaze Man can be summoned for Polly. No.
We have another monster card, and this monster card gets that card to activate, and that gets you a synchro. And that gets you an effect. The synchro monster pops Divine Wind. Super Polymerization! We're gonna Super Poly, and with Super Poly, we're gonna create the ultimate creature. It's time for Invoked Purgatorio. And that's gonna destroy old Woody and do piercing. And it gets to attack twice, which sounds busted to me. And that's 39 to the face. I do not... You already used Magic Cylinder, so I do not know what you could top deck. Good luck to you. You need to do 1,300 damage. Blazeman will be normal summon. Blazeman throws away Shadow Mist. Shadow Mist gets you a card. Shadow Mist gets you Stratos. Mass Change comes through. Mass Change gets you that card. That card attacks directly! The winner is Ferris Polo! By attacking directly with the card I put as their ace monster, they win. That is it, everybody. Ferris Polo has done it. We're moving into game number two, and we're going to see if Ambrosia can get some revenge for the Corpse King. That was a comeback. Yes, it was. Both characters had comebacks, and then at the end of the day, Ferris Polo had the better one. Potagreed comes through. Potagreed's very good. <clears throat> Delinquent Duo, like I said, it ends up probably being a worse card effect, but hey, they can only activate one of those, right? So it's not as bad as I thought. Uh, that card has an effect, apparently. That card does something as well. Sure. That card does something as well. Sure. And now you got to be a 2800 monster. Good luck. Very, yeah, you're going to need it. You need, you need Blazeman to get you Polly. It's your only hope. Nope, you're an idiot. I'm afraid the AI was addicted to that effect and would rather do that than get the card poly. Yeah, that's why I gave Koyu Hibiki only one Shadow Mist. Because he, he always messes up with that effect. Attack goes through. Attack goes through. Ferris Polo's in danger. Ferris top deck poly, please. The Synchro Summon is real. The Synchro Summon shall be... Another Zorora. Zorora is here. And Zorar gets you a equip. And that monster has an effect as well. That's two equips on the same monster. That sounds very scary. Get a Dark Hole. Top deck Dark Hole. You need a Dark Hole. Pot of Greed. That's also a good top deck. Pot of Greed comes through. Pot of Greed gets Magic Snow. You could summon Blazeman for Polly. Oh, they disagree. I tried to help. The AI does not agree with my plays. All right. Magic Cylinder is there. Magic Cylinder is very nice. But we'll see what happens. All right, Ambrosia, what you got? Ambrosia attacks into Magic Cylinder. They still got plenty of life points left after this. Yeah, they're still rocking 2,800. Plenty. That's plenty to work with. But Blazeman's right there. All you got to do is play it. They refuse to play it. Miracle Fusion puts Prisma and uh, Shadow Mist together. And with this, they summon the Shining. The Shining isn't strong enough, so we're going to have to form change. And with Form Change, we summon a card in Defense Mode, which is very strange. Why'd we do that? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't follow the play that you just made. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Me, personally, I don't know these newer cards, so I'm probably falling behind. And you're all like, that was the perfect play. Well, let's find out why. Okay, explain why. Why was that the perfect play? That doesn't look like the perfect play to me. That seemed foolish. Luckily, they top deck Polly. They luckily top deck Polly. Now do something. How about explain that play? How about somebody explain that? That play is going to cost them the duel. And that is it, everybody. They refuse to use Polly. And that is why the winner is Ambrosia. <laughs> oh, man. I hope, you guys, I hope you guys that are making these decks feel my pain. I want you to feel the pain I feel every week when I have to just tireless, tire, tirelessly try to make the decks work when the AI refuses to work with me I, I want you to feel it I want you to personally have an attachment to it to know what it's like alright here we go and we have ourselves a monster and a trap we have the best hand possible Polly into miracle into mass change Polly will be the first play and with Polly, we're going to start with uh, Elemental Hero Gaia, which is very nice. 
Elemental Hero Gaia is going to eat the opponent's attacks. Blaze Man will be summoned not using its effect, which makes no sense. That was really dumb. We also will make Sunrise. And Sunrise can get you Miracle Fusion, I guess. Blaze Man. Oh, now it gets its effect. Sorry, I just had to wait. My bad. And the attack comes through for 22. And it pops the MST. Attack goes through. Attack goes through. The winner is Ferris Paulo on turn two. That is a turn two uh, victory. Sorry about that. Sucks to be Ambrosia. The winner is Ferris Paulo. GG, everybody. GG. <laughs> All right. Fun duel. That is it. I hope you had fun, Ambrosia, but you're out of the tournament, along with the person that created you. So, let's go ahead and move on to the next characters in the tournament. Ferris Paulo gets to go to top 16. Uh, yep. The next duel will be Yumi Pegasus versus Amon. Yumi Pegasus, specifically, versus Amon. All right, let's see what we got here. Gotcha. And Amon, Amon. Amon, where are you? You're in here somewhere, I know it. I'll find you. Amon. There you are. Found you in the corner. All right, let's go ahead and start this duel, and let's see what happens. It's time for Amon to fight... Uh... Oh, crap. I already cried. Yumi Pegasus. Thank you. This is why I have a chat. Chat helps me remember. Now, let's watch these two go at it. And we have ourselves a set, a southern, and they could get relinquished whenever they want. A beautiful hand, in my opinion. And we're going to normal summon. The attack goes through and Cyber Jar will activate. Bottomless. Harpies. That card. Pot. And that card. Okay. Magic Cylinder. Snatch Steel. Armageddon. That card. And that card. I will warn you all right now, there's a Harpies in the other player's hand, so you gotta be careful if you set Magic Cylinder. Armageddon Knight throws away a card. Oh, never mind, they used it way too early. Dark Hole is gone though. Premature Burial comes through, we're gonna bring back one of these monsters, and we're gonna play some Pot. And we're gonna summon this card. Oh no, we're not, we're just gonna reveal it. Yep, we're just revealing the card. Gotcha. Snatch Steel is going to come through. Snatch Steel gets the monster. And we're going to actually use the fusion. Thank God this guy, a car, uh, character knows how to use it. Relinquished fuses with Cyber Jar. And we'll create the Millenniumize Restrict in defense mode. Okay. Monju will now get another card. And TT. That is correct. Manju still gets the other card, and that card doesn't have as much value now that you've already used Relinquish for something else. And that card has an effect as well. Let's see what it does. It summons itself, Lord of Heavenly Prison. You guys might remember that. Anybody that... Oh, he gets a Dark Hole for free. That's crazy. Anybody that might actually go into my chat, you, you probably remember that card. This card will instant fuse the all-powerful Millenniumize Restrict. Millenniumize Restrict will now... Uh, what is going on? <laughs> we'll now get a monster attached. Raigeki will hit the face down. From the YouTube post. Thank you so much. Yeah, from the community section. Anyone that goes to my YouTube community section, you, you have your own little Yu-Gi-Oh! world to think about. All right, we're going to just normal summon another monster. And these two cards are going to do a thing that you guys haven't seen yet. It's time for an XYZ summon. And that card is 2,500, so you don't stand a chance. You need to top deck a Relinquished. Or do that. I didn't know that was allowed. Yeah, go ahead.
All right. You need to uh, eat the opponent's monster. I recommend that. I recommend devour. All right. That card has an effect, and you've been devoured. <laughs> and with the devouring effect going off, here comes 2,500. YouTube, com no, there's a community a section. On YouTube, there's a video section, there's a playlist section, there's an about section, there's a community section. If you check the community section, you get extra YouTube, or you get extra um, Yu-Gi-Oh little things. You get to vote on polls, you get to do a bunch of fun stuff. A lot of people that don't use phones rarely see it. Anyone that uses phones sees it all the time. Oh, he got relinquished! Holy crap, the all-powerful relinquished on my screen? On my show? And here we go. Relinquish shall be summoned. And it's tributed. <laughs> it's tributed. Oh, you didn't even eat the monster first. What the hell? All right, I think it's about time we use Dark Hole. Don't you guys think? I think it's time for a Dark Hole. You had game if you ate it. All right, another one of these cards. They're hungry. Oh, whatever that does. It's a monster. The Dark Hole's in the graveyard. Thank you for telling me that. I was I was not paying attention. Uh, there's like five of them. Why was there like five of them? They have too much defense. What are you going to do about that? Preparation of rights yourself a new relinquished? I love it. Love it. But are you actually going to eat the opponent's monster this time instead of being dumb? We use the fusion to summon the ritual. It's the opposite of the anime. And with the ritual monster, all you gotta do is click on that card over there. And then you eat it. I'm waiting. You can negate it. But you got rid of a you got rid of their attachment. You got rid of their attachment and it's gone. And we wait. <laughs> and we wait because they happen to have the same attack and defense points. That's crazy. And we have ourselves a set. And we wait. And we have another fusion card. The attack goes through and the monster is dead. Oh no, it doesn't die. Apparently it doesn't die. We need to wait for another relinquished, but the only way that'll happen is if we can get one out of the grave. Oh no, we're going to just do this instead. This is also something you guys haven't seen before. Say hello to the first Link Summon. Her name is Sarah. And, sorry, let's do it again. And her name is Sarah. And their name. Wait for it. I actually don't know what it is. And their name is Atiapus. Atiapus. I don't know what their name is. And that name is Lord of the Heavenly Prison. Relinquish didn't stand a chance, or whatever that card's called. Armageddon Knight didn't stand a chance. So you're going to need to do some burn. This is why I tell people to run Ukazi every time. I warn everybody, run Ukazi. They never believe me. They never believe me. You run Ukazi, you win a duel, I promise you. Attack goes through. Attack goes through. Whoa, hold up. Attack goes through. And finally, oh, is it a loop? It's a loop! I didn't know that. Attack goes through. All right, you survived. Oh, wait, we got one more of these. And it's Sarah. Hi, Sarah. So what are you going to do? You can't ritual summon because you have all your rituals in the grave. You can Armageddon Knight for fun. No, it's over. It's over. This time for real. And we have a normal summon. The attack goes through, and it works. The game-winning attack goes through, and that was a great comeback from Amon. That was pretty good. Now we're going to go ahead and get into game number two. All right, let's go into game number two and see what happens. Will it be the Fusion Ritual deck, or will it be the Link XYZ deck? Which deck will win? Preparation of Rights gets you your Ritual Monster, but you don't have your Ritual Spell or the Monster to Fuse, so unlucky. And we have 1800 Attack come through. 1800 Attack will do its job. 
This is basically cosplay Pegasus. That is correct. Dark Hole is interesting. We're going to fuse. That makes sense, even though you're not really going to have any attack points. Millennium Eyes Restrict will sit there in defense mode. And we're going to set. Uh, you know, you could. That monster is useless. You just beat it up. <laughs> I was going to say, that monster has nothing to help it. Just beat it up. It's going to die. This was not a good hand for Yumi Pegasus. Yumi Pegasus needs a little more gusto. There we go. Let's get you some gusto. Let's see what we can get. Throw away harpies. Yep. Preparation of rights. This is good. Okay. Oh, wait, but you banished your other card. Yeah. Fusion time. All right. Using the ritual monster and the fusion monster, we're going to fuse together a fusion monster. It's time for Millennium Eyes Restrict. And Millennium Eyes Restrict is going to get the monster. 1600 attack isn't much, but it'll have to do. All right. You think this is the bad guy? You saw Rick's deck and you think this is the bad guy? You guys are crazy. You guys don't understand what's coming. All right. The attack goes through and 400 burn happens or deflected damage, whatever. And it's devoured. Now you have 2400 attack. That's much better. And we have another set. We're going to instant fuse? No, we're not going to instant fuse. You're not going to link summon or anything, huh? You're just going to sit there. A set. Look, as long as Anka D and Zachary D lose today, you're all good guys. As long as those two characters lose, you're all good guys, right? If you could beat the main characters, we don't count Daigo. He's just an idiot. Like, beating Daigo's free after what he did. All right, set, set. That's an interesting card. Are you really not going to do anything? Like, oh, I'm on. I, I'm going to... I'm going to... Hey, hey, I'm on. Attack the face down. It's a cyber jar. Trust me. I'm coaching. I'm, che I'm cheating to help you. Attack the cyber jar. Just do it. Just do it. <laughs> Pot of Greed comes through. Monju is a very good top deck. Monju gets you anything. Oh, shit. Well, we're not going to see cyber jar. That's for sure. The field is nice and clean now. Yep, all you have is a 1,200 beater. All right, how are you going to do this now? 1,200 is not enough. Your hand is good, but 1,200 is not enough. Okay, we got another trap monster. These two monsters want to go together. This is an XYZ, yep. Exceed monster, I do not know that one. Exceed monster has 2,500 attack. That's going to be a little too much to deal with. Your monster's like, good, I wanted that, because now I get my Millennium Eyes Restrict. Millennium Eyes Restrict is here. Millennium Eyes Restrict looks hungry. Or you can just Snatch Steal. I mean, there's lots of options here. There's many ways to satiate your hunger. That card will activate its effect, and you're hungry. Yup. Monster Aborn will steal. 100% I knew it was going to steal. And I don't think you can win this turn, but you're pretty close. Yeah, you're pretty close. All right. 900 life points left. You have one turn. Make it count, Amon. Make it count. Okay, good to know. Good to freaking know. Swords. You can flip the opponent's monster, snatch deal, win the duel. You disagree. Okay. And that is the end of the duel. We're going to game three, everybody. Yumi Pegasus has taken a victory. Which duel, uh, duelist will move forward? Will it be Yumi Pegasus or will it be Amon? Which character are you more worried about? Me personally, I think both of them are just average. I think both decks, like, most of the people's decks today are within Master Era. The next level is the average decks, like the ones we're seeing right now. And then after that, we got the I Hate You decks. There's only one I can really think of. but the re Oh, wow, that's the first time. That is the first time I've ever seen Marshmallow get its effect off. Holy shit, today's a beautiful day. Today is a beautiful day. We actually got to see that happen. It's never going to happen again, but it's nice that we got to see it once. That was an eyes. I haven't seen you in forever. 
Dude, it's Thousand Eyes Restrict. Oh, what the hell? We just took a peek and we hunger. All right, Thousand Eyes Restrict is gone. It just it used its, you know, just to, to pop the opponent. That's fine. And there we go. Attack goes through. That monster's like, haha, I look at your hand. Ah! <laughs> ah! I didn't think that, that you'd actually kill me. I just wanted to look at your hand. All right, Heart of the Cards. You need Relinquished. Monster Reborn brings back a monster. Armageddon Knight gets you a card to the grave. That card in the grave loves being in the grave. Attack goes through. Damage is good. Attack goes through. Damage is good. Marshmallow staying in defense mode blows my mind. This is the first time I've seen Marshmallow be used properly. Trap Tricks Dionaya, whatever her name is, gets an XYZ summon. Exceed summon into... Pringia Kula. These names are way too complicated. He sounds like plant names. I can't do them. Where's the lolly? She knows how to do them. All right. Where is Ritual Monster? That is not Ritual Monster. That's a cool card. Don't get me wrong, but it's not the Ritual Monster. All right. Attack goes through. Premature Burial. Sure. We're going to XYZ again. Is this why? Oh, look, it's him again. Hi there. All right, the Heavenly Lord is here, but can it beat Marshmallow? <laughs> another ritual. So wow, okay, another ritual is a little unlucky. Premature burial will be destroyed. And as long as Marshmallow lives, I don't think you have anything to worry about, Yumi Pegasus. Just hold the field. The second it dies, you're in trouble. Or if they have piercing. If they have piercing, you die. Oh, what is this? Or XYZ summon? Sure. Same monster. Oh, cowboy. Hey, that's burn, right? Oh, now we're going to link summon after all this time? Hi there, Sarah. And cowboy is going to do this to do 800 burn. All right. Cowboy is the people Zukazi because he's actually a person. Are we going to get the relinquished? Oh, well, we'll get something better. What the hell? Okay, apparently we're not going to do it, but that card does work at this moment in time, doesn't it? Because it works with the grave? Or am I crazy? I might be crazy. I don't read the cards. Why would I? I wouldn't know anything. All right. And we have another one, everybody. And this time it's going to be at Sarah again. Hi, Sarah. Why do you keep coming back? Cowboy, another 800 burn. Yep. And we have a triple link. Here we go. Double Sarah with a cowboy. And that gets Atiapus. It's not very powerful. It only has 1,800 attacks, so I don't think it's very good. Preparation of rights. There you go. That's what we've been waiting for. That's what we've been waiting for. Relinquish fusion, of course. Thousand Eyes Restrict fuses with Relinquish. These two powerful cards create Millennium Eyes Restrict, which makes too much sense. And that card gives it its effect, right? Or what is it doing? It does exactly as I said. It eats the opponent's monster. That card does something as well. It eats the opponent's monster. And with 4,800, the winner is Yumi Pegasus. Yeah, 1,800, just too weak. Just too weak. All right, guys. That is going to be it for that one. That was a little bit longer than usual, but that seems to be the case. So let's just go ahead and uh, see who's up next. The next opponents will be... Sorry, I'm on. Hopefully, better luck next time. Yumi Pegasus. Vorith. Uh, yeah. The next duel will be Lane Holfetz. I hope I got your name right. Versus Maum. Maum versus Lane Holfetz. I don't know. It's just a weird word to say. Maum? Maum? Whatever. So it's, it's a hard word to say. Easy word to write. Hard to say. All right. Where are you? We have not seen Lane today, so it's a new deck. Malm we've seen before, and they were pretty good. All right. Lane, Lane, Lane. No, that's not them. That's not them. Nope, that's Luxu. That's Black Dawn. That's a greedy guy. That's Astra. Huh, where are you? You're in here somewhere. I just missed you. 
All right. You're in the corner then, aren't you? Every time I miss someone, they're in the corner. Yep. All right. There we go. We are good to go. Let's go ahead and start this duel and see what happens. Lane versus... Uh, crap. Malm. Malm. All right. These characters are ready to go. We have ourselves a set, and that's about it. Sure. Nothing wrong with that when your set is Cyberjar. And the monster goes in. Cyberjar will pop it. They go away together. We got that, that. Oh, that's a lot of monsters. And a trap. And a trap. All right, we got three monsters out of the deal. That's pretty good. We got one. We got two. Well, you don't get that one. You got two. You got two. But now we know you have one wind monster, but I don't think you're going to get enough wind monsters in the grave for that. Monster Aborn comes through. We're going to get our monster back. Oh, wait, this card has an effect. That's a pretty good card if it can negate spells. Holy crap. The ability to negate spells is pretty freaking good. All right, Monster Aborn this time. We're going to steal. Oh, now you that's why? Because you wanted the opponent's monster? That's why you negated it? Foolish Burial comes through. We throw away another monster, and we summon another one. Oh, my God. And we summon another one. Five monsters. That's outrageous. Attack goes through. That monster's like, hey, I have an idea. That trap's like, hey, I have an idea. Let's wait to see what they do. All right, monster dies. But they all have effects. I even know this because they were in the Tag Force series. Not all of them, but most of them. Attack goes through. That card's like, hey, I have an effect. And I think all you need is a tuner monster. Or whatever that is. Now all you need is a tuner monster. Holy crap, that's a lot of draw power. No. Interesting. That was even more interesting. I'm sure there's a reason. I'm just surprised. The game is struggling. Apparently, the game is very struggling a lot. Just trying to figure out what you're doing here. All right. That is a tuner. That is a tuner as well. Attack goes through. Please don't use that tuner to attack the face down defense mode monster. That's how people lose duels. Thank God. And no synchro summon. That's weird. That is very weird. You left that in attack mode. I want you to know that. Oh my god, that was weirder. Am I the stupid one? What's going on here? What do I what what am I not getting? Yeah, can I get some confused emotes in chat? I I, I could use some or some angry Teas. I'll take angry Teas. Okay, so that's what we're doing. Okay, they have an instant synchro summon effect. Good. You were saying, Bernog? Look at the screen. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's two tuners. Your opponent has a full hand. And they're going to beat you. I can already see the end of this duel. You're going to... Oh. So, you have a full hand, and you don't normal summon into a synchro summon? You just you just attack Morphing Jar to get a new monster in defense mode? Is that is that right? You normal summon a monster with zero attack in attack mode, and you don't use it as one of the synchro materials. Is that right? Oh, it's a tuner. That's why. Okay. That, that one made sense. The second I... I didn't know Yang Jinx had a tuner synchro. There's a lot of those apparently. Oh, I know that one. I've seen that one before. All right, there we go. Yep, I know that one. Good luck. You're going to need it. What's the other... Mom, you're going to need it. You're in trouble. Oh, 
Hi there. All right, we have ourselves a set. What else you got? Harpies. Very good. Harpies gets rid of the trap card. Another Synchro Summon comes through. This time it's going to be... Oh, it's the Tuner one. Yeah, the Tuner one. Prana is now in the hand. Oh, he's level two now. I'm sorry, what? No, 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 no. I want a real... What? That was your boss monster. And you popped it. <laughs> I, I'm not crazy, right? <laughs> I'm not the crazy one. The game is crazy. I, I guess you're just going to summon a new one. Okay, okay, it's fine. You're summoning a new one. Did you have to pop your old one in order to summon the new one? Is that why? He's even weaker than he once was. Whatever. They won the duel, so why do I care? Mom, good luck in duel number two. You're going to need it. Take your meds. I don't have any meds. Not anymore. All right. Game number two. Here we go. I, I, I can't keep up with any of this. I don't understand. I, I can't tell if the AI is making the right plays or if they're just stupid and they're making unnecessary plays where they still win, but it's not optimal. I can't tell at all. All right, here's the field spell that helped them out a lot last time. A-forces, that card uses its effect. We throw away two cards, you summon it. I've seen this effect before. The lightning blade reminds me of the thing from Fire Emblem. We throw it away, we get the card. That card is gonna get nothing. And we got two powerful cards on the field. Good, good. Okay, we got a massive Synchro Summon on the first turn. And that's going to get us the level 8 monster. Yeah, that, one, that one's pretty good. And there goes the spell cards. And it just popped itself. In order to Synchro Summon again. But this time, we're going to go for the level 5 monster. And now we get ourselves a trap card. Sure, sure. And that's the play they wanted. If I'm if I'm if I'm seeing this correctly, that's what they wanted to have happen. Was that the good play or not? I can't tell. Alright, we're gonna end the turn there. Usually I don't like to end with monsters that don't have big attack points, but that's just me. Okay, here we go. This has got to be a big Synchro Summon, right? Level 7, that's pretty good. That guy, that guy's pretty good. Just don't pop yourself. Alright, attack goes through. That card's going to flip it face down. Yep, I've seen this before. It's the only reason why... Uh, what was the other person's name? Who fought Who fought, Ele who, who fought Mom here? One of you did. Zephyrus. Zephyrus, that's the reason why you didn't win. The Channeler character. Yeah. And now what are you going to do? That's a lot of defense that you're going to have to deal with. How do you deal with it, Yang Jing? By not normal summoning at all. That is your option. The level 6 gives every other one protection. That's fine. Doesn't evil Yang Jing pop anyway, so it doesn't matter? And yet they're not using the popping effect. Maybe I'm crazy. A-Forces is really good. That's going to change things. Yep. A forces is gonna change things. Oh, trap card. Oh, that's a lot. I mean, you still die, but that was worth it. <laughs> that was worth the death. It has target protection as well. Damn, that's a lot of protection. Okay, that's a lot of protection. So how do you beat it then? How do you beat the level 6 monster if you can't target it and you can't beat it by battle? Ah, gotcha, gotcha. You don't target it. You just blow up the whole field and do 2200 damage. That makes a lot of sense. Totally cheating, but it makes a lot of sense. Harpies, that's that's the end of the duel. I, I think my prediction is Lane Holfetz has won this duel. 
All right, attack for 22 and the duel, and that is it. Mom, I'm afraid that you're out of here. You did good today, but you're out of here. At least you won a duel. All righty, good job, Lane. Good job. Now let's go ahead and let's see what happens. So we're going to move Mom out of here. We're going to move Lane out of here, and we're going to go take a peek at who's up next. The next duel will be new characters entirely. Yep, new characters. I hope you're ready. Their names are Neo Celestia, and Neo Celestia will be fighting the Triple G Gamer. The GG Gamer. Now, I know we did see GG Gamer duel, and it was a pretty good duel against a greedy guy. But we have not seen Neo Celestia duel. This one will be new. I'm excited to see what Neo Celestia can do. All right, let's see here. The gamer, where is the gamer? Somebody call gamer to the stage, please. It's time for their duel. Somebody call gamer to the stage, please. It is time for their duel. All right, let's see. There, found him. All right, let's start this duel. I have to. I have to say, I'm. I'm always hoping. Uh, I'm putting a little hope in gamers' deck because I did actually have to make most of it. They, they they only gave me a few cards to work with, and they were like, "Make the rest." And I was like, "Okay." So we'll see. But I want to see. All, I want to see the new character as well. I want to see how they do. Neo Celestia. Maybe you got some cool cards that we haven't seen yet. Maybe you got some combos we haven't seen yet. Specifically talking about monsters, not spells and traps. But we'll also probably see spells and traps. There you are. All right, everything is ready. 1500 attack is pretty good. Harpies comes through, no protection now. And we got Reflect Bounder. Reflect Bounder does 200 damage, which is very nice. Silent Magician is nice, but it's not as good without level up. Oh, hi there. I love, I love this. I love what I could just make that happen. All right, here we go, everybody. It's time for the boss monster, the strongest card in the deck, Silent Magician level eight. They take the 3,500 burn in order to kill the Reflect Bounder. They got plenty of life points left. All right, good plays from Neo Celestia so far. And Pot of Greed comes through. Pot of Greed gets a card that's not gonna help you at all. And Freed the Brave One is actually very smart. And Effect Veiler says no! Freed does not save the day! Freed cannot save them. Effect Veiler has stopped it. That was pretty critical right there. That's also a good card. Harold comes through with a nice buff and it will go in. Thanks to that perfectly timed Effect Veiler, it looks like GG Gamer does not stand a chance. What the heck are you going to do? Dark Hole doesn't work because the opponent... What? No. I don't know about this. I don't know about... Oh, wait, yes! This is a card they wanted in their deck, and they were smart to pick it because that card has 3,500 attack. All right, 3,500 is pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. All right, swords. Interesting. You're going to wait until you can crash, right? That makes sense. It's 35 versus 35. A set. Silent Magician level 8 stands there intimidating the opponent. You can use reinforcements to get a different card. Yeah, they both like Freed. Both decks like Freed, but this one's actually going to work. And that is probably the end of the duel unless we see something crazy. This judge isn't going to be able to stop it. Need to be face up. The game winning attack comes through. Copycat returns. You can't stop the copycat. And it's gone. All right, Silent Magician gets defeated by Copycat. The duel could go anywhere now. Dark Hole is necessary if you don't have a monster. Okay, interesting. Let's see what happens. I don't know what that is. Swords is still on the field, so you're still struggling there, GG Gamer. GG Gamer, why? 
and it turns out that the, the game is terrible. <laughs> the AI is terrible. Swords makes it worse, but the AI is terrible. You have 700 life points, and you played a 500 attack wall. It was technically a zero attack point monster, and you lose, but you tried. It was pretty close life point wise, but it did not work out. 2,500 life points remaining. The winner is Neo Celestia. All right, let's get into the next duel and see what happens. No, they could have kept copycat face down, bought themselves one more turn, maybe found a way out of that hole, but. Okay, we got ourselves some sets. Nothing wrong with that. We have Luminous Spark again, but both characters seem to enjoy this card. Voltic Kong goes in. It's a decent monster. One of the ones that GG Gamer recommended, and I honestly think it's fun. And we have another set. Nice. We have ourselves Miss Judge. We have Voltic Kong's effect, which is very nice. You get to throw away some cards. Ooh, they hit Pot of Greed. They did hit Pot of Greed. That sucks. It was going to be their next card. Oh, wait a minute. Level up time. Everybody say hello. Wait, hold up. Everybody say hello to Silent Swordsman Level 5. A card that can match their power and might get crashed on. Shining Angel. Yep, gets crashed on. Okay, okay. You're going to take the 23, I assume. Oh, oh, shit again. Yep, you just buffed everybody. Interesting play. Ballsy play. You just love buffing your opponent, but it's working. It looks like uh, Neo Celestia is in some trouble here. She needs a combo play. Dark Hole! Oh, what a top deck! Holy shit, that's a great top deck. Dark Hole time. Dark Hole clears the field. There's less problems now. A monster gets summoned. It's kind of weak in my opinion. It only has a thousand attack. A thousand attack goes through though. And only because of the buffing field spell. All right, with only 1,400 life points left, you gotta be careful. Premature, this is why. And this is why. And this is why. And that is it. Oh, wait. Oh, Miss Judge wins the duel! Miss Judge ends it! We're going to game three. These decks are basically evenly matched. Miss Judge says no, and GG Gamer continues. So, this is it. Game number three. Which character gets to go to top 16? Which character will be one of the strongest in today's tournament? Ooh, that is not... Oh, wait, no. Reinforcement saves it. That was not a good hand otherwise. Reinforcement saves it. Now you can go Silent Swordsman level five, which should be pretty... Su Why would you do that? I would like an explanation. Oh, because you have a card that does that. Okay. Sure, why not? Why, why should I judge? It's level up time anyway. Okay. 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 I guess you don't feel like leveling up. That's fine. 600 burn. Sure. Sure. Looks really good. Really good if you're a fan of Neo Celestia. She looks like she has this. Monster Born, desperate, but it's necessary. You're gonna need something better than that. Freed, there's nothing in the grave. Freed's useless. Oh no! GG Gamer, you might have to say GG already. This is looking really bad. Oh, this is looking worse by the second. Silent Swordsman level 7 could be coming. Depends on what play they want to make. Not summoning at all makes no sense to me. That was horrible by Neo Celestia. Unless they're just not allowed to tribute for whatever reason. Looks like they're, yeah, they're in a just as bad of a situation. Yeah. All you had to do was tribute summon, you would have been fine. It's right there. Or you could just wait. Yep, there you go. Level 8. Never mind, the boss monster returns to the field. Silent Magician, level 8. And now they have the damage. 
No, I meant they tri you got to tribute summon Silent Swords when level 5, then you summon Silent Swords when level 7. That's what I expected from last turn. I didn't expect them to Silent Swords when level 3 to level 5. That makes no sense. All right. Well, Copycat can copy 3,500, saving them for now. And, yeah, I think, ne I think Neo Celestia should have won two turns ago, but they've messed up. The field spell works on this timing. Lightning Vortex is a crazy card! What is this? 4,000 comes through! The boss monster is dead! Miss Judge has control! What do you do? Neo Celestia might get knocked out at the last second! She had game earlier! What was she thinking? Oh no, Freed is here. The winner at the last second. Oh, she negates it. The winner at the last second is GG Gamer. GG Gamer wins the duel. Celestia was so close. She was so close to top 16. But at least she fought really well in today's tournament. Nice try, Neo Celestia. Nice try. In other words, GG. So now we're going to move on to the next fight of the tournament. We're getting close to the bottom of the bracket. Oh boy. The next duel will be Drunken Dragon Animation versus Zachary D. Zachary D will be taking on my friend Drunken Dragon Animation. Subscribe to his YouTube channel, please, for the love of God. Now let's go ahead and find their char these characters. Hmm. Drunken Dragon Animation is ready. Zachary D is ready. Let's go. Don't forget, Anka's still alive. She has survived as long as top 16. Drunken Dragon is over here. Zachary D's on the other side, I believe. Yeah. There we go. Drunken Dragon is ready and Zachary is ready. One for one is a good start. We throw away Buster Blader. We get that card. That card has an effect. You special summon Buster Blader that you just threw away. Great play. Monster Born happens. We're going to get back that card. Apparently, it's worth it. Synchro Summon. Buster Blader synchros with this monster, and the synchro summon is Buster Dragon. Buster Dragon gets a special summon. Buster Blader returns to the field with more attack points. Buster Dragon with its 1200 attack goes in, and Call of the Haunted says no. Three traps is super good. Three traps is going to control this duel for sure. DNA surgery! We're all dragons now! We are all dragons. Geico says get rid of one dragon and banish one dragon so we don't have to worry about this. What else we got? That's yes. That is yes. And we have another trap card. Special summon another Buster Blader. We got two Buster Bladers now. And Karma Cut. Karma Cut says no. Get it out of here. The attack is good though. Geico takes a huge hit. And unless you have a light and dark in the grave, you're not going to be able to use uh, Chaos Sorcerer, but we'll see. Zachary D, what do you got? That's a light monster. And once that hits the grave, then Buster Blader's in danger. Hopefully Wookiee is able to draw what he needs, or Drunken Dragon Animation. And that monster is dead. That was the wrong one to attack. I, I'll say that for free. Because Chaos Sorcerer is ready now. Do it, Chaos Sorcerer. Chaos Sorcerer hits the field. Using its effect, it banishes Wookiee's card. And now, using the fabled Cerberal, Zachary D summons his strongest card. That is Chaos Archfiend with 4,500 attack. Drunken Dragon Animation has lost most of their life points, but he's still in the duel. He ends his turn. I, I don't know what to say anymore. That's just sad. The Fable comes through, the attack goes through, the game-winning attack goes through, and game one goes to Zachary D. A good attempt from Wookie, my friend, Drunken Dragon Animation, but it was not good enough. He needs to try again. Give him a rematch. Come on. Rematch. Let's go. Drunken Dragon, you can do this. Just don't get screwed over like, honestly, that guy just got a lucky hand. 
See, this is a much worse hand. You could beat this hand. There's no combos in this hand. You can beat it. All right, card gets summoned. Card gets spell card. Card gets thrown away. Card gets Buster Blader. TT. That is it. All right, that's it for that turn. What else you got? Ooh, that's annoying. TT and Dark Hole this early is annoying, but it's not that not that great because there's not that many monsters. But you got one Buster Blader gone so far. How many more are you gonna kill? And we have that change of heart. And we're going to use the opponent's monster for battle. And my monster's gone. Damn. I thought you were going to synchro, but now you don't even have the choice. So that sucks. All right. Well, that's not good. Oh, that is not going to be usable because there's no dark monsters in your grave. Haha. <laughs> no dark monsters means you can't use Chaos Sorcerer. All right. Wookie, Drunken Dragon, draw your stuff. There we go. Alexander, it's great. Just a good beater. There's only light monsters in the deck or in the graveyard, so that's really good. That card is amazing because we're gonna fusion summon during the battle phase. Everybody say hello to the all-powerful dragon destroyer, the boss monster. And it can't attack, apparently, but that's fine. Dark hole time. Yep. Yep. And premature burial time. Yep. And attack for 13. Yep. Can't attack directly? Good to know. Uh, Drunken Dragon, please fight harder. You're, you're, you're in a little bit of danger now. Oh, that's Noble Man. Yep, Fallen. Oh, that throws away a Dark Monster. Uh-oh. That might be game. That might be game. Oh! Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Drunken Dragon stops... It stops himself from losing. He's still in the duel. That would have been game right there. 1,300 damage. Still in the duel. What else you got? Pot of Greed. What a top deck. Pot of Greed. Are you kidding me? Foolish Burial. Okay. That's it. That's it. Gold Sarcophagus. What card do you want in two turns? Last time he did this, he chose Geico. This time he chose a monster I don't recognize. All right, another monster bites the dust. How do you summon your... You need to summon your thing. You need to summon your guy. Where is it? Where's Buster Blader? I know you summoned him a billion times, but he got killed. You need to summon him again. All right, that looks like the card he threw away. And it's a synchro summon. And with that, everybody, we have Chaos Beast, the mini boss. And something was banished, and it doesn't matter. The game winning attack goes through. Drunken Dragon gets 2 0 I'm sorry, buddy. Buster Blade is a really cool deck. It just Zachary D is on a different level. I know, it hurts my heart too. Zach D is going to top 16. Alright, let's go ahead and let's uh, move on in the bracket. That's one of my friends lost. I've only lost one friend so far. That breaks my heart, though. But it's okay. Caesar, Baldmans, and Rick and Arturo are still in the tournament. Speaking of Arturo, Mr. Glasses is up next. Mr. Glasses is going to be fighting the Upside Down Man. Good luck, Mr. Glasses. You're going to need it. All right. Mr. Glasses versus Upside Down Man. Now, I don't remember where that character is, so I'm going to need some extra time looking for it. Upside down. Where are you? Upside down, man. Upside. Yep, found him. All right, we're good to go. Let's start this fight, and let's see what happens between Mr. Glasses and Upside Down, man. Mr. Glasses, we can see. Upside down man's over there. And with this, we use the smoke signal to get another monster card. We summon Zanji, and that's it. Okay. We play Snatch Steel. Snatch Steel steals the monster card. We play Monster Card. Monster Card does damage. The only good news is Snatch Steel will heal you for a thousand. 
Other than that, this is horrible. Mr. Glass's deck's in a little bit of trouble here. The monster gets summoned. The monster gets summoned. And Shogun is on the field. The mini boss monster is in defense mode. It has good defense at least, but yeah, it does not want to be in defense mode. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate that. I hope you enjoy our Master Era tournament today. The attack goes through. We lost one of the six Sams. That's not good. We need more Samurais. Again, you get to heal a thousand, so it's now that Snatch Deal is starting to backfire. That's a very good card. That spell card comes through. And we have ourselves, uh, I think that's the Chancellor or something. I don't know. The Hand? You think he's the Hand? That's the Hand of the Six Samurai. And those cards have too much defense. You're going to need to think of something else. And Snatch Steel is going to steal the boss mon oh, the mini boss monster. And we got a big ass Synchro Summon. And with the big ass Synchro Summon, we're going to summon that guy. And those two together are going to be pretty scary. Oh, wait. Charm. Get charmed. Magatama. Magatama. Get him out of here. <laughs> All right, that could have been scary. Oh, wait, it's fine. There we go. And Shogun's betraying his own team. Oh, my God. Oh, wait, he went back to the hand. Thank God. Shogun cannot betray his own team. It's illegal. You are not allowed to betray. Okay, resummon the Shogun now. It's time. We need the Shogun. Resummon him. Yep, great. Shogun, she yet. Why in defense mode? Wait, why in defense mode? We have ourselves, it looks like, a Synchro Summon, and it's time for a Legendary Six Sam Sheen! And with this, we're going to throw away some cards, and we're going to bounce. Wait, hold up. Gradle Combat. Okay. I'm sorry, does this card have an effect I need to know about? That's too much. I don't want to read it. Harpies will try to activate, but the Shien says no. Shien throws it away. Um, do you want to put your oh, your mini boss in attack too? You know, have them you know work together. If Gradle dies, they become Snatch Steel. Oh, yeah, that could be annoying. They're gonna go for it either way. Oh dear God. Okay, well, it was worth it. He killed his entire army just to clear the field. He killed the whole army just for this to happen. Oh, what's that do? Oh, it does nothing. You get out of here. Whatever you're trying to do, not allowed. All right, could have been bad, whatever that card was. Mr. Glasses is standing strong. His boss monster holds the field for him. And Mr. Glasses goes in. Attack comes through. Attack comes through. Life is good. Having an ab ability to negate spells and traps is very valuable in today's tournament. All right, we have ourselves a set. We have a draw. I don't know who made Upside Down Man, but you're in danger. Oh, wait, what does that do? They're all Snatch Steals? Wait, they just made a deck where every card is Snatch Steal? That's busted. Holy crap, that's busted. Oh no! Oh <laughs> uh, oh no! That's uh, that's really scary. I don't even know what that does, but that doesn't matter if they don't play it. All right, we got a summon. God says no to that summon. Wow, you really hated that monster. You really God says no to that monster. You have no life points now. Attack goes through. The monster is gone, and it looks like Mr. Glasses went from being the winner to being the loser in this first duel. Yep, that seems like the loser to me. He was close, though. Yeah, get it out of here. Still have that dojo. Do you want to try activating it, maybe? No? Okay. Yeah, the monster got stolen. And the attacks go through. 2,500 comes in, and the damage is good. The winner is Upside Down Man. Let's go into game number two, and let's see if Mr. Glasses can come through for me, because I've already lost Wookie. I don't want to lose another friend. It'd make me sad. Especially since uh, this deck is pretty powerful, so if it loses to Snatch Steel, that would break his heart. 
Granted, he's asleep right now, so thank God for that. He won't have to see this till tomorrow. But, you know, just nobody tell him. We have a MST coming through. I can already see it. No Shogun combo here. All right, MST hits a card, and we got ourselves a monster. Monster summons a monster. Monster gets an equip spell. That is pretty good. That monster's too tanky. That monster is dead. Thanks to his effect. Hmm. So far, so good from Six Sands, but if every card ends up being a Snatch Deal, who the hell knows what'll happen. Not unless they have a popping effect. Attack goes through. You will be stolen now. Yup. Get stolen. And that is a very bad sign. If all you did was set that, you're in a bad spot. A normal summon comes through. Wow, God really is not on your side today. Can I get a God says no in chat? I need a no says to God because this is starting to hurt. Why don't you use that card in your hand? Is it not good? Maybe it's not. Who knows? All right. We have a normal summon. We have another summon. Oh, wait. Yep. Oh, that's a lot of popping. Is that even worth it for what you just did? Oh, it's for the synchro. Okay, that makes way more sense. That makes way more sense. And we got the dragon. All right, old Drago's on the field, and the dragon's coming through. Pop it, pop it. And Zanji's dead as well. So this is what I need you to do, Mr. Glasses. There is a button on the bottom right. No, I'm joking. Okay, get Snatch Steel. He doesn't have Snatch Steel. That's not his deck. Oh, look, he just summoned himself, and he has an effect, and he got rid of the dragon, and he's still in the duel. Wait, dragon has an effect, and that's a problematic effect. Crap. <laughs> Crap, that's a problematic effect. Uh-oh. So what are you going to do? Mother Grizzly. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that's mean. That is the end of the duel, everybody. Upside down, man. We'll continue on. My buddy, Mr. Glasses, gets a bad matchup, in my opinion. That, that, that's rough. But good job, Upside Down, man. I'm happy for you. I'll get to laugh at my friend in real life for that. Yep. Laugh right in his face. Not really. I feel bad. I, I'll feel bad for him. I will feel bad for him. We might laugh a little. So let's go ahead and move Upside Down Man forward. The next duel is going to be Cha-Cha Ryoko. Cha-Cha Ryoko is a new character we haven't seen yet. And they're going to take on Mr. Ganons. The Ganon player. All right. Mr. Ganons versus Cha-Cha. 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 Where are you? Cha-Cha Ryoko is ready. Mr. Ganons is ready. Now that you've seen basically every deck in today's tournament except one, which deck do you like the most and which deck do you hate the most? Can you even remember the last duel? I can't. <laughs> I can't. So I'm looking for Cha-Cha as we speak. Cha-Cha is ready to go. Mr. Ganons is ready to go. Looks like a very good hand for Mr. Ganons. Very good hand. They actually set Marshmallow on. That blows my mind. I can't believe they're starting to set Marshmallow on all of a sudden. Five God Dragon. You know, that could be good. Pot of Avarice. That's a very nice combo they just made. I can't even be mad at that combo. It was just a good one. Mirage Dragon to stop traps. That's really good. Piercing! And Piercing beats it! Mirage Dragon stops the trap card. Magic Cylinder cannot activate. And that is amazing! No Mirror Force can activate. No Magic Cylinder can activate. And they do Piercing on Marshmallow. That's it, Mr. Gannons. You're going to lose. You're going to lose. Jason, tell Rick. <laughs> tell Rick his deck's getting countered and he's about to lose the duel. Mirage Dragon is the greatest counter in the game. The attack goes through. The piercing is too damn good. Yeah, that actually does annoying, but whatever. It's over. The winner is Cha-Cha Ryoko. Mirage Dragon saved the day. In game number one, that is. Let's get into game number two and see what happens. Game number two. If you can get Mirage Dragon again, Ryoko, you could stop him and then I'll have no friends left. I'll just have Caesar and Baldman's. 
Those are some annoying cards. All right, Mass Dragon. Don't Dark Hole. God damn it. Terrible AI being terrible. A tale as old as time. Poison of the Old Man. Doing its job. Yeah, Dark Sanctuary doing its job. Fossil Dyna being used for 1200 damage. Why not? Why not? That could be very good. We have the Dweller in the Depths. And let's see if it works. If it's heads, it works. It did not work. Fossil Dyna's already dead. All right. So the special summons can now begin. And they didn't have any yet. But hey, Fossil Dyna's dead. That's pretty important. Here we go with the old man again. The cauldron is doing its job. Just stewing up some damage. That's some pretty good cards you just top deck. Mirage Dragon is definitely ne uh, necessary now. Come on, Cha-Cha. We need you. We need you. Save the day. All, oh, well, that's really good. Okay, that's good, but you need more. Attack goes through. Yeah, that didn't work. You didn't have your piercing, so that did not work. And now that Manier bug hurts. Oh, Lightning Vortex. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, anything can happen now. All right, how are we going to play this? We're going to keep the Cauldron. The Cauldron is going to win you this duel slowly but surely. We have the Sanctuary. Mass Dragon sits there. He needs the piercing. Harpies! That was the most valuable Harpies in the game. Harpies takes out all of the most brutal cards. Spear Creating gives them both a monster. You get our dragon, he gets Maneater Bug. Yep. Alright, life is good. Are you ever going to set that Dyna, though? Marshmacon is also good. And Maneater Bug flips itself in order to gain its own attack. I would have killed Mass Dragon. It makes way more sense to kill Mass Dragon. The attack goes through, and 1915 Burn goes the other way. Special summons can't happen, though. Until you kill that fossil dino. Pot of Greed was one of the best top decks you could have got. Element Dragon is so good. Ele the hell? Why aren't you attacking fossil dino? There's something going on here that I don't understand. That was a bad play, right? Why Why didn't you attack fossil dino? Well, you had the chance. Are you even going to survive till your shard of greed now? Oh my god. That misplay might be critical. Marshmacon again. Attacks go through. Damage is good. Shard of Greed is nice, but you can't special summon. You have to beat everything on the field with a normal summon, a spell, or a trap card. Two traps. Okay, two traps could be the way. Two traps can be the way. Let's see what happens. Marshmacon is here. Marshmacon is here. They're going in. They're waiting. The traps are waiting. Oh, God. There might not be a trap card. Oh! We're going to game three, everybody. But I need the restroom. So game three will be a chair stream. Everybody get ready. Game three will decide it. Will Mr. Gannons continue or will Cha-Cha save the day? Let's go. Hold on. I'll be back.
happened? Who's winning? Five God Dragon is zero attack. Why is this? Why is this real? Okay, that card failed. Fairy Box, will you fail? Fairy Box su succeeds. All right. The jar survives, healing uh, healing our buddy, Mr. Gannons. Mr. Gannon, stay strong. I don't recognize that monster. Why does Mr. Gannons have a 2200 attack point monster? What the hell? Oh, the Anubis burn! Wait a minute. The Anubis burn is real. Future fusion is protected. And you take 22. Mr. Gannons is so close to a loss. His life points. Okay, he's healing, but his life points are right there. All right. What do we got? Tribute summon. Oh, that one does piercing. Oh, my God. That one does piercing. The duel could be over. This could be it. Mr. Gannons might be out. Nope, he said tails. He said tails. Holy crap. That was the end of the duel right there. But he said tails. He did not say tails that time. And it didn't matter. He hungers for five god dragons attack stat. The entire duel was in your hands, Cha-Cha. But because you called it wrong, the winner is obviously Mr. G uh, Mr. Gannons. With this much attack, how does he lose? It breaks my heart. It breaks my heart. Oh, that was a misplay. I mean, he's got the life point, so it's fine. Unless a monster born happens. Uh, but that was a misplay, doing all that on main phase two. There's a chance. Cha-Cha, there is a chance. Oh, but he's healing this entire time. Both aroma jars were flipped. He's still healing. Fossil Dyna can prevent special summons. It's not going to. All right. What do we, okay, we got a monster card, but it's not enough. We need we need a lot. We're going to need a lot. Cha-Cha, come on. You got this. The jars have healed so much. The chair told you that I'm a fraud. You know too much. Mass Dragon is here to try and do some damage at least. But who's the one that's actually going to take the damage is my question. Okay. You got past the Dark Sanctuary. You got past Matt. Okay. He did it. 950, which is zero because your opponent's healing. You had Element Dragon this whole time and you weren't doing damage while Swords was up? Oh my god, Cha-Cha, you're upsetting me. You're upsetting me, Cha-Cha. You had damage right there. You had all the damage you needed. It was right there. Okay. You need a Red Gecky. Cha-Cha, no! Don't hide in defense mode. That's what he wants. Don't you get it? This is what he planned for. Ah, oh, crap. With Fossil Dino on the field, there's no special summons. I've never seen a Roma Jar be used as a beater, but it's being used as a beater and it's working. The duel could have been over earlier if the piercing just went through, but Fairy Box is so cruel. Why does Fairy Box have to be cruel? All right, here it comes. I'm sorry, fans. He went from like 2,000 life points to 9,000. Mass Dragon can't special summon, therefore the duel is over. The winner, with all the jars and the mimicking man-eater bugs, is Mr. Ganons. The evil continues. Hey! hey. Meow. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and move on to the next duel. I feel bad for the next guy that has to fight Mr. Ganons. That was just rude. I thought Cha-Cha could do it when Cha-Cha won that first duel. I was so excited. I was like, oh my god, all we need is a Mirage Dragon, and then it never happened again. Yeah, Roxy's right here. The next duel, and the final duel of top six or top 32 will be Luxu Lost Star versus Black Dawn. Here we go, everybody. The only character we haven't seen so far is Luxu. So hopefully Luxu has a fun duel against Black Dawn. This is Roxy Girl. All right, there we go. Let's get it started, guys. The final duel of top 32. All right. 
right. Bla uh, Black Dawn is on the wrong side. I think that's where the other one is for. Where's Luxu? Yep, that's Luxu right there. All right, Luxu, let me give you some love. I love you. I love you. You're a good kitty. All right, Harpies is brutal. That's absolutely brutal. Already losing all your cards. Uh, that monster has been summoned. That monster goes in, and that monster is going to get destroyed. Okay, no, that worked out. That somewhat worked out. Could have been worse. It's called Lushu. Okay. And Cyber Jar in attack mode. One of the most classic things I've ever seen in this, uh, this Master Era story of ours. I think it was popularized by the Great Bandit Keith, and then everyone else just followed suit. And the attack goes through, and that's good. Huh. What are you going to do? Black Dawn has advantage for now. Right? The dog could help. The dog could help. Mystic Tomato is going to destroy Cyber Jar. The dog will kill the giant 2k beater monster. That is necessary. And we have ourselves a set. Obviously, that'll just get Harpies. And we have a trap card, which hopefully it's good, because uh, you got no hand. Black Dawn's got Waboku, though. And I don't see it doing much. Okay. It looks good for Black Dawn fans out there. This deck is working. Shining Angel with Mystic Tomato is doing the job. That's still 28 or 38, 2,800 damage. Sorry. Pretty good. What do you got? Luxie, you got a monster in that deck? There we go. See, that's one of your better monsters. It does damage. It has 2,100 attack when it's the attacking monster. Jane is very handy. I think it also mills. Yeah, it mills. That's just a handy card. Dark Hole being lost kind of sucks, though. That's a tuner. That's not good. You should be scared. All right, Tuner comes through, and we get ourselves Coral Dragon from earlier. Yep, hi there again. Good to see you again. Coral Dragon throws away a card, and Trap Card activates. Trap Card targets the monster. And now it's much stronger than it once was. Even Coral Dragon has to be afraid. All right, that worked in its own way. That's a good top deck. Okay, wait a minute. That is actually a good top deck. That could be a game-saving top deck. It might buy you time. And Jane, can you please only hit monster cards? Okay. At least you hit a monster card, right, Roxy Girl? Yes, that's right. Coral Dragon's gonna do its effect again. This time it'll work, and that sucks. Never mind. <laughs> I, I didn't think, uh, yeah, I didn't think that through. And with one turn left, you have 100 life points to your name. Top deck or die. Top deck or die. Death it is. <laughs> you chose death. And there we go. Game number one goes to Black Dawn. Let's go ahead and get into the sorry, right, to right next to the mouse. Uh, let's get into game number two. And let's see if uh, Lost Star here can make a comeback. Auto Greed Terraforming, much better. Much better. Even if you get Harpies this time, you have a much better chance. Oh, yeah. We can work with this. We can work with this. Did I hear another cat? No, I didn't. Pot of Greed comes through. Chaos Zone comes through. Gravekeeper Spy is very good. We're going to get another monster. Gravekeeper Spy, of course. That's a little rough. You got anything else? You got the big beater monster, of course. The big beater will be stopped by Light Sworn Barrier. Oh, it hit two doggos. Two monsters with the same name, not so good. Harpies is good. Now you could just tribute summon for, you know, something. Waboku says no. Black Dawn controls the field. And we have a Synchro Summon, everyone. Say hello to Big Dragon. Level 8 Synchro 
It's Chaos Archfiend. That looks a lot like Zachary D. Zachary D, when would you show up? Oh, that's really good. That worked out really well. I like that. I like that a lot. Magical Hound. That's pretty good, too. That's a lot of car. Oh, dear God. What are you doing? Oh, my God. What are you doing? Massive Synchro Summon comes through, everybody. Black Dawn shall now summon the almighty Scrap Archfiend. Wow, that actually does beat that beats the other guys. I can't even be mad because it does beat both the opponent's monsters. As long as no banishing happens. If banishing happens, then it's going to die. That's a good top deck. I, I hate to admit it, but that's a good one. Oh, there we go. You're at 45. And you get to destroy that monster, I guess, instead of Scrap Archfiend. But now you're going to be too weak, so kind of a weird play. If you summon a monster, you'd probably die. Yep. And they're all gone. Now it's an open field. Anything can happen except... Yeah, they're both basically brick. Both of them are top decking. That's a good top deck. All right, that top deck is 1800. Chaos Zone Special summons a new monster now that you've thrown away so many. And that's a 2k beater. That's 3800 damage. Call the Haunted. Damn. Scrap Archfiend holding the field. That's pretty crazy. Attack goes through for 700. Not bad. Scrap Archfiend will continue to hold the field. Lost Star's in a bit of trouble right now. Dark Hole can help. Okay, back to the top deck game. Dark Hole saves the day for now. Even hit a Mystic Tomato, so no floats. That is much better than the top deck game. That means you have advantage. Advantage goes to Lost Star. All right, heart of the cards, what do you get? Black Dawn's top deck was not worth showing, so we're going to have to set that. You got anything else? Ooh, what a top deck. That's very good. With this, we're going to special summon Lila. And now they're going to work together, and they're all up. Oh, another Mystic Tomato. Wow, you drew two back to back. Mystic Tomato gets Mystic Tomato. And this just has to beat 1,000 attack. Krebons does beat 1,000. Now you need to top deck a, tu a non-tuner monster, and it needs to work. Heart of the cards on this one, guys. Heart of the cards. Let's see what they get. Non tuner. Nope, they're both tuners. They're both tuners. Bad situation. Oh, they're trying to deck out the opponent. They're trying to deck out the opponent. Lost Star's in trouble. 13. But Krebons is going to cost them a lot of life points. Oh, what does that do? That's good. Jane kind of. Actually, Jane changes the whole duel. Oh. Okay. Boss Monster Time! It's Chaos Angel! The strongest card in Lost Star's deck! Chaos Angel is here. The damage is going to be insane. In fact, it's over. The duel is over. Attack goes through. Attack goes through. Attack goes through. And it's over. We're going to game three. Game three. Will Black Dawn continue or will it be Lost Star? Which one can do it? It was nice to see Chaos Angel, though. That was cool. I love to see the boss monster. Hopefully it can happen again. Or hopefully uh, Black Dawn will get their boss, which they still haven't summoned yet. We have not seen Black Dawn's boss monster yet. We've seen a lot of their powerful cards, though. Yeah, that was a good comeback. That was really cool. So let's see what they draw this time. I don't recognize a lot of these cards, sadly. So I know I know the Light Sworn Girl, and I know Cyber Jar and Harpies. That's it. Okay, Trap Card gets defeated. The Trap Card is gone. Set, set. Ooh, we're going to have fun? Everybody, it's time for a fun Cyber Jar duel. Let's see who gets better cards. All right, we're going to destroy Harpies. Waboku, Waboku, where's your monsters? Oh my god. Zero monsters. Zero monsters from Black Dawn. Black Dawn's in trouble. Alright, what about you, Lost Star? Did you get anything? No. Yes, that's one. Two. Three. There we go.
Dark Hole early. Yep, makes sense. You're very upset with the fact that your opponent got monsters and you didn't. Harpies, I would have waited. You saw the magic cylinder like I did. And two back row. Now are you going to play Chaos Space? I don't know what it does, that's why I ask. Chaos Space does this. You throw away a card, you get a card. Sure. Chaos Daedalus is on the field. That card has another effect. It throws away that for Lumina, most likely. That card has another effect. And that card puts it over there. And you get Premature! And Premature gets Jane. You could have used Lumina for that, but sure. And Lumina will get something else. Lumina, there's two Janes! And that is the end of the duel. Waboku. I forgot they have two of those, right? So they're fine. Waboku will buy them time, but Black Dawn needs something that can defeat Chaos... Uh, I assume that's Chaos Angel. You need to beat the boss monster Chaos Angel. Find a way to beat that. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be a rough duel. You already used Dark Hole earlier, so it's going to be a really rough duel. Yeah, not looking good. Not looking good for Black Dawn right now. They may have beat Daigo Serato, which was good for them, but uh, this ain't work. Oh, no! Banish the Marshmallow! All right, Marshmallow getting banished is pretty crazy. What the hell? The only way you're going to win this is deck out. I and mean, there's plenty of cards left. There's still 16 cards left. You're not going to win by deck out either. So Can you pop swords with that dog? Can that dog pop swords? Are they smart enough to pop swords? Okay. The luckiest top deck in the world has happened. And because of that, it looks like Black Dawn has found a way to win. They can win by deck out. Trap activates. The deck out game is possible. Eight cards left. It's over in two turns. The duel will end in two turns unless they get MST or they actually find a way to pop that card. Where's Lila when you need her? Game's over. Lost Star got unlucky. Swords was top decked at the perfect time. And because of that, Lost Star, not only did you lose, but you got dusted. That is it, everybody. The winner is Black Dawn in a very crazy comeback. After seeing the Chaos Angel and all the crazy cards, I thought they would lose. But at the end of the day, Swords wins the duel. Good job, Black Dawn. And sorry about that, Lost Star. You were amazing. It just... It didn't work out for you at the very end. Your first duel was sad, and your third duel was unlucky. Second duel was amazing, but third duel was unlucky. So, let's go ahead and let's move into the top 16 of our bracket. It's time, everybody. Top 16 characters. The first fight will be Laser Mike versus my buddy Caesar. All right. Laser Mike versus Caesar. Let's see who wins. Honestly, Caesar, I'm very surprised you made it this far. If I had to be real with you, I'm surprised you made it this far. Uh, Laser Mike, I'm not surprised. I think your deck is fine. Obviously, the AI doesn't play it perfectly, but I think the idea of the deck is fine and it does good. All right, let's see here. And it looks like we're ready to go. Caesar versus uh, Laser Mike. Let's do it. I'm looking for Laser's face, and it looks like we're good to go. Terraforming to start the duel is very good for Laser. That is very good. Union Hanger gets yourself an A Assault Core. Nothing wrong with that. And we just have a set. And we have 1,500. The salt core will leave us for now. Lots of back row, but that's fine. I'm surprised you didn't want to destroy the Union Hanger while you had the chance. Guess you're waiting for a real trap card. But then this happens. Oh, there you go. Swords. All right. His Harpy's worth it now. I see a sword. Swords is worth it. That's all I'm saying. Oh, Grandmaster. Okay. That's really good. What a top deck. 
All right, Grandmaster. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to curse, but why? I I'm sorry. Why? Caesar, what were you thinking? What were you doing, man? They get a bunch of cards and you get one. That one card better be damn good. You already used your normal summon. Call the haunted for who? Oh, you can get Grandmaster still? Never mind. That worked really nice. That You know what? It did damage. It did damage. Now, granted, your opponent has a lot of cards, but you did damage, so I can't be mad. At least you did something. There it is. Union Hanger number two. And now we have the Sea Crush Wyvern. Do you have a Assault Core? Yep. All banished. And ABC Dragon Buster is here. The boss monster of boss monsters. ABC goes in, easily destroys the opponent. And what the hell are you going to do without Grandmaster? <gasps> Shogun! He got his boss! Oh no, it won't matter! He got, uh, it got banished before he got the chance. Oh, Shogun. Shogun, no! And the C gets an A, and that's another fusion summon. ABC Part 2. ABC gets rid of the monster, and they're going in. Poor Caesar. Alright, guys. No duel is over. One more attack, and it ends it all. I don't think Rhoda can save you. It's a beautiful card. I don't think it can save you. I think you're getting banished alone this time. ABC, go ahead. And that's enough damage. ABC Dragon goes in, and that's it. Caesar, let's try again in duel number two. It's going to be a rough one, but you can do this. You can do this. You just got to figure it out, because I couldn't. I, none of my, not, my clown deck wouldn't beat ABC. I get my ass kicked. But you, you got six Sams. You got to try and do this. <clears throat> All right, Rhoda, what do we got? I'd summon Breaker if I were you. Yep, it's a good play. You can set your trap if you want, but yeah, we'll see. Did you get your field spell? Yes, you did. Okay, very good start for Laser Mike. Whenever they get the field spell, just assume the duel's going to go well for them. Graceful Charity. They're going to throw away spells, most likely. Oh, they threw away Assault Core and Limited Removal. Premature Burial comes through for Assault Core. Union Hangers, like, I'll give you an attachment. And we got all of them. They could, they could fusion summon whenever they feel like it. Whenever they feel like fusing, it can happen. All right. We got Brain Control for Assault Core. Yep. God says no! God will prevent Brain Control, meaning that there's no chance. Assault Core will remain. That's not good. You do get Grandmaster. It has an attachment at the very least. But, oh, you're trying to win by... Okay, he's trying to get his opponent as low as possible. He is trying to get his opponent as low as possible. He needs to do as much damage while he can. That's a good card. That is a good card. But honestly, it's time for ABC. Yep. ABC time, everybody. And I would do the banishing effect because you can't beat it by battle with that field spell. MST, I guess you can now. Oh, didn't matter. Interesting. No, that works. That works. All right. Attachment and trap card are gone. You can now beat it by battle. Not by much, but enough. And 1500 comes through. With Witch as their final card, I don't think that's going to get them enough burn. Their only hope is to get Magic Cylinder and for ABC not to pop it. Iroh's trying to do damage, but ABC's just going to banish it. Oh my god! It's so brutal! What are you supposed to do, Caesar? How do you come back from this? Assault Core is going to unequip, and there's Shining Angel, and that's just so much damage. It's over. Caesar tried in that duel. They got him down to 2,500, but at the end of the day, Laser Mike is going to top eight. Laser Mike will be moving to top eight with the ABCs. All right, let's see right here. 
You know, for such an old school six Sam deck, it did way better than I thought it would. It did way better. So let's go ahead and let's see who's up next. The next characters fighting will be Raika versus Gecko Hibiki. Raika will be fighting Gecko. Should be a fun duel. All right, let's see. All right, Gecko is ready. Raika is not ready because I can't find them. Found them. And we're ready to start the duel. Which of these characters is good enough for top eight? I hope you have a good day as well. Any of my friends left? My friends Boldmans and my friends Mr. Gannons. Those are my two friends that remain. Drunken Dragon, Caesar, and Mr. Glasses uh, sadly fell. They all tried their best, though. All right. Looking for their faces right now. Gecko is ready. And uh, Rika. Rika. Rika is ready. All right. Here we go. Thunder King is here. We're going to obviously just summon a bunch of dragons. That's dragon rulers. If you don't summon a bunch of dragons, you're not playing dragon rulers. Compulse makes sense. Thunder King is doing its job. I think you're going to need to play... Uh, no, no fusion cards. That's not good. Monster Reborn steals a not-so-good dragon card, in my opinion. I guess you're going for maximum damage. An interesting idea, Gecko. I just don't recommend it. Ugh. Ugh. What are you going to do? Uh, Raika, you're going to special summon, right? Yeah. That makes sense. Attack goes through. What do we do? They're in a lot of trouble here. Okay, this is what you do. You draw Polly and you pray. That gets you Polly if you pick Blazer. You didn't even use the search effect. Sir, s sir, why didn't you? Oh, you can't because Thunder King, right? Whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We'll see what happens. As long as that dragon remains, it's going to be a tough duel. Not Redox. Redox sucks. I don't know why they summoned that. Nah, I still got two friends left. All right, the attack goes through. Redox is a weird choice because you're not even destroying anything. Redox goes back to the hand. I mean, it could stall, I guess, but like, what are you stalling for if you're always throwing away cards? You know what I mean? Exactly. He, he doesn't get it. All right, you need you needed to get Polly already. Where's your Polly? Gecko, where is your Polly? Tell me right now, where is your Polly? Why don't I see it? Where are you hiding it? If your deck is heroes, you should have Polly in every hand. Oh, Boulder Man. All right, Boulder returns. That's a lot of set, and I get this. That's crazy. All right, Thunder King again if you want it, but you don't need it. And once again, he's got cards for Redox. I, I don't get it. What? Where's your Polly? <laughs> you just need one. No Polly need mask. Get mask. That. I don't care. Get something. As long as you fuse, I'll be happy, but you're having some trouble here. Oh, there's one that can actually do damage, finally. Because now you got to do a blaster. And blaster's going to hurt. Holy... Oh, no. Mass change! No, no chance. And blaster's going back to the hand, but as long as there's monsters to throw away, he'll just come back. Yep. Top decks himself, destroy a card on the field, and that's all he could do. All right, that's all they could do, which means now it's time for Gecko to pop off. E emergency call. That gets Stratos. Stratos, it's time. Oh no, we're summoning Honest Neos like it's a normal mom. Did you? I have never seen Honest Neos be normal summoned in my life. Never in my life has this happened. That's game though. <laughs> 4,500 damage. Honest Neos wins. 
The winner is Gecko. Let's go ahead and get into game number two and see what happens. We did it earlier? I didn't remember. Rhoda comes through. We get reinforcements. And we have this card. And we have that card. Honest Neos comes through. Sure, sure. What are you going to do with it, though? Upstar Goblin. Okay, healing your opponent. Sure. Blaster gets summoned. Oh, God says no to Blaster. Everyone, I need a God says no in chat. Blaster has been defeated. But Redox hasn't. Redox gets Redox, of course. And we're just going to have a set. Can't charge your mask if you don't draw a mask change. Skyscraper. Okay. Old school, but it'll do. Honest Neos being forced to be used just to be a defense go monster breaks my freaking heart. And we got ourselves a normal summon. Sure. Okay, let's just normal summon Honest Neos. We don't, we, we don't need it for its effect or anything. It's not like it's valuable. Yeah, yeah, just garbage. Throw them in the trash. Not useful at all. All right, next. Yeah, blaster's coming through. That makes sense. And these cards let you get cards to your hand. Yeah, redox. Okay, something better than that. Let's try something better. Okay. Title has some attack. I'll give you that. 28 to the face is not good. Gecko's going to need a comeback. Mass change finally, but it's too late to the party. Why would you set that? What if they have MST? I mean, you have mass charge, so I guess it doesn't matter. It's probably better if you set it. Go ahead. Graceful Charity comes through. Graceful Charity throws away two monsters. And it's time for the pot of greed. It's time to start special summoning. Here we go, everybody. We're getting Blaster. He does the most damage. What else? Come on, don't pretend like Blaster's the only one. You got more than that. And we're getting title. Come on, there's one more in that. There's one more. Yep. And we're getting game. The winner is Raika. Raika will be taking game number two. Let's move on to game number three and see which one of these characters can go all the way. Who's going to top eight? All right. Get that going. I'm going to drink some water. Double Skyscraper is a terrible hand. Thunder King can help a little. Thunder King can help. You vote for the, you vote for the one that you can beat, Laser Mike. That's the one you vote for. All right, Title comes through. Title's gonna get bounced as we all expected. And it looks like that other monster is gonna be uh, just sitting there. E emergency call. Okay, Gecko, it's time. Oh, you can't because you have Thunder King. Okay. Interesting. Skyscraper being used is nice. Magic Cylinder is not nice. That's annoying. All right. This is my strategy. You don't do anything to the Thunder King because the Thunder King is holding them back. You let that one live. Roxy girl, what are you doing? What are you doing, Roxy? My cat's being weird. She's having fun. All right. E-emergency call. Let's see what you get. Yeah, that was a good choice. That's a good choice. Stratos is a good choice. Very nice. Pop the back one. Yep. Royal Decree is gone. Honest Neos. That's a good choice. And it looks like Gecko is finally taking advantage in this duel. Now, granted, next turn he's probably going to lose his card, but he still took advantage, and I like that. Oh, it's over! Gecko! Let's go! Gecko top decks Monster Reborn for game! Monster Reborn comes through! It's just like Jaden and Chaz's first duel. And that is it, everybody. I'm afraid. Rika, you are leaving. You did amazing in today's tournament, but you are leaving. With your own monster, you have lost. The winner is Gecko. Pretty, pretty good. You ran out of dragons at the very end. Yep, she is bacon. 
So let's go ahead and let's go find who's up next. Now that uh, Gecko has moved forward. All right, I am starting to get hungry, but I will survive. Gecko moves forward. The next duel will be Dummy Gamer, and Dummy Gamer is going up against Bulbmans. All right, Dummy Gamer versus Bulbmans. Let's see who wins. All right, looks like we're ready to start. Should be fun, and we'll see what happens. Have a nice sleep, Squall. Have a nice sleep. Dummy Gamer is over here. And Bulbman's is over here. Alright, this time we're not going to get to see Bulbman's hand, but we'll see what kind of combos they come up with. Tyrant Wing is nice, but you still need your, your fusion card in order to use it. Heavy Storm is God tier. Heavy Storm... Oh no! You messed up! Oh no, Dummy Gamer! You digital dummy, what were you thinking? Now you have to deal with Stardust Dragon. All right, MST comes through. At least you got rid of Scrap Iron. At least you hit Scrap Iron. Oh God, if they get a tuner monster, you're in so much trouble. Do not let them get a tuner. If they get a tuner, you might as well give up. Oh crap, Baldwin's got a tuner. Yep, this is gonna be a brutal turn. Doppel Warrior is back. Wait, why didn't you get the Quibolts? Quibolts are good. Okay, it's because you didn't want to fill up your field. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. He did not want to fill up his field. Doppel Token. Doppel Token. Junk Speeder gets token. Uh, synchro, Synchro. The Synchro Summon comes through. Level 7, you know he loves Berserker. Berserker is here. Quillbolt is finally ready to come out. Level 5 Synchro Summon comes through. The level 5 Synchro will be the Excel Synchro. Are we going to have an Excel Synchro Summon? Is that a possibility? And we have an Excel Synchro Summon, everybody. Level 10 Synchro. It's Shooting Star Dragon. Okay, the speedster goes through. Tyrant Wing tries to save the day, but it's not enough. Shooting Star Dragon is standing right there waiting for its turn. And Boldmins goes in and he destroys the dummy gamer. It's no, the boss was summoned last duel. It's Qu Quasar's the boss. That was the mini boss. Yeah, last time Boldmins duel, he did summon Quasar and he won with it. This time he summoned Shooting Star. But it's fine. It's game two. Dummy Gamer will get his fusion spell this time. He needs Mirror Force Dragon. Mirror Force Dragon is helpful. Crush card or Ring of Destruction. There's value here. There is there is a lot of value here. All right, quick draw. What else you got? Junk Synchron. Doppel Warrior was a lucky hit. Synchro Summon comes through. Level 5 Synchro Summon. What are we going to get? Junk Speeder. He loves it. He loves his speed. All right. We get two tokens and then two Synchro. Oh, wait a minute. I think the effect still goes off, right? You might have wanted to save that Ring of Destruction. Unless they get Stardust Dragon, then I guess not, but... Yeah, we'll see. Yep, Junk Speeder still got their effect off. And we have a level 7 Synchro, which I think is unnecessary. I think Junk Berserker is a little unnecessary. It's a nice card, just not neat. Oh, never mind. They can do whatever they want. They can do whatever they want. They're not done yet. They had Monster Reborn in their opening hand. And we have a level 8 Synchro Summon. And level 8 could be the safest card in the game. It's Stardust Dragon, the safest card you could have. Stardust destroys the monster. Uh, destroys the monster. All right, you get one more turn, dummy gamer, before you get knocked out. 100 Dragon goes in. 100 Dragon gets rid of Quick Draw. That is the end of the duel, I'm afraid. Baldman's has dominated. Baldman's has destroyed. 
Junk Synchron comes through. Are we going to Synchro again? Oh my god, leave him alone. He's already dead. Leave him alone. Junk Warrior comes through. It's going to be even stronger than Junk Berserker. Please stop. Please leave him alone. He's just a boy. And Junk Speeder gets thrown away. That monster has zero attack. Game winning attack goes through. Boldman's wins with Stardust. <sighs> Crap. Okay. Well, <laughs> top eight Boldman's, everybody. Let's go ahead and move on to the next duel. Sorry about that, dummy gamer. You made it pretty far. Honestly, top 16 is really good, but damn. You ran into an opponent you were not ready for. Let's see who's up next. The next duel is Yayoi Hazama versus Onka D. All right, Onka D here to save the day once again for all of my the characters I've made. Your created characters have forced them. I mean, I only got two of mine in the top 16 of the created characters, Onka D and Zachary D. Yayoi Hazama is somewhere in here, though. Ready to fight. Yep. Let's see if you could be the one to stop Anka. Two people have already lost to Anka. One of them was Alien and one of them was... Uh... God, it's been so long since the first duel. I need your guys' help remembering. Not like it matters because Anka D is going in. Yayoi Hazama, I wish you all the luck in the world. Alright, that's a good start. 2,000 attack is a good start. It's gone. <laughs> Oh, no. Johnny Swag! Yeah, you're right. Thank you for remembering. All right. At least you have a monster with 2,600 defense. It's going to be really hard for her to deal with that. Never mind. DD Warrior is like, I love you. Come to the Banish Zone with me. Come to the woods with me. 1,400 attack comes through after that. It's not looking good right now. Shining, oh my god, it's the Shining Angel. Reinforcements, you lose the Shining Angel battle. You can't win it like that. Oh. Too bad it was only temporary power. We needed more. DD Warrior Lady or DD Assailant? DD Assailant gets banished. Anka's like, wait, you banished my monster? You're a comedian, huh? You think you're funny? <laughs> Watch this. All right, the Shining Angel battle. Let's see who wins. Which character has the better floater afterwards? Shining Angel. Shining Angel. Is this the person that beat you, Bernard? That's very funny. Uh, that's pretty good. 14. Oh, the mighty 3DD beating. Nobody can stop the three DD beating. The warrior ladies are too good. Dark hole, it can't beat all of them. That's only one of them. You only beat one. Oh, 1400 attack comes through. That doesn't count as one, guys. You obviously special summoned one of them. Okay, necro face is good. It can have a billion attack points thanks to Fiend Comedian. All right, with 1,900 attack, it beats the opponent's monster. You must top deck, Yaoyoi. I know you have some good top decks in your deck. Please get them. I'm trying to help you here. A trap. It could be good. A trap could be very valuable. We'll see. We'll find that out together. Macrocosmos, it took a while for her to get one of these cards, but it's good. We got one turn left, Yaoyoi. Make it count. MST? Sure. Sure. You already used Dark Hole, so I'm trying to think about how you win this. What card does it? Graceful? Sure. Graceful throws away Rush and Elf. Okay. And I think game one's going to Anka. Yep, I'm pretty sure it is. Anka attacks. She can banish herself for game. And that is it. It is over. We already have a Helios deck, Jason. The uh, character called... Uh, he's, in the, he's in the underground tournament. Yeah, we already have a guy who uses a Helios deck. Forgot his name. What was his name? I know it's Banner, but what's his other form called? 
Amnael. It's Amnael's deck. All right, we're going to game two. We are going to game two. It's a long tournament, so I'm definitely having a harder time here. But I'm, 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 I'm still here. I'm staying alive. All right, let's see. Macrocosmos very early is super good. That card does not want to fight DD Survivor because DD Survivor would just return. In fact, DD Survivor gets maximum value from crashing. Oh, bottomless, unlucky. And, okay, Anka does not know about the value from crashing. Unlucky. Magicians, oh, that's valuable though. That actually is very valuable. DD Survivor returns to the field. DD Warrior has an open shot right now. Shining Angel is here. Shining Angel goes in. DD Survivor goes in, but yes, Magic Cylinder has value. All right, it's fine. You're fine, Yayoi. You got this. It's a very simple field to deal with. You just need a monster with 1,900 attack. One equip spell. Not okay. Maybe you have 2k defense. It's possible. Just pray to God they don't attack you with DD Warrior, because then you're gone for good. Okay. They did attack your DD Warrior, but they took a long way to do it, so you're fine. It took them too long to do that. They're, you're only taking 18. All right, let's see. Sage is here. Magician Circle is a good combo. Oh, crap. Anka used... That's her boss. That's Anka's boss monster. Anka's boss monster is here, and now the duel is officially over. All she has to do is activate her boss monster's effect, and that's the end of the duel. Yep. Yep. Boss Monster gets DD Warrior Lady from the Remove from Play Zone. And with this, we have too much damage showing. Attack goes through. Attack goes through. And the attack goes through. I'm afraid Yao Yoi got 2 0'd by Anka D. I'm sorry, Yao Yoi. You fought hard to get to top 16, but you couldn't go any farther than that. It's rough. Anka D will continue on as a top 8 competitor in our tournament. Yep. Yep, one of those characters from our actual show, one of the better duelists in the underground, is pretty scary. She's never won a tournament. She's only been up to top four, I believe. I think the deck was just fine. I think it did great. If you got to top 16, it did its job. All right, the next duel is going to be Ferris Polo versus Yumi Pegasus. Ferris Paulo versus Yumi Pegasus. Let's see which character will continue on. Which character is worth top eight? Let's go. All right, Ferris Paulo seems to have a great hand. Yumi Pegasus is going to need to have a crazy hand to make up for this. Oh, God, it just got better. This hand scares the crap out of me. This hand scares the crap out of me. That was... Why? No, why? That that was terrible. That was act actually terrible. I don't care what anyone says. I disagree with that play. I mean, what you have left is still fine. It's just it could have been much better. There you go. You could still Miracle Fuse, but still, you, you had way, way more options. All right, let's see. That's pretty good. All right, that's pretty good. Let's work with this. The attack goes through. Marshmallow will not die, and it does 1,000. Thank God they're using Mush Mar Marshmallow. It gets popped. Attack direct for 3K. Attack for 36. And Dark Hole or Bust. Uh, no, it's not Yami Pegasus. This is Yumi Pegasus. Yumi. Yami Pegasus is a character in our show. Yumi Pegasus is a character created by a donator. Attack goes through, 3600. Popping the trap card to make sure it doesn't stop. It's Super Poly! They had Super Poly, but they didn't have a monster card. That sucks. Oh, no. They had the Super Poly and it didn't matter. Let's go to game two. Yumi Pegasus was in a bed. They just had a bad hand. Also, I saw Ferris Paulo's hands, and I was like, oh, yeah, they're going to win. That, that hand was busted. Let's see this one. It's the same hand. It's so good. It's so good. Other than you need Stratos, but it's still... You can get E-Emergency Call Stratos, so it's good. 
It's so goddamn good. All right, Stratos comes through. Stratos gets that. Exactly, it's Dream Pegasus. That's a great name for him. So they're not going to fuse just yet, but they have the ability to fuse whenever they want. Instant Fusion is very interesting. Thousand Eyes Restrict just to get rid of the opponent's monster could be useful. All right, that card's going to use its effect in order to change the monster so your target is failed. All right, the wind stays right there. Shadow Mist gets Ocean Man. And two trap cards. Sadly, Thousand Eyes Restrict did fail. And that monster has zero attack. And po Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'd be so happy if it were me. Why didn't you summon Stratos? But whatever. I'd be so happy if it were me. Hi, Sunrise. Good to see you again. All right, what else you got? Miracle Fusion. That's really good. Ocean Man. Oh, you're not even going to fuse anymore. You're just done. All right, 3,100 damage. Sunrise pops a trap. Goodbye, Relinquish Fusion. And game-winning attack. The winner is not you just yet, but Mass Change, so it is you. All right, 3,300. Mass Change comes through. You only need 1,800 attack, and the monster you chose has 12, 32. Holy crap, 3,200 attack comes through, and that is the end of the duel. The winner is Ferris Paulo. All right. So let's go ahead and move forward. Yumi Pegasus, I'm sorry you made it really far in the tournament, but Ferris Polo was a little too fast for you. Just a little too much speed for a character like you. So let's go ahead and let's see who's up next. The next characters in our top eight battles will be Lane Holfeltz versus GG Gamer. I, I have no clue how GG Gamer's still here. Their deck has no real like it's I don't know how they're still here let's just talk, that's the end of it I do not know makes no sense they have th wait GG Gamer has three conscriptions I haven't seen one activate so far and they've been in two different duels so that that blows my mind that blows my mind that they haven't activated it yet all right let's go ahead and get into it guys GG's Gamers decks just a bunch of light monsters, I guess. They some they don't really have any synergy. It's just light monsters. It's just light monsters. There's nothing complicated about the deck. It's just light monsters. That's it. Nothing futuristic, nothing crazy. Just look at his hand. Look at the hand. The hand explains it all. Their opponent on the other hand is not just light monsters. That's for sure. All right, Lane Holfeltz. I'm looking for your face right now. All right, there we go. Lane and GG Gamer are here. It's a lot of good cards. Not gonna lie. Didn't use. You can't use any of them, but a lot of good cards. Speaking of a lot of good cards. Yep. If you top deck Harpies, you're in a good spot. But you need to top deck Harpies. Yeah, that's how you Cyber Jar. Top deck Harpies and I'll be, like, so impressed. Nah, misjudge? All right, misjudge it is. And you have game if you... Oh, TT. Misjudge will, serve, will decide if you lose or not. You lose. Misjudge decides that you lose. All right, now with this spell card, we're just going to set. All right. Voltic is good. Voltic has a lot of attack. Trap card says no. I have 4,000 defense. Still die, but I have 4,000 defense. Besides, they want to die. All these things just create more things. Okay, big monster. Voltic Kong is not that big. Voltic Kong is in a slight amount of danger. Yes, I see the card in the hand, but afterwards you're going to have nothing, so it's not good. Attack goes through. Honest will at least try to stall for now. Oh, wait. That card says no. Does every archetype from the future just get a negate trap like that? Like, I even, I even think freaking, like, one of the first ones that did that was, like, there was Necro Valley that, uh, I mean, Gravekeepers that have done that. Um... What, what, where are all their old cards that have done it? 
Oh, what are those fusion monsters that contact fuse? I hate them. I hate them. What are they called? Um, Gladiator Beast. Gladiator Beast also do it. Yeah, they, everyone seems to have an Omni Negate. By the way, you get negated. So, Miss Judge is not going to survive. Yeah, Glad Beast as well. Those are the two old ones I know that have a negate. But I think at least with the Gravekeeper, you have to have Gravekeepers and Necro Valley. It's two cards. All right, there's another one. And there's our Synchro Summon. Very nice. I'm afraid GG Gamer might have finally met their match. This might be a little bit bigger than what you're used to. I'm honestly surprised you got top 16. This is... This is wild. <laughs> I, I, I am impressed. I shouldn't say surprised. I'm impressed you got top 16. And the attack goes through. Double your attack stat for 5,200. Yeah, makes sense. And that'll be it. Game number one goes to Lane Holpa. To think, what, what would have happened if that TT failed? Let me think about that. All right, let's go ahead and get into game number two. Oh, they finally drew Conscription. Finally, GG Gamer. Maybe your favorite card will be used. This is the card they wanted more than anything. Because like I said, GG Gamer didn't really make a full deck. They kind of just gave me guidelines, and Conscription was the main thing. So let's see if the AI knows how to use it, and let's see what we get from it. Use it now. And the AI does not, not even chain it. That's sad. And the attack goes through. Shining Angel will die. Shining Angel gets DD Warrior Lady. Just a classic card. Very nice. Works with Luminous Spark. Why not? Copycat has some value, but I was going to say Miss Judge has the most value. You need to make sure you counter that card's effect. Miss Judge. Oh, wait. Doesn't matter. Because of that trap, it doesn't matter. All right. Miss Judge will try. Miss Judge failed anyway. Yep. Two of them. Yep. You can get rid of one, and then DD Warrior Lady will be having some trouble here. Sorry, Miss Judge, you got you got wrecked. Try again later. Okay, those monsters have way too much attack. DD Warrior Lady will take one with her, and that means it doesn't get its effect off. And the damage is good. The damage is very good. It feels good, Lane. I don't know. I don't think you're here, but if you are here, I'd be very excited. Your deck looks like it's going to go far. Lightning Vortex is worthless against the Yangjing deck. All you did was help them. All right, there we go. Monster gets summoned. Monster gets summoned. Monster gets summoned. And you can beat one of them, but you're not going to beat the others. I'm sorry. GG Gamer, you went way farther than anybody expected. Your deck is so basic, but it is also pretty cool. The way that it is basic. So good for you. I'm sorry that I'm already calling game, but I think it's right for me to already call game. I think 90% of the people watching are agreeing with me. Granted, I thought they'd have more than one special summon, but I guess not. 1,300 life points remain. Hey, who knows? Maybe you'll draw... There's no dark hole that banishes, right? So, yeah. Hoshinigan nerf the opponent's monster. Yes, that is that is good. You nerf the opponent's monster. You die, but you nerf them. And with exact damage, the winner is Lane Holfeld. Good job. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and let's get into the next duel. The next duel in the tournament will be Ooh, we're getting close, everybody. We're getting close to top eight. Which characters deserve to make it to top eight? Will Zachary D be one of them, or will it be the Upside Down Man? The Upside Down Man already beat my friend Mr. Glasses. Broke my heart. But we'll see. All right. Upside Down Man is ready. Zachary D is ready. Snatch Steel versus Chaos. Basically, yes. That is basically what this deck is. It's Snatch Steel versus Chaos. Alright, so we're almost ready. I just need to find the character. 
Upside down man's face is almost being found. And we're good to go. We have a card, we have Mother Grizzly, and there we go. Foolish Burial throws away a card. Geico's in the grave. Serb rules by itself. No, it's not. They can go for an early Synchro Summon if they want to go for maximum damage. Okay. Early Synchro Summon for maximum damage. Can't really do much about the Snatch Steel stuff, but you can at least do damage, Zachary. Do your absolute best. Mother Grizzly will get another one. Yep, that's going to be a problem, especially since it's the Tuner. The Tuner is the one you should fear. Swords is unnecessary when you control the field. Chaos Beast has been stolen and the attacks are going through. Zachary D uses... You know what? His monster did 2,000 damage to the opponent. It took a while, but he got the 2,000 damage off. And now you have to deal with the boss monster. All right, let's see how you do against this. Yeah, that might be a little tough to beat, but I'm sure you'll figure it out. All right, Archfiend just for damage? Nope, not even for damage. What are you doing it for? And it looks like Zachary D has no hand. Go get him. Go get him, our Gradle friend. Dragon devours the opponent. And these little things, what are these? These like reptiles? Alligators, they're alligators. They just really zoomed, uh, I could barely tell. All right, alligators are here. Foolish Burial once again. You threw away Chaos Sorcerer. That's not a thing I would throw away. All right, Gradle again. We got the Eagle. And the Eagle destroys the... Both of them had Eagles. That's very funny. Almost enough to end the duel. One more turn, Zach. I would get... It's either Dark Hole or Bust. Let's be real. It's Dark Hole or Bust. Oh, so they're Parasites. One's in the... Oh, my God. They're the freaking thing from Dragon Ball... Fuck, uh, what was it called? GT. They're Dragon Ball GT. They're baby, right? They're just baby. Got it. And there's 3,000 damage, everybody. With that, one more duel and Zachary D will meet his first end. Nobody in our series has ever beat Zachary D. This would be his first ever loss. Looks like a good hand to me. Of all, look, all I see is five snatch deals. If I'm, if I'm led to be, uh, to believe that that's what they are, and that card apparently, I do not know why they run that, but they put it in. Maybe there's a reason. Oh my god. Huh. Those are all tuner monsters. You need the other monster. I'm up next. I don't duel. My clown deck is not in the tournament. If you want to see it, you got to watch Mr. Clown Duel. And oops, all tuner situation. I'm afraid it was an oops, all tuner situation, everybody. Attack goes through. Attack goes through. And all tuners is not good for you. What does that do? Special summon a monster. Okay. Oh, it's a tuner. That's why. Yep. I was going to say it's a tuner. And that tuner is going to use itself... No, that's the Donator. The Donator was Casual Cooper's dad. Yep, Casual Cooper dad. He donated two decks. Potto Greed. Dark Hole was super valuable. You got rid of the dragon. Do you have monsters, though? Good, good. Oh, not good. Why would you do that? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's over. Everybody, the duel is over. I can't see this going well. All right. Gradles are doing their job. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is way too much. I asked the same question. Doesn't matter, though. They're winning. Attack goes through. Attack goes through. And oh, there's nothing you can do. Zachary D. Not only did you break because you did not synchro summon, you had only tuners. But what are you supposed to do against this situation? Instant fusion. Okay. Nope. We're not going to use instant fusion. Pop in all the cards. Sure. 
And that's enough damage, I guess. Yep, that's why they run the nurse, because it wins them the duel. And that is game, everybody. The winner is Upside Down Man. Upside Down Man will continue in the tournament. Zachary faces his first loss in the Master Era series. Not like anybody saw it, since it happened in the woods. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and uh, see who's up next. Upside Down Man moves. The last duel of top 16 will be an epic one. It's Mr. Gannons versus Black Dawn. Everybody place your bets. Which character do you think could win it all? All right, where is Black Dawn? Where are you? We need you to go into the duel. Black Dawn, please show up to the stage, please. It's your time to duel. Black Dawn, please show up to the stage, please. It is your turn to duel. I can't find you. I can't find your deck, but it's in here somewhere. I, we used it twice now. At least twice. There it is. That, it's always the corner. You're a corner deck, that's why. And here we go, everybody. It's time for Black Dawn to take on Mr. Gannon's. Isn't Mr. Gans just lucky to be here right now? He got freaking... He, he should not have won against freaking... Uh, uh, who was the person that almost beat Mr. Gannon's? You had a dragon deck. It was pretty good. Chacha, right? Chacha Ryoko. You should have won that duel. You should have won that match. You did win that duel. You should have won that match. It was perfect. You had the perfect counter, and it just didn't work out. All right. Fairy box and fairy box. One of them might as well work. We'll see which one works. Did that one work? No, that one did not work. Try again. Did that one work? Yes, that one did work. Double fairy box is kind of cruel. Black Dawn will start the duel with a synchro summon. That synchro summon shall be magical android to heal themselves, which honestly against Rick, healing yourself is a good idea. But also you you need to kill that. You need to kill those fairy boxes. Oh no, he did it for you. Apparently, the AI will not keep both. Are you going to attack with the Roma Jar? You're attacking with Marsh Macon. That's hilarious. It has less attack. Th Why'd you put it in attack mode if you weren't going to? You should have attacked with it. If you were going to put it in attack mode, why the heck did you do that? Oh, my God, AI. Why are you like this? That's 500 damage you cost yourself. Okay, Fairy Box is gone. Wait a minute. Fairy Box is gone. Now, Blazing Mirror Force. Yep. Thousand burn to both of them. All right, we'll try that again later. 500 heal, sure, sure. All right. And the battle continues. Okay, we can synchro again whenever he feels like it. A flip happens, and it worked. Okay, you're taking 200 deflected damage. The fairy box is keeping you in the duel, Mr. Gannons. You've been very lucky so far. That's a card that has won you a duel before. They're going for a crash play, which I don't agree with. Did you just get magic cylinder? <laughs> you baited the opponent's magic cylinder. That's how I see that play. That's a thousand life points every turn now. If you do not pop those those jars, why why does the AI have so much trouble beating the jars? It can't be that hard. It can't be that hard. No, don't attack Marsh Recon. The jars are healing. Are they invincible? Is that why? Are they invincible? Cannot be strove about. Okay. Okay, this is what you do. Listen to me here. You get Dark Hole and you don't look back. Get Dark Hole and don't look back. All right. Draw a card. Oh, it's a this, this deck is the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. It is the most annoying thing I've ever seen. Oh, you want to see the name of it? Here you go. It's right there. Marsh Macaron. It's Mar uh, Macaron or something. I, don't know. I say Marsh Macaron. It's a lot faster. All right. Let's see if this one works. Does this one work? No. Does this next one work? No. Wow. They got one attack through. Which means they've done zero damage because of the jars. 
That's zero damage dealt so far. Why'd you attack the defense mode monster? I'm starting to get upset. I'm starting to get very upset. I, I, I'm mad. Oh my god. It's because you were scared of fairy box. Okay. All right, we have a field spell. Or that looked like a field spell. I don't know. It's a token. We have a synchro summon. Black Dawn is going to synchro summon everybody. The synchro monster shall be that card. And that card has an effect that better be good. Exactly, Laser Mike. Good, good point. And we have more of those cards. But the jars have done it. So now you, you technically did zero damage that turn because of the jars. Oh my god, that's, that's, yeah. You're on a time limit now, Black Dawn. Before it was just whatever. Now you're on a time limit. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, you're losing to jars. Why are they an attacker? It's because of Fairy Box. If it wasn't for Fairy Box, they would never. They would never. All right, attack goes through. Fairy Box and Dark Sanctuary activate. The evil of the deck activates. You know why Cha-Cha did so good? They ran Stamping Destruction, and they had Piercing Damage. That's why they did so good. Everyone else is struggling because they, they did not run enough Spell Trap Destruction. Where's the MSTs? Where's the Harpies? I'll, I'll, I'll take anything. I'll take Dust Tornado. Where's the Dust Tornado? All of those effects failed. You actually got an attack through and you did four or 12, 200 damage. You got 200 damage off. I'm so impressed with you. You're a, you're a miracle worker, Black Dawn. Oh, never mind. Doesn't matter. You're a miracle worker for what you did do though. All right, there we go. 1,400 burn. Fairy box is unnecessary now. Yep. Synchro summon again. Yay, synchro summon. Please be actually good. Start a spark drag. I don't even know if that's good. I don't know what's good. Why do I even care if I don't know the cards? So you did a total of 200 damage that turn. Great job. All right, we're at 600 burn. Oh, I would never allow stall, but this is a donation tournament. Donations, I did not tell anybody what they could do. I said, make your decks, because you paid $100, and I'm not going to tell somebody that paid $100 no. That'd be very cruel. And we have another Synchro Summon. And with this Synchro Summon, we are going to get another Stardust Spark Dragon. And with this monster, we are going to get... Anything? Oh, please. Oh, please, don't. Alright, does he... Okay, you got past step one. Step one has been cleared. You did it! You did zero damage as of right now. As of right now, you made it so they didn't heal a thousand. Next? Let's see it. Nope. All right, not counting this one. Keep trying, kid. You'll do it. <laughs> Keep trying before that freaking cauldron kills you. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, you got past step one. You didn't get past step two, so you did 200 damage to yourself and you lost. Next. <laughs> Next. Oh, God, this could be the end of the duel. And okay, it's only 200. You're fine. You get one more turn, Black Dawn. You have one turn to Harpies and Dark Holes. I take it back. You probably lost. Yep, bad luck blast. Yep. And that is the end of the duel, everybody. We're going into game number two. That was game one, right? <laughs> Let's go into game number two. 
Now we're going to see what happens. Will you have a chance, Black Dawn, or is it over? Okay. Okay, there's no fairy box this time, so only one card. You only have to flip once. That's not too bad, right? It's, it's only one card. It's not too bad. All right, let's see. A monster with a lot of attack gets destroyed, but hey, that's 2,000 of Mr. Ganon's as well. Mr. Ganon's has lost life points. Crap. All right, that didn't work out so well, but mostly good. Mostly that was good. Now, is Mr. Ganon's going to flip in order to do damage, then monster aboard the opponent's monster, then normal summon the Spear Creedon, and then do as much damage as possible? Or something else? Uh, yeah, I don't like your odds anymore. They didn't go for the normal summon part of it, but they still went for most of it. Oh, they did go for it. Why? If you weren't going to go for the 500, why even normal summoning in attack mode? Cooper, you're going to watch the Yu-Gi-Oh! I, I don't like Yu-Gi-Oh! I don't watch Yu-Gi-Oh! All right, 700 burn comes through. Dark Hole! With Dark Hole, there's the slightest chance you have you can do this. There is the slightest chance. All you have to do is normal summon a monster and get... Oh, well, they'll summon an attack. Oh, my God. Don't attack. Don't attack. Don't attack. It's a lose-lose situation. The duel's over. Mr. Ganon's wins. We are now in top eight. That is it, everybody. Mr. Gannons has won his duel with perfect life points. Do I remember last tournament? Not at all. All right, let's go ahead. No, I don't watch Yu-Gi-Oh, guys. I'm afraid not. And that's not a joke. I'm, I'm serious. I don't watch Yu-Gi-Oh. No, no, no. I've watched the old show sometimes, but that's about it. So, with that, we have made it to top eight, which means we got to give honorable mentions to people that made it as far as top eight. The top eight competitors in our tournament today. Oh, the deflected damage tournament. You're right. Mr. Gannons, Upside Down Man, Lane Holfeld, Ferris Paulo, Anka D, Bulbmans, Gecko Hibiki, and Laser Mike. These are our eight strongest donation duelists and Anka. Let's get into duel number one of top eight. Laser Mike versus Gecko Hibiki. Everybody place your bets. Which character do you like more, Gecko or Laser? You can only choose one. All right, Laser Mike. Gecko Hibiki, Gecko Hibiki. There you are. All right, let's start the duel. Should be a fun duel. Both these care. If you made it to top eight, your deck is good. Top eight, there's no more jokes. All the decks are good in top eight. Gecko Hibiki versus Laser Mike. All right, and we have ourselves a set. Let's see how they decide. Oh, are they going to Cyber Jar for fun? No, they're going to waste their Honest. Got it. Got it. Oh, it happens. You wasted your Honest. Oh, no. Oh, no. Honest loses to Honest Neo's Dark Hole is wasted, in my opinion. And that is the end of the duel. The battle of Honest and the winner is the one with Honest Neos. I honestly believe that is the end of the duel. Game number one will go to Gecko. That is my prediction. The only hope they have is if they set Cyberjar and pray for a good hand. A Assault goes for 19. And Gecko, you may now fuse. You, I, I, I didn't allow you to fuse for five turns. Now you can fuse. Stratos will be summoned. Stratos gets Shadow Mist. And mass change number two will be used. Shadow Mist goes to the grave and we get Divine Wind, but we're not done yet. Shadow Mist effect activates, we get Honest Neos. Honest Neos for game. 
Oh, yeah, that's game. That is game. All right, attack. Attack. Honest Neos, attack. And Divine Wind now has 5,200 damage. But I don't know what the attack stat was. 71. 7,100 attack. And that was game number one. The winner is Gecko Hibiki. Let's try this again. Let's try this again and let's see who will actually win. Union Hanger can fix this hand. Most of this hand I don't like, but Union Hanger can fix it. E-Emergency Call, yes. So, Soul of Judgment, there are times where I want you to be used, but you need to be patient. Don't just use it on the first card you see. Use it on that card. That card that just got picked. Alright, time to figure out how you want to play this. Union Hanger. Assault Core. Assault is good. Machina Man. Alright, Assault Core has an attachment. Attack goes through. Mass Change says no. Divine Wind has returned. We're going to just have to hold back for now. Okay. Now we wait. Monster Aborn. Stratos return. Wait. Sometimes, yes, it's worth it, but wait. It, there was something way worse about to happen. It's over. It's over, Laser Mike. Push the Solemn Judgment button. Oh, wait, no. They didn't have a normal summon. You're still in the duel. I thought they would still have a summon left. For, oh, well, there's Swarm Change. It might still be over. Yup. It's over, everybody. The duel has ended. The winner is Gecko Hibiki. Gecko Hibiki will be taking the game. Great job. Very proud of you. And now we're going to be moving forward. All right. Gecko is there. And let's see who's up next. So the next duelist will be Bulbmins. Also, Laser Mike, great job making it to top eight. That was really impressive. Bulbmins versus Onka D. Can Anka stop the might of the Bulbmins and his Quasar Dragon, which he has summoned once, and Shooting Star Dragon, which he summoned once today? He got both of those? All right, let's see here. Anka D versus Bulbmins. Speed versus Tactics, because Anka D is all about stopping your opponent. Bulbmins is just pure speed. All right, Shining Angel, and we have a card. So that card will help because now all of Bulbman's cards will be banished. So will Shining Angel, though. Quillbolt is interesting. 800 damage. Are you telling me? Oh, Bulbman's didn't draw anything. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, God, that top deck is Harpies. Uh-oh. Oh, Starlight Road. It's okay. It's okay, it could have been way worse, but the Starlight Road saves the day. Starlight Roads get Stardust Dragon. Morphine Jar is her best play as of this moment in time. Yep, I agree. You need a Dark Hold. Well, honestly, you need a lot. Morphine Jar will not be defeated. There's the Dark Hold that will be countered. DD Warrior Lady works, I believe. Tuning. Yeah, you need to kill Stardust, then you can Dark Hole. Alright, Junk Synchron, sure, sure. DD Warrior Lady's your best bet when it comes to damage. You could do Burn with that, yeah. How many cards are banished? Three cards, 300 Burn. DD Warrior goes through. It will take Stardust with it. Okay, now you can Dark Hole. A kind of a bad timing, I know. <laughs> I admit it, kind of bad timing, but he's there, she's putting cards in the Banish Zone, and they can't use Junk Synchron because there's nothing in the grave. Nothing exists in the grave, so Junk Synchron's worthless. Yep, 800 damage. Okay, Anka has taken control. DD Survivor is the safest bet. Anka can never allow Bulbmans to have two monsters. Double Burn is very interesting. That's 1,200 Burn every turn now. 
So also she could just try stalling and she can win that way. Oh, Scrap Iron. Baldman stays in the game. Now they can Synchro Summon. Now Baldman's has the ability to Synchro Summon. Junk Synchron comes through. They're going to need a hell of a monster. Let's see what they get. Speed! Junk Speeder! There we go. This is speed. And with the speed, they're going to get another monster. Even more powerful. It's Stardust Dragon. Now, I think Anka's screwed. She can only win by burn, and only if she finds stall cards. I mean, granted, DD Survivor kind of counts. That is kind of a stall card. So, it, it just depends on how your opponent reacts to you. Alright, 1,000 burn now. Yeah, it's 2,000 burn because of all the cards removed from play. We're removing more cards from play, but at the risk of our life points, it's not really worth it. If they Synchro Scum in again, you lose. If they Synchro Summon again, that's game. Yep, that is game, everybody. Boldmans has defeated Anka D in a pretty interesting duel, but it seemed like he did have control. The second he got second Stardust, he had control. He just had to protect one of his cards. The game-winning attack comes through, and that is it. All right, you did your best there, Anka. Try again. Try again. And we'll see what happens. With the heart of the cards. Anka just does get Macrocosmos with Morphing Jar, which is brutal. That is one of the best plays I've ever seen. If Boldman's doesn't have MST or something, this is going to be one of the best plays ever. Holy shit. Anka D is stacked. Look what she... 3DD Warriors all next to each other? What the hell? Why were 3DD Warriors all back to back? Imagine normal drawing those cards every single time. Anka, think of the burn you can do. Think of it. All you have to do is kill their monsters. Think of the burn. They have 13 remove from play cards. DD Warrior Lady goes in. The monster is banished. Gravekeeper's Retribution is going to do so much burn. I'm just surprised 3D War DD Warriors came back to back. That's kind of crazy. I would have cried if I was drawing those. All right, the burn is good. 800 because there's only eight monsters, but that's plenty. 800 burns insane. That's a Nukazi every turn. Quillbolt. Sorry, it's better than Nukazi. 900. Very good. Anka D had a much better hand this time. Boldman's is sweating. A set. Understandable. Another DD Warrior Lady. Another 900 burn. Morphing Jar's going in for game. Scrap Iron saves the day. It actually saved the day. Oh, wait. That's 10. That's 1,000 burn now. 1,000 burn won't end the duel. You get one turn, Boldman's. One turn to make a comeback. That that was so unlucky. I admit, I feel bad for you because your opponent started with Morphing Jar and Macro Cosmos. There was nothing you could do about that. And that's it. The game-winning attack comes through. And also Boss Monster. Scrap Iron. Magic Cylinder. Interesting. Now Scrap Iron. Yep, now Scrap Iron. And game-winning attack comes through. All right. It took all the monsters, but she did win. Boldmans, we're going to game three. I think this is the first time you've been taken to game three, although I could be wrong about that. And let's see if Boldmans will win, or will it be Anka D? Which character do you think is better? Pot of Greed is good. Macrocosmos as an opening card is good. DD Assailant is amazing. I think you could do better, though. Harpies is good. There's no Morphing Jar this time, so it's not as bad. DD Assailant is good, yeah. Doppel Warriors banished, so already there's no Warriors in the grave to work with. She did open with Macro all three duels. It's brutal. Baldman's is going to have to find a way to win. The only way to win is you need to find a way to summon a monster and then special summon. 
Quick draw can win. Quick draw can win you the duel. All right, DD Alchemist. Alchemist throws away a card. Attack goes through, Chunk Converter didn't stand a chance. Attack goes through, you're in a bad spot. Yeah, it, you need a quick draw and then normal summon. It's your only hope. While you have three cards, three is your minimum amount. Rhoda, okay, that's Junk, but Junk has no target. Uh, I don't know how to tell this to, I don't know how to say this, guys. I think Bald Mince has met his match. I think the ultimate duelist, Anka D, is unstoppable. All the attacks are coming through. And there's nothing he can do. Other than get harpies. Alright, we have ourselves a set. Another dimensional fisher, of course. Shining Angel is here. Shining Angel gets rid of Jet. And that is the end of the duel. Anka D is in top four of the Woods Tournament. See... You merely adopted the woods. She was born in it, molded by it. She didn't see the real world until she was already a man. Oh wait, a woman. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and let's get out of here. Baldman's. I'm very surprised your deck lost, but damn, it's a yeah. Her deck is very simple when you really look at it, but it does the job. It really does. All right, the next duel will be Ferris Paulo versus Lane Holfeltz. Let's see which of these characters is stronger. All right, Ferris Paulo versus Lane Holfeltz. Yeah, you want to know how to beat Anka D? Play a monster with 2,000 attack. It'll get banished eventually, but you know, play it. Just have infinite beaters. She can't get over them. She'll have to keep. She'll have to keep fighting them and losing. All right, she'd lose to any beater deck, which is one of the reasons why she's never won a tournament. That's why Zayn won that King of Hell tournament that they were both in. All right, let's go ahead and let's see who wins between these two characters. It's either going to be Lane or Ferris. All right, Ferris Paulo is ready. Lane Holfeltz is about ready. I am ready as well. All right, Stratos and Solemn Judgment, sure. We have a monster card. God says no to your monster. That was 4,000 life points to stop a zero attack point monster from existing. I respect it. I like it. I would have done the same play. All right, Prisma is here. We're going to just go for attacks. We're not going to fuse. We're not going to do anything special. We're just going to attack. Now we're going to fuse, and I don't even think there's anything worth making. Not Great Tornado. Please don't make Great Tornado. It's not worth it. The Shining, you know what? Shining's worth it. That is 100% okay. All right, what are you going to do against the Shining lane? All right, Shining. Harpies is very good. That is a valuable top deck in this point in time. Let's see what we hit. Very good cards have been hit. Stratos gets you some stuff. Stratos is good. Five Bastion, didn't all your characters lose? Or am I incorrect? Oh, Upside Down Man's still standing, isn't he? Holy crap, no wonder. No wonder you stayed awake. I was like, wait, why are you still awake? That's, it's super late. All right, Diane is here. Diane takes advantage of the Yang Jing cards, but the Yang Jing cards are infinite, so it's not like you can actually win this fight. All right, let's see. Shadow Mist is here. Shadow Mist gets another form change, which is just mean. <laughs> this is getting a little mean. Koga is here. And Koga is doing its job. All right. Interesting. It's 1.36 where you guys are. Where it is for me, it's 5.37 p.m. Otherwise known as, what's 5.37? That is... 1700 hours I think or something like that I don't know I forget sometimes alright 400 hmm, pretty interesting let's see how you make a comeback here blazeman gets you poly that would be worth it you need to pop some stuff 
It is the evening for me, that is correct. Polly has been chosen. Thank God you actually chose Polly. And a fusion monster will be made, but which one will it be? Oh, the absolute G? Wait a minute. All right, Koga uses its effect by banishing a monster. We're going to weaken the opponent's monster in order to do damage. It just doubled its stats. And you almost lost the duel in that one attack. Blaze Man in attack mode is going to cost you the duel. It's not your fault. You didn't know. You didn't know, Ferris. I'm sorry, Ferris. You don't stand a chance now. Ferris Paulo almost had this, but lost because of a, a single trap card that was really good. The spell card protects the monster. The spell card no longer protects the monster. All you need is a monster with uh, 1,400 attack, and you win. Lane Holfelt. Will you get it? That is zero attack. Oh, but it'll get you a monster with 14. I get you. I get the fuck. I, I think you needed to attack. Do you have a burn effect, maybe? Are you doing this for a burn effect? Is that what we're doing? I guess. Not game. I thought it would be over, but no. Mass charge is really good. If you have used a mask, I don't remember. Shadow Mist, okay. I think you used Form Change, right? Yeah, Form Change, okay. Attack goes through. Oh, oh Koga would just nerf it? Good to know. Attack goes through, but Koga's not here anymore. You could Form Change, but they keep... They have infinite monsters. You need Diane. Wait, who's that? Attack goes through. Whoever it is, it didn't end the duel. Wait, Burn? For a Mass Change? That's not allowed. That shouldn't be allowed. That's busted. You outlasted Yang Jing? Dark Laws here? You outlasted Yang Jing? Holy crap, this duel's down to the wire. Oh, I would not have summoned Prisma in attack mode. I would not have done that. That was not a play I would make. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is wild. All right. Blaze Man time. Blaze Man for game. Nope. We're going to hit Shadow Mist for some unknown reason. That was more worth it than a poly, apparently. Oh, game-winning attack. Thank God. The winner is Ferris Paulo in one of the closest duels we've had in this tournament. That was one of the closest duels we've had, and it was a good duel. Let's go ahead and move into game number two and see if Ferris can do it again or if Lane will get come, uh, come back and play Sparks next time. If you played Sparks, you would have won, but you forgot to run it in your deck. At least Ukazi would have helped. I told all of you, put Ukazi in your deck. None of you trust me. All right, let's see what else we got. W a bunch of woodies. Mass change, okay. Yep, we are. We had a, we use mass heroes all the time in our uh, Arc Five video game. Uh, when we used to do tournaments in Arc Five. All right, Diane comes through. That monster also comes through. Yep, you ran Cowboy. It did not work out, though. You need the spell card. Cowboy can be killed. Ukazi can't... You can't kill a, a house fire. It can't be done. Or a barn fire. You can kill a cowboy. You can't kill a barn fire. It'll kill itself. Alright, so that card just got tributed, which kind of feels weird, but sure. And we have that. I have no clue. I'm not good with Twitch stuff. I have no clue what stuff does. And we have 2,800. Let's see what we get. And that monster, of course, there's going to be infinite summons from both sides. It's a house fire? Okay. It looked like a barn in a way because I thought it was so big. But yeah, I guess houses are big too. <sighs> this economy. Whatever. And we got more monsters. Sure. We're going to synchro. That's why we do it. Because we're going to synchro. That makes a lot more sense. They seem to like summoning this synchro more than all the others. And I think I get it. With that much attack, it can do it. It looks like Ferris is not in, in a good spot this time. Lane Holfelt has full control. This is the first... Oh. I take it back. I take it all the way back. It's time for a summon. It's time for sunrise. Let the sun in, everybody. 
and Sunrise is going to get Miracle Fusion because it's time for another Fusion Summon. Everybody say it's going to be Shining, isn't it? It's going to be the goddamn Shining. It's always the goddamn Shining. It's the Shining, everybody, with 3,900 attack. Now, the Yang Jings will try to stall as long as possible using their effects, and we'll see just how long they last. All right, how many you got? How long can you last if they're all floater cards? And you lasted that long. 3,900 attack goes through. All right, what else you got? <gasps> That's insane! Holy crap, Lane top deck freaking what? You top deck that? Holy crap, do you have a monster to summon? Monster Reborn! Oh no, the Synchro returns! The comeback is real! 2600 damage, there's no more fusion. There's no more Miracle Fusion. I don't see a Poly. What are you gonna do? No mass charge? Oh wait. Do you use it correctly? No, you do not. That's exactly what Skyrus would do in real life. 100%. 100% they would make that play and then die <laughs> and then die the attack comes through Skyris or whatever Ferris Paulo is below half and now Yang Jing just stands their ground a bunch of woodies a bunch of ocean men and a bunch of prismas all right prisma stands right there I'd add Polly <laughs> I'd win exactly 1400 attack comes through we got 1800 life points left the trap card remains it's a bell tower or a church Ew. mass charge to try and win this duel but you need a card that pops back row that's the one that pops back row isn't it yep <laughs> that's gonna pop the back row isn't it and yang jing's gonna hold on for dear life you need a tuner you need a tuner more than ever you're right they just take a walk in the woods It looks like the winner is going to be uh, Ferris Paulo on this one. Ferris Paulo seems to have full control of this duel. The Yang Jeans were very good, and they got to top eight for a reason, but top four, you got to be even better. And that card says no. You are not allowed to do any more fusing. We will not allow this. So you did end on a tuner monster. Oh, that still got rid of it. Oh, shit. You did end on a tuner monster. The question is, will you be able to obtain the card you need? A non-tuner? No. The answer is no. I'm afraid that Lane Holfelt might have met their match. Oh, Harpies is just mean. That is a mean top deck to get. You needed to summon... Wait, why didn't you summon another monster? Fair Skyrus? Skyrus, I need an explanation. Why did your character not summon another monster? You need to take you you need to take your responsibility for this. Okay, why didn't you attack the monster and attack? I'm very confused. I am very confused. Why? What is going on here? To be honest, I have no idea. Thank you. That's the best answer I could get. I, I appreciate that answer. Blaze Man, we're going to waste it. No, Blaze Man got Polly. Okay, here we go. With Polymerization, we're going to get two Woodies. With two Woodies, we get uh, the worst monster for this situation. The worst monster for this situation does absolutely nothing. And the deflected damage almost makes you lose the duel. You almost lost it to Oh, that monster apparently does not. Does it do? Def what, what's the reason why they didn't attack it? I can't tell. I can't tell. Apparently, there's a reason. There has to be a reason. All right. It could end. It's down to the wire yet again. Lots of ocean men. God damn it. Blaze man's going to throw away a card. It's shadowy. We got another blaze man, which we can use to get another poly. Okay. No. Attack goes through. So we'll attack it in defense mode, but never attack mode. No, no, no. And trap activates, whatever that does. And our special summon. There's so many special summons. Dear God, both these decks, all they do is special summon. What about that one? Okay, we attacked one monster in attack uh, in attack mode. Thank God. What about that one? The game-winning attack. It's over. The winner is Ferris Paulo.
They will be moving to top four, but Lane Holfelt's good, you know, honorable mention for you getting top uh, top eight. That's really good. Great job with uh, with what you did there. So let's go find Ferris and let's go see um, who's up next. All right. The next duel will be... Both those duels were very close life point wise. The next duel and the final top eight duel will be... The Upside Down Man versus the Cursed Duelist, Mr. Gannons. Probably the villain of today's uh, episode. Which character would you rather see win? The Upside Down Man or Mr. Gannons? Place your bets while you have a chance. Only one of these characters can go all the way. Monster are born immediately to get back the eagle. The eagle has been summoned. Two eagles. His mom lets him have two. I just realized something. Most of these cards require your opponent to attack you, right? This is not a good matchup for... This is not a good matchup for Upside Down Man. Oh, unless, you know what? No, popping them works too, right? So uh, this will work. This will work. Yep. Yep, that'll work. All right. Attacking. Go. It's still not going to be a very easy duel for you. Oh, that hurts. It's not going to be an easy duel for, uh, yeah. Oh, crap. <laughs> this is really bad, actually. Now that I think about it, this is not good. All right. Keep the burn coming. All they have to do is set and wait until the opponent pops their own cards. Okay, thankfully that spell card can pop. No, you need monsters! You still need monsters! Oh no! Yeah, because the one problem, upside down, man. Let me let me think this straight. You, you can pop the monsters. Let's say you can pop all of Mr. Gannon's monsters. But Mr. Gannon's will win by burn. So how do you win if you can't attack? Because you can't steal anything. What are you going to steal? Spirit Creedon? I hope not. All right, Aroma Jar. That's already 1,200 burn. Glow Moss and Attack Mode, you're hilarious. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. That, you could steal Glow Moss, who looks like an alien himself. There you go. Glow Moss has been devoured. But they're unwilling to attack with it, because if they attack with it, then they they lose. So Glow Moss will just help the opponent draw more cards. Yeah, that's 1,500 burn, all right. And you're healing uh, Mr. Gannon's. This is not going to work. Oh, my God. I think your deck doesn't work against Mr. Gannon's deck, I'm afraid. I think your deck works really well against other beater decks that most people use. But Mr. Gannon's is not most people. He uses other stuff. But we forgot about Gradle Dragon. Gradle Dragon, it's time to pop all the back row. Every single one of them. That, no. Oh, it has to be face down, maybe. Maybe it had to be face downs. All right, please at least get through this attack. God damn it. That's the end of the duel because they did not get that attack. All right. Damn. That is the end of the duel. Mr. Gannons will get their counter, and that's 1,800 burn. Cauldron of the Old Man has done it, which is why it was his, uh, his card. <laughs> it was his ace card. We are now moving into game number two. Oh, just prioritize face downs, even though the face ups were the things that were going to kill. Cauldron was right there about to kill them, and it wasn't a target to them. Crazy. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, my God, I almost threw up. Oh, oh. I saw that hand and I almost threw up on camera. I apologize. That is gross. That is disgusting and should not be allowed. That's toxic. I agree. That's toxic as hell. The good news is your opponent's probably just going to pop it. Oh, well, hold up. They wouldn't attack with a zero attack point monster. But a 3,000? Okay, they're going to pop it. It's fine. It's fine. They're going to pop it. This time, it's... T you know what? Upside down, man. This time, you're going to win. It's your turn. It's your turn. We got rid of Cauldron. Cauldron is the most annoying card. I mean, this card's annoying too, but it's only a 50-50. Exactly. 3,000 damage. Mr. Gannon's has taken 3,000. Amazing. 
Now just keep popping the face downs because it's going to be worse every single. Oh. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. And there it is. 1500 burn. Oh, dear God. Which one are you going to set? Oh. Even if the attack goes through, it's only negative. There's no positive side to Gradle Dragon attacking. Oh, no. It went through. Fairy Box time. No, not even. Why, why do it? A thousand burn. A thousand burn. Uh, in, indestructible. Oh, Snatch Steel. Very nice. But guess what? Your opponent drew three. Your opponent drew three Marshmallows. What do you want? How are you supposed to win this? I feel so bad. How are you supposed to win this duel when your opponent's a goddamn cheater? Who put three Marshmallows at the top of their deck? That's a stacked deck right there. I think you could call a judge on that. Who's the judge? I need a judge. Was that... Is, are you sure that... Are, can we reshuffle? Because that seems illegal. Oh, they guessed right. So now you're going to do 400 damage to yourself. Yep, 400 damage. And the jar has begun its healing process. Yeah, where's Miss Judge, GG Gamer? We need you. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is just... Mm. So no one decided to run Harpies? No one decided, oh, I need a Harpy deck? You know, my could kick his ass. I think my would kick your ass. But other than that, not many people would kick this person's ass. Oh, what the hell? I know they needed Gradle Dragon again, but I'm surprised they went for that play. All right, so... They only had one Gradle Dragon, so I don't know how this is going to work. Fairy Box, sure. Chaos Sanctuary is the more important one. Okay, Fairy Box is the second most important. And that's going to be burned. And that's going to be burned. That's painful. That's really painful to watch. Alright, we have a Snatch Steal. We have 500 burn from Fairy Box. We have that card to steal attack points. I'm surprised... If you were going to go for attack points, what? Oh my god. You wanted to give your opponent a beater? Mr. Gannon's wanted to give the opponent a beater for this reason alone. Watch this. Well, not this part. This part doesn't make sense. Watch. Wait, what happened? Why? No, why? I mean, granted, can't, you, you can't divide by zero. You got me there. Dark Sanctuary is useless against you. That did nothing. All it did was negate the attack. You didn't have the right extra deck? Well, don't worry. You have Wicked Avatar. You can't lose now. You got Wicked Avatar. Honestly, a lot of people's extra decks were cut off during this stuff. You might have lost yours. That's one. The Wicked Avatar can control this duel. As long as your opponent... Uh, please stop doing that. Does Avatar stop the field spell? Obviously not. God, no. It stops new cards from being played, but they've already been played. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Leave the Avatar alone. <laughs> Leave the Avatar alone. This is like the only time we're ever going to see it. No! No! Why are you doing this? All right. It's going to be okay. We have an idea here. All you got to do is pray to God he never gets Cauldron and you can slowly win. Yes! Yes! This is good. This is what I'm talking about. This can win the duel. You just never mess up Dark Sanctuary or Fairy Box and you get Raigeki. That is your only hope. Or you get Harpies already. Where's your Harpies? All right. Attack goes through. Oh, shit. I didn't see that. I don't know why I wasn't paying attention. Uh-oh. How much damage is that? 
Dark Sanctuary doesn't work anymore, don't worry. Don't worry, Fairy Box doesn't work anymore. Gradle, you, you can go back to bed, Gradle. You can go back to bed. Gradle, please stop. Gradle, stop. You can go back to bed now. It's over. We're going to top four. It's over. Gradle, please. <laughs> There's nothing you can do. Don't you get it? Don't you get it? There's nothing you can do. Just stop. Stop trying. You're making me feel bad that you're trying. He's fighting. It's like watching your kid fight a tiger. A tiger that plays with its food, though. The jar's on the other side. Wait. Wait a minute. That works. That works. Ah, oh, Mr. Gannon's matched it. All right, Mr. Gannon's matched it. But if you heal yourself back up, holy shit! Oh my God, there's a chance. There's a chance. Fairy box, dark. Yeah, it, that's why they ran the dark nurse. That's why. This is why. <laughs> holy shit! Wait a minute. Oh no, that's still zero attack, but it was the jar. The jar didn't matter. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Shit. You're still alive. You're still alive. Don't be afraid to attack. Be a man. Come on, Gradle Dragon. No fear. No fear in this dojo. No fear. You'll get through the combo. I believe in you. Okay. There we go. God damn it! Nothing works! Nothing works, I tell you! He's healing, though. The, the, nature is healing. As long as there's no cauldron. Mm. Bad luck, Bootsy. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Is that enough burn? It's 750, isn't it? Yeah, it's enough burn. All they have to do is activate their card. Alright, go down fighting. Go down fighting. You fought too hard, kid. <laughs> you fought too hard! Alright, major respect to that deck. You fought as hard as you could against the Mr. Ganon's menace. The only one who's come close is Cha-Cha, but that was a good fight. You didn't go- you went down swinging. It's like that one meme, it's like, I'm right, I'm left, I'm right. <laughs> Just, you went down swinging, you fought back. But hey, it's over. Top eight, baby. Top eight, baby. You went that far, that's pretty good. Top eight. So, we have now made it to the semifinals of our tournament. The four strongest duelists in the woods are Mr. Gannon's, Ferris Paulo, Anka D, and Gecko Hibiki. Let's go ahead and let's start the duel with Gecko Hibiki versus Anka D. Everybody, place your bets. Alright. Anka D and Gecko Hibiki. Yep, I'm ready to start this duel already because now I am start now that I'm using these decks more and more, I'm starting to memorize where they are. Anka and Gecko. Pot of Greed would be good. Harpies is an amazing start from Anka. She doesn't have the best card. Ma Macrocosmos is way better. But, I mean, Dimensional Fisher's still good. I would use Dimensional Fisher. Ma oh, there it is. Never mind. She started Macro. It's right there. It's right there, folks. Nothing to worry about. That card's banished. <laughs> that card's banished. It's all good. Now, granted, the Shining loves banished cards, so this could work out for uh, Gecko here. And we're going to see what they choose, because this is not, eh, not easy to deal with. And Anka is going to throw away a card, and now that she has 1,800, she's going in. Compulse can slow down that, but that means the monster's going to die if they were willing to use that. Shadow Mist gets banished, it will not get its effect. <laughs> Gecko needs to have Polly or Mass Change. 
Call your master. Mm. Mm. Mm, that's a good play. That's a very good play. That's... Mm. That's a rough one. <laughs> that, that's a rough one, folks. That is rough. I have a question, Gecko. Do you think you would have beat Boldman's? Both your decks were fast. You're a fast fusion deck. He was a fast synchro deck. If you guys had fought, do you think it would have been closer? Because this isn't looking good. This, this is not looking good. I'm surprised those cards didn't buff themselves, but they didn't need to. That's game one. Perfect victory by Anka D. Anka D had a perfect victory. This is why she was one of the strongest duels in the underground. Only losing to characters like uh, Hellkaiser Zane. All right, let's go to game number two. And let's see what happens. All right, duel two. Let's see what do you get. They did not get... Okay, no macro. They still have Dimensional Fisher, but no macro. Morphing Jar would be brutal, though. Morphing Jar is brutal. Let's see what happens. They're probably just going to TT, so we're not going to see Morphing Jar. Yeah. Yeah, that was expected. Okay. DD Survivor has a lot of value right now. DD Survivor would be the most valuable card. Yep, DD Survivor goes in with 18. You have plenty of cards in your hand. One poly, one mass change. Your hand has a lot of value. There we go. As long as you're clearing up the field and doing damage, we'll take it. As long as you're clearing up, you know, the enemies. We'll take it. That's good. Very good. And you got two back row. I feel very confident. <clears throat> I have confidence in your deck now. Alchemist is going to buff itself, as expected. You had two. You started the game with two. You're in a great position. This is as good as it's going to get. Okay. That is as good as it's going to get because you had two. That's amazing. Uh, let's see now. Stratos, okay. You have three. That's game. You got all three in one duel. GG. I didn't know. I, I thought you'd attack. I, I'm not going to lie. I thought you'd attack with Stratos and do that on the weakest monster. But I guess it's fine. Uh, she can't use DD Warrior Lady. You got this. You got this. She can't use DD Warrior Lady, so it doesn't matter. Exactly. She's scared. You got her shaking. This is your time. Pot agree. This is your time. This is what I'm talking about. E emergency call. Get Blazer. Liquid. Sure. That's the end of the duel. This is all you needed. All you needed was three Honest Neos and to have two in your opening hand. That's all it took. <laughs> Holy shit. All right. The winner is Gecko Habiki. Let's go into game number three and see what happens. But well, Baldman's also took Anka to game three, so anything could happen. All right. Anka for once, no dimensional fit. Yep, for once. It happened. It happened, folks. You're fine. There's nothing to fear. Nothing to fear. Anka D does not have her stuff, and they already have Honest Neos. There is literally no downside here. Stratos as well. Wow, that's a lot of search. You can get more Neos now. There's no way you lose. Gecko's got this. Anka D has met at her match. There might as well be three. You could already assume there's three in the hand and there's no Floodgate. Okay. And you already have a Fusion. How about that? I don't know what that one is, but you have one. The Arbor to TT. You gonna do it again? Yep. That card's very good. That's the end of the duel. That has to be the end of the duel. The winner is Gecko Habiki. Honest. One more. One more. You have, did you not have two in your hand? It doesn't matter. Mass change. Yep, that is the end of the duel. The winner is Gecko Hibiki. 
Gecko wins the duel, everybody. Anka D will be in the third place breather match. Good for her. Good for her. She did very good in today's tournament, but her she has never won a tournament, guys. She's never been top two. The farthest she's ever gone is top four, and it's going to stay that way. So, Gecko Habiki, great job. You're going to be moving into Grand Finals. And uh, let me go ahead and see who's up next. And Anka D, great job as well, as you did win one of those three duels. It's hard once per turn. It, uh, he still had. If, if he had two, he just, you know, once during their turn. That's that's it. There's no other way. All right, let's see what we got here. We're going to move o Gecko forward. The next duel will be Ferris Paulo versus the Menace, Mr. Gannon's. The thing about Mr. Gannon's deck, though, it's kind of slow. So if Ferris can just get in there and punch really fast, it's not about hard punches, it's about fast punches, then you might be able to just beat him before he gets his stuff. That's the only hope you can go with. Or just get really lucky with those coin flips. If you could be really lucky with those coin flips, anything can happen. Rely on luck. That's that's my recommendation. Rely on luck. And curse the day that Cha-Cha could not stop him. Alright. Zachary and Broji. I can't find them. Oh, there they are. Alright, perfect. Perfect. We're ready to go. And we are good. Let's see which of these characters can do it. Will it be Mr. Gannon's or will it be Ferris Paulo? That is not the character I was trying to pick. All right, Mr. Gannon's is ready. Ferris Paulo is ready. Pot of Greed is good. And that is the end. Ooh, no field spell. No field spell from Mr. Gannon's. That's a great start for Ferris. Ferris has two monsters. That's not great. All right. It's fine, though. We'll think of something. Fossil down. Oh. Wait. You need to kill that dinosaur. <laughs> Wait, you need to kill that dinosaur really soon. Like, as fast as humanly possible. You need to kill that thing. Good. Good. Literally no cards. You got super lucky. Mr. Ganon started the duel with zero cards. Also, you should have normal Sun Blaze. You started the card a duel with zero cards. Sunrise can do it. Sunrise pops. That's it. That is ring up shit. Mr. Gannon's was holding back a ring. One problem has been solved, but there's still more problems to come. Miracle Fusion can maybe fix it. Mr. Gannon's life points are very low. All you need is one good hit, one good burn, one good anything. Shining is safe. It has a lot of attack. Even the Mimicking Maneater bug can't beat it. Or the Mincing Man I don't know. Whatever its effect is, or its name is. Again, no field spell. Mr. Gans had a bad start. Mass charge number two, Blaze Man's back. You can get a poly if you want. You can do whatever you want. That's the jar card. You need a card that can get rid of monsters. I recommend it. Does that get rid of monsters? Bad Luck Blast activates. Oh, they're both going to take a lot of burn. I don't know if Mr. Gannon's wanted to. How much burn does it take? 16? Jeez. Ah. Oh, you lost Magic Cylinder. But Bad Luck Blast does 1,000. All right, 500 heal. You got Mr. Gannon super low. Mr. Gannon has no back row and is... Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> now you get the field spell? After all that work, they just now get the field spell. I feel, I, I feel like crying. You got them so low on life points. Stratos, help. Oh, bad luck, Blast. Bad luck, Bootsy, not again. Bad luck, Blast again. Oh no, you don't want to hit it! Bad Luck Blast does a thousand! Oh no, Fossil Dyna! Oh, oh no. Okay, you can get Sunrise back. Sunrise wins you the duel. Sunrise wins you the duel. There's just, just summon it. Just summon it. Sunrise does popping effect, right? Pop the monsters. 
That's good. That's very good. Holy crap, your life points at 300. Mr. Gans has never been this low on life points in his entire career. But he's healing. So you need to pop that. First thing to pop is Aroma Jar. First thing, you need to stop that. If you have enough monsters, you need to just win this freaking duel. Summon whatever, I don't care. Just win the duel. Attack goes through. Dead. Next. Attack goes through. No! No! <laughs> it is. It is. The winner is Mr. Ganons in game one. That was the closest it's ever been to taking them down. Let's go into game number two. Oh, this is hurting my brain. All right, let's see what you got. Stratos makes that hand usable. Stratos makes the hand usable. That's how I see it. All right, let's see what we get. Very nice. Attack goes through. Nope, it does not. I take it back. I would have saved that mirror force for sure. Low moss and attack. Oh, the jar just for the heals to begin. The healing has begun. That's a good top deck. I'll give you that much credit. Don't use Stratos because you need Stratos for its effect. Sunrise is always the right choice when there's an invincible monster on the field. Miracle Fusion is going to be a great card to get. The jar will not work this time. You have the options you need to beat Mr. Ganon's. Stratos will be chosen. Stratos gets rid of Fairy Box. Miracle Fusion is God tier. This is it. This is all we needed. No field spell, no nothing. No chance. Attack goes through. Glomoss says, ha ha. You drew a monster card? Battle phase is over. Unlucky. Should have focused on the Aroma Jar first. Should have focused on killing that. Pot agreed. Oh god, that's really dangerous. That can get the field spell. Cauldron's also a very dangerous card. Cauldron has begun, but it's going to take... Why? <laughs> the cruelty of mankind is shown in this duel. Aroma Jar Beatdown has begun. Have you ever seen the Aroma Jar Beatdown deck? This is it. E-Emergency Call comes through. Stratos is here. Stratos comes through. Ring of Destruction says, I don't care. I don't care. You need a Dark Hole. You need it now. Yes! The Dark Hole has been defeated for the first time ever. Mr. Ganon's has nothing. Mr. Ganon's is tapped out. All you gotta do is punch him. All you have to do is punch him. One trap. It's one trap. As long as it's not Fairy Box, kick his ass. Pot Agree comes through. I would Blaze Man. You need Polly. Oh, dear God. A thousand damage. It's nothing. The trap is nothing, guys. The trap is nothing. Okay. Shadow Mist gets you a, a Blaze Man. That's good, too. 2,800. Mr. Gannon's is bleeding. He's got nothing. No spells. No traps. No monsters. We don't count that trap since it's not activating. Cauldron, it's cooking up something, but it's not good enough. 900 burnt, a monster, you know what? It's fine. Blazeman, Fusion, Sunrise, only hope. Or something, oh wait, you only have one. Blazeman, Fusion, something good. I don't know, something that I don't even know about. Double Waterman. That is extremely good. Now fuse it, contact fuse. That sucks, but you have the life points to spare. Now you need to, all they have to do is fuse with absolute zero and it's okay. All they have to do is fuse with absolute zero. And also they must do it next turn or they lose. Bad luck blast, no! How did you know? It's over! That's the end of the duel, everybody. The winner is Mr. Gannons. We are now gonna be moving on to our third place breather match. Which means Ferris Paolo will be dueling the mighty Anka D. So at least you get to fight a main character today. Somebody that's actually a part of the main show. I hope you enjoy it. 
Let's go. Anka D. Let's go find Anka D's deck together. Get rid of Mr. Gannon's. That was the closest Mr. Gannon's ever came to losing. Was the first duel. And the second duel was pretty close too. And let's go. Anka D and, Mr. and Ferris Paulo. Ferris has a great hand. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. <laughs> Pot of Greed comes through. Stratos is amazing. This is a god tier hand. Anka's dead. Like, even if you get your Floodgate, Anka's dead because Anka can't beat all these powerful cards. Alright, DD Assailant is going to banish that monster, so I guess that's something, but not, not a great start. Not a great start from Anka, I'm not going to lie. And if that's not what it is, if that's not Macrocosmos, it is. Okay, so you have some value. Still not a great start. Polymerization will fuse into Ocean Man, maybe? Ocean Man. Yeah, Absolute Zero. And Absolute Zero is going to... Wait, no, you need to attack first. So, sir? Sir? Oh, you just you didn't want the traps. Got it. We're, good play. Good play. Did not want the traps. All right. Attack goes through. Very nice from Ferris Follow. He whispered the forbidden cards. <laughs> And Acid does not get to stay on the field for very long, but that's okay, because Sunrise is here. And Miracle Fusion returns. Very nice. We have DD Assam- That's smart, but your opponent- You banished a lot of your opponent's monsters, but they still have enough for Miracle Fusion, so it's not going to work. Alright, Blazeman can be normal summon. TT is wasted. Wow. Who was the character? There was one character that would save their TT for the perfect moment. Who was it? Does anybody remember? Who's got memory? Not the forbidding kind. Who's got memory? Who saved some? I'm out of memory. All right. Necroface is about to just buff itself like crazy. It's at 2,000 attack, and it's going the wrong way. That's GG right there. Yep, no matter what they draw, it's GG. Holly into Miracle. Or you could just Prisma into a choice into Miracle, so it didn't matter. Esquire. You know what? That's a fun card. I like that card. Why not? You want to end the duel with that card? It makes sense. Attack goes through. And Anka D has taken an L. Let's go ahead and get into game number two. Oh, wait, was that game two? Shit, I don't remember. Hey, Lumivire, thank you so much for rating us. I appreciate that. All right, let's go ahead and get into our duel. And once again, thank you for rating. Welcome to Casual Cooper. We do AI tournaments or CPU tournaments. Let's go. Onkadi will continue against uh, Ferris Paulo. Ferris Paulo is using their hero deck. Onkadi is using her banishment deck. I really appreciate that malevolent writer. I really do. I'm having a lot of fun today. It's a lot longer of a tournament, that's for sure. Pot of Greed comes through. Pot of Greed gets Anka D Shining Angel and three back row, which means we know what one of those back row will be. And Macro Cosmos has been played. Anka has Macro Cosmos, and it's going to be tough for Ferris to get past it. Shining Angel does lose its effect now, but it's okay. It was never meant for its effect. It's only there for when the opponent decides to clear out the back row. Anka D gets Dimensional Fisher, dear God. And DD Warrior comes through. DD Warrior is going to get rid of the monster, but it's not exactly a great situation leaving yourself wide open, even if Miracle Fusion and Monster Reborn are useless. Oh, good old Woody. Aw, oh, summon Woody, come on. Do it for me. Okay, all you need, Anka, is your DD Survivor, and you'll win the duel. That is not DD Survivor. I am, in fact, I have no clue what that is. I don't see you set monsters very often. Ocean Man is here. Oh, Necroface. Okay, that makes sense. Necroface is here. Miracle Fusion can be used. So now Anka's going to have to find a way to kill this card, which is not going to be easy. Hi, Sunra. Oh, Shining. Shining is perfect. That is a great card to choose for this deck. And what are you going to do? Part of the cards this? Yeah, we're just going to set. Necroface is not going to be strong enough. Miracle Fusion again? No. I was going to say, if you do, you get more cards to the hand, but no. And more cards get banished, which means the Shining is becoming unstoppable. 
The Shining is literally unstoppable now. DD Warrior Lady can deal with it. And that was... Ooh, ooh your life... Anka, your life points. Anka, please stop. Anka, it's not worth it. You're going to give him Polly. If he top decks any monster, he's just going to win. Any monster card. Blaze Man it is. What does Earth and Fire make? All right. Earth and Fire fuse together to create... Sunrise, so sun. And the sun will be used to destroy Shining Angel, and that means Anka D once again is in a situation where she's not coming back. How do you defeat the sun? Nothing, got it. Unless that's a trap that can actually do it, nothing. And Stratos comes through. Stratos is gonna pop most likely. Yep, it hit Fiend Comedian. Game winning attack goes in, Dimensional Prison, but there's still one more. Game winning attack goes in and this time it's real. That's it everybody. Ferris Polo gets the bronze medal in our tournament. It's time for grand finals. The top two characters. The, well, donators I should say. The top two donators for today's tournament will be. Let's go find them. Why is Anka D still there? Tell Anka to leave. She lost. Okay, thank you Anka. Anka D has left. The last two people fighting in our tournament, the last two characters that will be fighting... Oh, I forgot to do this one. Hold up. The last two characters that will be fighting are Mr. Gannons, the casual Cooper's dad's donator, and Gecko Habiki, the Gecko Ga donator. Only one of these characters can win the Woods tournament. Who will it be? Place your bets now. While I look for their decks as quickly as I can. Alright, Gecko, Mr. Gannon's Grand Finals starts now. This is the end of the tournament. Gecko Ga. Mr. Gan that's an interesting starting hand. So I'm gonna I'm gonna ask Gecko, did you start every duel with double honest? Because I feel like you did. Thunder King Ryo is here. E-Emergency Call can get you Stratos. That's a very good card. Thunder King goes in. It did not work. Mr. Gannons uses his Man-Eater Bug to devour your attack points and your monster. Now Mr. Gannons can use said monster to win duel. Marsh McCon in attack mode! Let's go! Ballsy move! Putting Marsh McCon in attack mode like that. But it had to be done. All right, Stratos is here. That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot. And Blazing Mirror Force and Royal Decree says no. Mr. Gannons has lost a third of his deck. Honestly, we could say half. Most of his deck is traps. All right, to protect themselves from Blazing Mirror Force. Well, actually, you didn't need to, but whatever. We have a fusion monster. Fusion monster nerfs the opponent's monster. They have all three. What else you got? You're hiding. Mr. Gans is scared. They lost their trap cards. They can only use spells and monster effects. And that's a pretty good equip spell. And by doing that, they'll never get to keep them. It's the perfect situation for Gecko. Gecko is now going to get Skyscraper for free. They're at 4,000 attack. Marshmacon is going to try and slow down the duel in order to get spells or something that can clear up that back row. Mr. Gannons, do you have Harpies? Because you need Harpies. Dark Hole? I, you know what? I don't know about that. I don't know about that, Chief. I guess you still get Marsh Macon, so it's fine, but, you know, a little scary. Fossil Di Fossil Dino! Holy shit! Is that Fossil Dino? Wait a minute! Okay, the hero deck is gonna struggle now. What do you get? Shadow Mist with no ability to help? It just... Skyscraper, I'm an idiot. Skyscraper. Skyscraper! It actually saves the day. Fossil Dynasty. No! You drew another one! Oh, but Honest Neos. I forgot. A million Honest Neos. Okay, there we go. Holy shit. All right. Gecko has got this. Gecko, your opponent can't play traps, which means no fairy box, no bad luck blast, no nothing. All you have to do is attack and win. That's it. Beat them up. The field spells OP. Which sounds hilarious to say. Stratos is in your hand. You can use Stratos. It's a good card. 
Monster gets you a card. Marshmacon's like, I'm not leaving. I'll get my own friend. All right. Friend in attack mode is very ballsy, especially when mass change exists. Mass change exists. Putting that card in attack mode is going to be a huge mistake. And that's game. The winner of the first duel is the mighty Gecko Habiki. Mr. Ganon is one duel away from being a loser. Let's see if that happens. This is it. Gecko, will you save the day and knock out today's villain? Your AI is stupid. We'll tell them to play better. Oh, that hand is garbage. Except for Royal Decree against Rick, that hand is garbage. All right. The Royal Decree is super good. Very valuable. The rest was garbage. Marshmacon in attack mode. Very good play, Mr. Gannons. I love your play. I don't know what you're thinking, but great job. The emergency call fixes this hand completely. No, it doesn't. That was a weird play. It's okay. You know what? They knew that Mr. Gans doesn't run any beater monsters. Therefore, they can win the two Marshmacons. His mom lets him have two. You've done a total of 600 damage. Aren't you proud of yourself? Oh, that's mean. Not necessary at all. All right. Harpies comes through and we're going to destroy some. Oh, wait. Bad Luck Blast was down there. You're going to take a thousand for that. Not like it matters. Mr. Gans has nothing to hit you with. Ooh, that's really bad. Think, look how bad Gecko's Brick is and Mr. Why would you summon in attack mode? What are you thinking, Mr. Gannons? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Why would you play that in attack mode? Holy crap, you're... Oh, man. <laughs> free me, Gecko. Free me from this torment. Of the AI being the worst thing we've ever seen. There's your sanctuary. We, You haven't gotten that sanctuary in like four duels. And you have terraforming. I, you, I know you have terraforming, so it's crazy. All right, here we go again. Sanctuary. Flip. Tails doesn't work. Nice try. Marshmacon infinite loop. Don't play it in attack mode like an idiot, for the love of God. That time it works. That's 900 burn crazy that you haven't activated a trap yet and they have bad luck i mean they have royal decree so they haven't been able to do it oh wait we're eating we're eating good today oh we're not eating so good you may have cost yourself the duel on that yep yep if chaos sanctuary or dark sanctuary doesn't work here and you fuse it's probably yep that yeah no this is probably it this might be the end all you have to do is get past a 50-50 shot. Well, you should have at least got one attack off, but whatever. All right, here we go. This is for all the marbles. Ah, shit. That didn't work. Try again next turn. Any turn, you have a chance of just winning the duel. Bad luck blast to try and win the duel. Nice try. Get wrecked. Royal decree. You tried to win and you pay the price. All right, the field spell is gone, thank God. You got this, Gecko. They're wide open. They're wide open. I know it's main phase two, so why are you still fusing? Excuse me? Gecko, you want to explain your play? I'd, lo I'd, love, to I'd love to pick your brain on that. What would you, you do there? Gecko, you really want to explain that play instead of just setting the spell card? I'd love to hear it. I'm sure you got a great explanation. Uh, Marshmacons, please. Thank God. At, at least they put the Marshmacons in defense mode. But Royal Decree means that there's no way those traps will matter. That's that's a game changer. That is a game changer. Oh, trust me. They have Dark Law. The AI just never chooses it. All right. Dark Sanctuary returns to make this duel just as horrible as ever. Oh, my God. Well, we're going for game. And yeah, that that's game, all right. The winner should be Gecko. There should be no reason Gecko doesn't win this duel. Gecko, you have it. You have Honest Neos. You just need a monster with a thousand attack. That's no, oh, that's not an elemental hero. Crap, or a hero monster. Oh no way. Are we going to game three? No wait. 
No, wait. The Marshmallows, they're, they're costing you? No, they did it. All that damage added up over time. Marshmallow. Yep. We're going to game three. Mr. Gannets might still be the biggest villain we've ever had. He lost a battle. That's true. He lost a battle. Marshmallow did like a thousand damage in that one duel. If you had top decked a hero, you would have probably won. It's Dark Sanctuary, it was a 50 50 chance you would win that. All right, let's do this. This is the final duel of the day. Grand Finals, Mr. Ganons versus Gecko. Both characters can win. I like that hand. I like it. You just need Blazeman and the hand is fixed. I would have started with Thunder King. He got his Cauldron. He's won every duel with Cauldron. Anytime he's gotten Cauldron, he's won. We're in some trouble. We got some trouble now. Oh, man, you need... Give me that... There's a fusion that pops back row. Get the fusion. Or whatever. Masked Hero. Whatever pops it. Pop it. It's not that one. Oh! Oh! Okay, there we go. Now, they baited it. They baited out the trap card. Now, get the fusion that, that pops back row. There we go! You can't win now! You lost everything! You have nothing left to protect yourself. Wait, hold up. You have nothing left to protect yourself. At least you got one bad luck blast off. Acid has destroyed Fairy Box. Your life points are his, their life points aren't low enough for you to win. Look at all these monsters. Shining Angel gets brutalized. That could have cost you the duel. You, they were 500 life points away from winning that duel. That could have cost you the whole duel. What? You and Raigeki? <laughs> Holy shit. Raigeki is here, everybody. All right. The last warrior stands. What will you do with it? You could, you could maybe... Is it time for Thunder King? No, it's not. Obviously. Shadow Mist comes back. Shadow Mist gets you a card. Mass change number two has a lot of value. Attack... No... Well, at least you did this before mass change number two, so that means that you could still beat it eventually. Thunder King is gone, and there it is. Oh, direct attack! No! You didn't use the Neos! It's a hero monster! What the heck? Uh, whatever. Whatever. This is it. This is the end of the duel. You can't win. Cauldron does not win you the duel. Nice try. If that card can attack directly, you lose. That's GG. We finally met our hero. The hero! is Gecko, our tournament winner, the winner of the woods, our grand finalist and our top donator will be Gecko Hibiki. That was pretty good, guys. This has been our donation tournament to some of the weaker decks that showed up today. I would like to say that good, you, you get to be in future tournaments. I don't know which ones I'll put you in, but you get to be in future tournaments. But... For those of you that made decks that did really good today, or may have won today, prepare to be ignored. Yeah, prepare to be ignored. Completely. Also, some decks might just be ignored because they don't fit. So, sorry. But expect some characters to definitely get into the series. Either way, I had a lot of fun making this. I had a lot of fun, you know, doing the donation tournament and now doing this tournament to... Uh, <clears throat> To give you guys a chance to shine. I hope you guys had a lot of fun seeing more futuristic decks compared to what my show sip, uh, typically shows off. But yeah, that will be it. Gecko, you are the hero. Let's go for honorable mentions. Gecko, hero. Mr. Ganon's villain. Ferris, nice try. Anka D, amazing for one of my characters. Lane, pretty good. Baldman's, pretty good. Upside Down Man, pretty good. And Laser Mike, pretty good. Overall, everyone, thank you for being here today. I hope you enjoyed the donation tournament. I hope you enjoyed the woods. And I hope you're excited for next week. Next week, we go back to basics, but it should be a lot of fun. And I hope to see you all there. Please remember to like and subscribe on YouTube. Follow me on Twitch. And goodbye. See you in a week, guys. One week.